Cake is good. Uh, hi, everyone. Hi, Rainbow. Thank you for the raid. Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> we just started. Uh, but yes, go eat. Go go take care of yourself, Rainbow. I love your face. Hi, Waffle Guy. Uh, thank you for the raid. Uh, and hello, Nora. Uh, hello. Oh, boy. I had to, like, run up the stairs. <laughs> uh, yeah, because Jake's beds and stuff are all downstairs. And I had to... Yeah, we were getting some thunderstorms. Um, and he doesn't like those, so I'm trying to, to get him settled into his bed and cover him with his blankies and make sure he's he's fine. Uh yeah, I'm just like, excuse the huffing and panting. It's like I, I ran up the stairs. Um, uh, but yes, go go follow my friend Rainbow. Um I'm sure most of you were following Rainbow, but if you aren't Go follow Rainbow Waffles, uh, because he's really cool. Uh, <clears throat> he's really cool. He's a dear friend. He's always very sweet and lots of fun to hang out with. You know, plays all kinds of games. Uh, Warframe and I think the... What was the one he was playing? It was like Hunting Ghosts? Um, in fact, uh, yeah, plays plays Warframe, plays, you know, Darkest Dungeon, plays games like... I, I think it was Demonologist? Yeah, it was Demonologist. Um, yeah, there you go. Go oh, ball rainbow. Uh, and hi, hello, everyone. Uh, I hope you're doing well. Uh, <laughs> yes, hit that button. Uh, I hope you're doing well. Uh, if you're new, hi, hello, I'm Mother Gamer, and I am a no cam variety streamer. Um, uh, do, do, do. <laughs> the, the scary murder girls game. Uh, I am a no cam variety streamer. I like to play all kinds of story games, RPGs, indie games. Lots of Animal Crossing, which we're going to be playing later tonight. Uh, and Cute Farm Sims. Um, <laughs> but that'll hurt my hand. <laughs> Hi, Julius. Uh, we do talk about mental health in here as well. Uh, I live with depression and anxiety. And I talk about those things openly and honestly to show it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to talk about it. It's okay to need help. We do our best to be kind, welcoming, and supportive of everyone. So oh, come on in. We're glad you're here uh oh, oh, oh my goodness uh after shaking his beer and splash on his face he wants to splash me with the beer oh no not not the beer yeah so we're gonna be checking out the dreamlight valley update tonight um and then we're gonna do a little vacation home design uh in animal crossing uh like we do with the happy home paradise stuff because it's fun um i don't know it's it's been a day uh hi panda how are you um yeah it's been a weird day i don't know people are are being people <laughs> uh you beat the animal crossing dlc today what do you mean you you beat it you mean you finished it uh <laughs> i haven't even finished it um i think there's like what something like I think there's something like 300 or 400 vacation homes you can design. And then, like, I think you can still keep playing. I don't know you could beat that. Well, yeah, because I looked it up because I was just like, well, what happens if you, like, complete all of the vacation home design? Um, uh, I can get my testosterone today. No, I mean, I got the KK slider thing. Oh, okay. Um, well, I haven't gotten that far, so, um, 400 if you can do one per villager. Yeah, I think the whole thing is, is, like, it, it finishes, kind of, but that you can still keep doing stuff. Like, you can, like, go back and do remodels or, um, if you want to, like, it's not technically over. Oh, but it's, yeah, I haven't gotten to that point yet, but we're getting there and after that i'm like well i don't know it's like maybe we do some remodels maybe we we just do some other things um i don't know because i haven't gotten there <laughs> um i haven't gotten there yet so i'm not sure uh but yeah we're gonna be playing some dreamlight valley um i don't know there's it's been like a weird it's been a weird day it's just uh <laughs> Like it's, it's been really weird and people are just doing what they do you know people in general not like specific people uh are doing what they do you know just 
so um i don't know how should i put it uh uh and mama started while i ate ah yeah that makes sense okay so um what was I gonna say? Oh, I'm not black. Okay, like my my younger brothers, my my three younger brothers, they're Filipino and black. So I I am saying this, right? Because and this has been done to my brothers. Like one of them, um, yeah, like like one of them got racially profiled, right? Like one one year, they the the cops got the wrong house. They got the wrong house. They busted my mom's door. Um, put my brother in handcuffs, detained him. Didn't tell him why they were detaining him didn't tell him why right and then proceeded to say that he fit the description uh-huh <laughs> and then and then realized like later that you know like a few minutes later that they had the wrong house and the wrong person yeah and it was it was a whole whole thing <laughs> it was a whole thing right and then you know one of my brothers you know had him like he stood up for himself with the person you know, with a friend, well, no longer a friend, an ex-friend, um, being racist towards him, right? And was told, you're being aggressive. <laughs> and, mm, 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 mm. I feel some type of way when people say that to someone, right? When they stand up for themselves, when they set boundaries. And the problem with saying that is saying that about a Black person when, like, it, it's not only not okay, it is dangerous for them. That is the kind of thing that gets black people hurt or killed. <laughs> they, it's sitting there saying that they are aggressive or that they are attacking you. And the thing is, is when they are correcting someone, when, you know, the person, when the black person corrects someone and says like, no, this isn't how you do something, right? This isn't what you say, right? And patiently and politely explain, um, and patiently and politely explain and then is it there and say well they're being aggressive they're attacking no being gently corrected being patiently corrected about your bad behavior or about your racist shit is not the person attacking you um and to say that you know towards black people is really irresponsible um and it it as i said it can get them hurt it can get them hurt or worse and like that is not okay and stop talking over black people seriously <laughs> like my god today the sheer amount of people i saw talking over a black person and being dismissive towards them or for standing up for themselves or setting boundaries for say you know for correcting the person and saying like hey this isn't it and saying well you're attacking me and you're being aggressive no don't do that are you serious right now right <laughs> like this is a fully grown adult that did this and it's just like you're a grown-up it's just like do you really need to be told how to act towards another human being at this point um yeah <laughs> i think they're saying well you're attacking me you're being aggressive. It's like no they weren't rude to them they didn't call them names they patiently explained why it was not okay to do that to someone right <laughs> like don't talk over they're like don't talk over bipoc people like they're like don't talk over them when they you know it's just like and i've said that before too it's like please do not talk over us when we share like things that we experience with you know with bigotry and hate or like things that we've dealt with right please do not talk over us or be dismissive of us because that's really rude and it shows that you're not willing to learn or or listen um you know, and it's really frustrating to see that time and time again, right? And then to tell, to tell a black person to, you know, to tell a black person to tell um, a non-white person, well, stop making it about race then when you, you know, it was like, well, well, you're the ones making it about race. Stop making it about race. It's like, no, 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 no. It's just like, pay, pay attention. It's just like, pay better attention. I was like, because no, okay. Um, uh, meds are kicking in. Have a good night, Panda. Um, yeah, so they were like, yeah, like the person seriously said this to a black person said, Well, stop making about race. And it's like, do you understand that the way the system works 
is inherently racist, especially towards black people. Right. And it's just like, so, you know, which is what they educated them on, you know, explaining that they have to be aware of the spaces that they're in. They have to be aware of their surroundings, have to be aware of what kinds of people they're around because they can't take that chance at all which is exhausting, which is frustrating. And so to sit there and be just dismissed by somebody who comes from, a, because they, they were, came from, who comes from a place of privilege, I just like talking over the person. And it's like, please don't do that. Um, yeah, treat each other with respect and love another. Exactly. And it's just wild to me, like seeing that, like all, all day today. And I was just like, are y'all okay? I was like, I know the pandemic was, you know, you know, like the lockdown, the pandemic lockdown was a lot. And I was like, but some of you are out here doing the most on things you should not be doing the most on. Um, and it's really, really strange to to see it. And it's just like, oh, okay then we're we're doing that. Right? And then and then seeing somebody monetize a video that profits off of someone's pain, uh, frankly is disgusting. Um Right. And, and they doubled down on it. And I was just like, okay, you did that. Right. <laughs> yeah. And I tweeted and the person, yeah. And, and somebody messaged me and was just like, oh, really? You really think it's, una it's unethical? Yes, it is unethical. It is unethical to make money to profit off of someone's pain and trauma. <laughs> like, seriously, because you want to teach a lesson or, or, you know, or teach about, the controversy of it it's just like no this is another human being that you're doing this to and it's just like and yes maybe they made a mistake and yes they made a mistake yes they did something that hurt others but it was over and done with it was it was done right <laughs> like the the person they hurt you know the person they did this at they spoke up it was done like move on right you did not have to make an entire video like just like drawing it out and then making money off of it and when they were told like hey you should not do this right this is really not okay right just delete the video and apologize right like several several people from the black community told them like this is not it several people from the trans community told them like hey you should delete this video and just apologize you should not have monetized this video okay um they doubled down and they said well i monetize all my videos and it's just like, this is the one video you should not have done that. Period. Delete the video and apologize. And instead, they they doubled down. And they were just like, actually, I didn't do anything wrong. I don't think I fucked up at all. It's like, really? Really? Um. Uh. Yeah. So And yeah, like Noral says, it's wrong. It is wrong to do that to someone. Because the thing is, is with, with that video, oh yeah, we're, we're going to talk about this too. With that video, um, how many times this is now? Uh, yeah, the thing is, is because of that video, it caused so many people to go and actively harass that person, harass them, harass them, drag them to the point that, yeah, they, they deleted their Twitter. They're, they're taking, yeah, it's just like, and again, this is why I say it is not okay to do this shit. Like, no matter how upset you are with somebody, no matter how angry you are with somebody, you do not do this. You do not destroy another human being's mental health or clout or fucking monetization. Like, seriously, the fuck is wrong with you? Um, right? Like, don't do that. Like, this is another human being that you are doing this to. Right? Yes, it, it was fucking awful. Right? And it's just like, and... They were told, like, gently told many times, right? Like, people trying to course correct, you know, get them to course correct. Be like, hey, this is not it. Don't do this. And and double down and said, actually, I don't think I fucked up at all. It's just like, you know what? If what you do, if your actions, okay? Because they're like, this wasn't my intent. And it's just like, nah. Like, the intent doesn't matter over the impact. Um, right? The intent doesn't matter over the impact. It's like, your actions caused another person pain therefore your intent does not matter what matters is the impact you had what your actions caused 
Um, yeah, and, and saying I didn't fuck up at all. Are you serious? <laughs> right? So, so it's just like this is, you know, when I say this is another human being, it's just like, yes, no one is perfect, okay? People mess up. People mess up. You know, people are racist. People are bigoted, right? But, um, some of the art, yeah, but. But that does not mean you go out of your way to actively harass and cause harm to the person. You do not destroy another human being's mental health. You do not, you, know, you do not hand out pitchforks and torches to go terrorize the other person, right? Like just leave them alone, you know, right? Um, just, just leave them alone, leave them the fuck alone. Right? And and then when you get corrected and you're just like, well, no, I didn't fuck up. And it's just like, actually, yes, you did. It's just like, because, and, and I find it, I find it ironic that so many of this person's videos are about like ethics and morality and gaming and in content creation. And yet they did something that is really fucking unethical and cruel. Right. And then had the audacity to say that they didn't fuck up. And it's just like making money off of another person's pain is wrong. Okay. It is cruel and it is unethical. And it shows who you really are in that moment. <laughs> it is like it shows who you really are in that moment. Because each of us has a choice in what we say and what we do and how we act and react to things, to things, to people around us. You know, and it is important to be mindful of that. And it is important to be responsible with that, with those choices, with that power. So it, it was very disappointing. It was not, was it surprising? Not at all. But, but it was very disappointing. Uh, and yes, so Dreamlight Valley, um, the, the Forgotten Quest, right? The Forgotten Quest, it was, it was very, it was very heavy. It um, discussed some very heavy things regarding uh yeah regarding sadness only basically regarding depression and anxiety um so and a lot of people were like i could have like dealt with a trigger warning for this um the good news is that they took that seriously right game of you know disney they they took that seriously and so they uh, they addressed it um and they put this warning this warning in just let everybody know like hey it's a really super heavy quest if you're not ready for it it's okay come back to it when you are yes i'm really glad that they did this that's like a really big deal oh yeah i forgot i dressed fancy i dressed fancy uh you hear a frustrated cry from scrooge mcduck go check on him do i have to do i have to yeah i changed to fancy 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 does you know do a little tap dance oh uh the thing is, is like, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm going to move Eric, like his house, because, uh, one of the things with the updates is we're supposed to be getting Vanellope, right? Noral showed me some of it. And the thing is, is like, I don't know where I'm going to put her house because apparently she wants to, to decorate around it. And I'm like, oh, okay. Right. Oh yes. I, I did the little quest and I got my, my little Cinderella coach. I, the only thing is, is like, I wish you could actually get into some of the things, like the little carriages and the little, the little sleds and whatnot. Hi, Golden. How are you? Okay, so I guess this is our quest with Scrooge, right? Um, Mr. McDuck wants, wants some help from us. Um, hmm. What should we do? All right. Wait, let, let me look. Okay, I already have this. Wait, wait, wait. I don't have this. What is this? Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, it's new wallpaper. Oh, that's new wallpaper. Yes, please. King Duck. He King Duck. He King Duck. Wait, are these gold pants? Oh my god. Oh no, they're brown. Okay. <laughs> From far away, they look shiny. Yeah, the the snowflake wallpaper. That's cute. Do I have this? Classic red vest. Ooh, can go with my my fancy fancy vest that I'm wearing. All right. I don't know if it's a fine investment. I'm trying to get all. The, I do like that it shows you now 
um what things are new and what things you already have uh they do have a stripe a gold stripe down the leg i don't have these boots i know i'm just i'm just over here buying everything there's a snake in my boot all right there is okay we'll get some sneakers actually they're dress shoes what are these a, a shoe worn for yachting um you're my favorite deputy i know right it's like uh okay wait what are these pants the pre pants no they're why why are they ripped I never got into that trend when I was a kid. Ooh, there's a new bathroom mirror? Oh, that's way better than the one. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Okay, grab it. We'll just grab this just to have it. <laughs> Other. Um. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so I already have this. I don't have this. That's cute. Fine, we'll buy it. He's just like, yay, we'll buy it. What is this? Oh. Okay, plant. Philodendron. Oh my. How about this? What is this one? That's okay. It's a light. Sure. Rip jeans on winter are <laughs> I did. Let me tell you. Rip jeans in winter are hell. I mean. Mm hmm. Yeah, like I never got into that trend when I was a kid, and I was just like, "But why though?" <laughs> uh, ooh, new bed too. Bridget's like, "Yes, please buy a lot." <laughs> Thank you kindly. I'm like, "Okay, um, okay, I already have that one." Ooh, what's this one? Oh, I already have this. Oh, that's right, that's in my library. And then there's. I'm sorry, but I. I don't like the t-shirt dresses or the cottage dresses. They're like, I'm sure they're comfortable. Like, I get that part. But they are just, they are just not, like, I, what's the word? They're, they they look frumpy to me. And I'm just like, I, I like being comfortable, but I also want to look nice if I'm wearing a dress. <laughs> um yeah it was just like they're like pajamas and i'm just like and that's fine but you're like isn't this stylish and i'm just like no mother g thank goodness you're here i need your help with a potentially supernatural matter i was exploring the dream castle looking for hidden rooms and treasure troves when bless me bagpipes i think i saw a ghost um the dream castle is haunted i it's possible my ancestral home, Castle McDuck, had ghosts and apparitions clear to the rafters. Okay. But this spectre looked different than any ghost I've seen before. It flickered in and out of sight. Since you're an adventurer like me, I want your second opinion. Did you go to the Dream Castle and look for the ghost? I last saw it at the very top of the stairs next to the fountain. Goodbye now. Oh. Okay. He's like, hey, could you go take care of that ghost for me? Okay, thanks. Bye. Like, can't you do it? <laughs> Depends on your taste and style. Like, if I... I don't wear a lot of dresses. I mean, I do have them for, like, if I have to dress up. And they're nice and comfortable, but they look... They look nice. They look, like, you know, fancy dresses. Uh, but... Um, yeah, my tastes range to, like... Like, I like to look nice. Um... Um, what the heck? Hi, Kofi stream box. What? That's the first time it's done that. I've never seen that before. Um, I, my, the Kofi stream box has never done that before. Like, Dr. Colonizer says at the top of the fountain. Um, Eat the hot dog with mayo on it? I don't know. Like, I have the Kofi bot in there, but it should it should be allowed to post a link. Um Uh I don't know, Norl, can you can you fix that maybe? <laughs> because yes, I do have a Kofi. If you would like to tip there, you can. Um, you know, that is a way to 
that is another way to support the channel. Uh, um, I'm not sure how. Uh, you should have super moderator powers, Norl. I think you can. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yes, that is a way to to tip if you would if you would like, and you know the money goes to me directly. Twitch doesn't get a cut. Um. So, wait, wait, where is the fountain? Or you can use the the tip link for stream elements also, or you can get stuff from the merch shop. Um. Oh, there she is. Oh, right, right, because they said she... Oh, that's right, in Wreck-It Ralph, they said she was a glitch, but she actually wasn't a glitch. Um, but she actually wasn't a glitch. Uh, let me see here. Hello! Greetings, old friend! Finally! Somebody's here! Wait, wait. I've been rehearsing for this moment. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um... Uh, okay, Golden. Uh, hi, Ron. Hello. Hello, everybody. You made it home safely. It's not raining. Was it? Everything was just... So it did rain? Oh, yeah. It rained. Uh, and then our, our machine, our, our, uh, Oh, okay. Um, hang on. Actually, um, should we just mod the co the Kofi bot? Cause that way it could post link. Um. All right. Uh. Blah blah blah. But yes, Ron made it home, so it did rain, which means I can't fucking mow tomorrow. Probably not. Unbelievable. <laughs> uh, hi, Ron. Hello, everybody. Hello. All right. <clears throat> so, my, my butt did get a little damp, but I, I had used a uh, paper towels and dried my off. And then I remember the way home, I have a heated and heated hand grip. So That should take care of that. Um. Oh, you have heat. You have heated seats. Yeah, I have heated seats. Oh, so you got wet because of no windows? Well, because there are no doors. Like it, it was that not that wet. There are no doors, and how do you get in? Wait, Arkamodo. Yeah, but there are no doors. How do you get in? There are no doors. Think about it. There are no doors. You just hop in. You've seen this. You know this. Wait, so I have to... There's no door that opens? No, no. You've seen it. You know there are no doors. I'm going to have to climb in? You're going to have to climb There's no door that opens? No. There's a, a, a two, three-point uh, seat belts that go across you that, that hold you in place. You don't move. So how do I get in if there's no door? Seat's right there. You just get in the seat. <laughs> what? 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 You don't understand. I. Yeah, I had a nice warm butt. The ones I've seen have doors. Well, yes, they do have doors, but they cost extra, thousand five hundred bucks, and they're only half doors. Oh. I'm so confused. Oh my god. Hi, Caitlin. It's oh. like a motorcycle. You just oh. hop on the seat. Oh, okay. I could have sworn it had doors. No. no I, I, had, I wasn't going to pay 2500 bucks for Oh, yeah. Confusion happens here. Like, okay. Alright, so Vanellope's here. Vanellope's here. We should take a screenshot of her. Wait, she keeps glitching out and it's freaking me out i guess that's part of the story there we go uh greetings i'm vanellope von schweetz <laughs> i remember she's from racket ralph 
Let's we'll joke and joke. Uh, yeah, so I can't mow the lawn tomorrow because it rained, and I think Friday it's going to rain too. Ah, the weather is so fun. Uh, sweet, yes. Sweet, uh, princess and president of Sugar Rush and slaughter race driver extraordinaire. Who? Who are you? What's this freakishly sparkling place? I'm Mother G, and this is Dreamlight Valley. Um... How come you're here? Are you okay? Do I look okay to you? I'm glitching all over the place. Normally I have complete control over my glitch, but one day, pow! I glitched onto this freaky network I've never seen before. Now I'm stuck. I have no control, and I don't know why. Um... Magic and technology don't always mix. Maybe the dreamlight magic here is messing with your glitch? Ugh. Why am I not surprised that a place called Dreamlight Alley is lousy with magic? No, Dreamlight Valley. There's got to be some way I can help you. Well, do you have one of those doohickeys where you talk into it and it takes pictures? Because I have an idea. Do you mean a phone? Yeah, that's it. I'm seeing a lot of photos being shared on the network I'm stuck in. Uh -huh. If you try taking a picture and sharing it on the network, maybe we can see what it's all about. Uh, <laughs> but hey, leave the castle and take a picture of something awesome, will you? Show me what I'm missing. Come on, you can't say no to this face. Look how adorable I am. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so I have to take... Oh, right, this is for the Dream Snap stuff. Um, what the faith, trust, and pixel dust. Okay. Some optional quest content can only be accessed by using our Dream Snaps feature. All right. Uh, Dream Snaps is a fun new game mode that lets you express your creativity and earn exclusive prizes. Decorate, take a photo with your phone, and submit. It's a snap. All right. Um, yeah, this teaches you about the photo sharing thing. Okay. Um, uh, you can also check challenge requirements uh, with ZR. Okay. Um, so I have to go outside and I have to take a picture of something. Can it be anything? I know for the Dream Snap stuff, I know there are some things that are going to be like specific to a theme. Um, so she's like, show me what I'm missing. It's like, you could also come outside with us, small child. <laughs> uh let's see here let's see here take a picture take a picture all right what am i going to take a picture of uh snap a photo with the tag requirement seen in the dream snaps menu where the hell is that um the lightyear movie no sorry i have not um okay where the hell is it? Oh, it might be under events. Dream snaps. There we go. Um, current challenge. Suggested modern? What? Cross the finish by decorating in tribute to everyone's favorite racing princess, Vanellope Von Schweetz. To begin, check the challenge requirements in the Dream Snaps tab. Okay. Um, I don't have Wreck It Ralph stuff. Uh, with furniture that uses the required uh okay girl what did you use uh hi merlin what okay seriously what am i supposed to use modern i'm supposed to use modern furniture so five playful things, five familiar things, suggested modern Wreck-It Ralph. I don't have any Wreck-It Ralph furniture, really. Um, uh, what did you use for the... I made a Wreck-It Ralph house? Oh, I'm going to have to make another room, aren't I? Damn it. Okay, fine. I will make another room. Um, the thing is, is I don't know if I have all the stuff. Um, room now house. Room now house. Hang on. Um, 
Blah. Fans happy about this. Floors. Two, three. Out of floor. Wait, I have to add a floor? Can I add a room? I do not think I can add a room. Oh. Oh. Add a floor. Yes. It's fine. Um. And the thing is, is I don't think I can add a room. Can I expand the room? Oh. Yes. A little more. Yes. Okay. <laughs> room i mean i'm not thrilled about it because it, it i don't know this it seems like kind of a lot um okay and i'm bad at decorating in here i'm better in animal crossing honestly uh okay wallpaper 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 does it tell you what kind of wallpaper it is like if it's fun or modern um Oh, right. I think they said you can use it according to the filters. Um, decorating in this game is hard. Hi, Lilo. It is hard. And the, the Dream Snaps challenge, it's like, hang on. For, to help Vanellope, it's like, it says, like, I don't have some of those furniture items. I know I, know I have the gaming chair and I know how I have like the little arcade station, but I don't have anything else. Um, just have to cluster the needed items behind you and take a picture. Yeah, I just feel bad. I don't want to like half ass it. Oh, I kind of want to, I kind of want to do it the right way. But yeah, like I swear I'm better in Animal Crossing with the, the designing, right? Because with like Dreamlight Valley, <laughs> with Dreamlight Valley, it's just like it's really hard and like sometimes I can't get the paths to do what I want. So I just kind of gave up on them. And I'm just like, whereas like my friend Tove, like Tove, Tove's Valley is amazing. Like he does, he did like all these designs in his game. And like, especially with like the plaza area, it's gorgeous. Like it's seriously gorgeous. And I'm here like, you know, just like trying something out. And I'm just like, eh, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, the paths are a struggle. Uh... Oh, Dream Light Valley looks like an ash place. Yeah, and it's so freaking cool. Um, hi, hi, Alpha Daddy. How are you? Uh, yeah, like Tove's Dream Light Valley. I'm just like, oh my god, this is gorgeous, and I love everything here. Like he's so good at it. Um, <laughs> he's so so good at it. It looks so good, right? Meanwhile, I'm over here just like throwing stuff around and trying to make it look presentable and, and then i'm just like eh it's fine it's fine <laughs> i'm like well like it's it's good enough um okay so i do want to do something with the wallpaper oh wait i have i think this is one of her wallpapers isn't it on oh right you can do more than you can do more than one wallpaper uh oh you were playing astroneer and yeah go follow go follow alpha daddy everyone uh really awesome friend uh really awesome friend always very kind and welcoming and their community is always very supportive and sweet everybody there is lovely uh and that is that is another safe space to to lurk in to hang out in and it's it's really nice uh i appreciate i appreciate alpha very much uh they're always very kind uh of course alpha i hope you're doing well um, yeah, I think this is Vanellope's, isn't it? The cake, the cake wallpaper? I'm pretty sure that's hers. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty, I totally forgot. I had several different, several different flavors of cake wallpaper. Like, but the real question is, can, is, is it like the, the schnozberries? <laughs> um, planning Friday or sooner after my break? Oh, nice. I don't know. So now, wait. So there's there's caramel, caramel covered strawberry vanilla cake wall. So like is or we can do chocolate covered strawberry cake wall, uh, or or this one, which is also uh, wait. Why do I have two caramel covered 
I have two of the same wallpaper. Why do I have two of the same wallpaper? Uh, it's fine. You know what? Maybe chocolate? I... Wait, 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 wait. Why, wait, wait. Why are you changing color? There. Go there. Okay. Maybe we just make a weird cake room. <laughs> like, it's not weird. Like, I'm not bothered. Like, are you sure? It's a very... Yep. Yep, this, this seems... This seems accurate. I wonder if I can make it bigger? <laughs> I wonder if I can make it bigger. I don't know. And... Edit this room? And turn it for the room. I don't have a name for the room. Okay, fine. Um, hmm. I I forgot that this part too. <laughs> uh, I guess we're gonna have a weird chocolate strawberry cake room. Um. Okay, fine. Uh, bloop, 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 bloop. All right. So wallpaper again. I need to do something about the floor. I think I also have the cake floor. I'm pretty sure I do. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how well I'm going to do it. Like the dream snaps thing. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I do think it's fun. Like it's a fun idea. And, you know, the and I was looking at the their blog post with the updates about everything. And I do think like the prizes that uh, they have for it are, are pretty cool. Um, eight. I do have weird strawberry floor um it looks like a pop tart it seriously looks like a pop tart <laughs> I was like hmm it's like it looks like a pop tart oh my goodness <laughs> reminds me of when I worked at the ice cream store uh yeah it's like it totally looks like a pop tart I don't know, this just kind of reminds me of when I, I worked in the ice cream uh, ice cream shop and, and all the little kids that like the bubblegum flavored ice cream with like the bubblegum pieces in it. Um, so <laughs> it looks gooey, right? Uh, oh wait, I have my iPad. There you go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and one of my brothers, he loved the bubblegum ice cream. Like he loved it. And I, I mean, I tried a little bit because uh, I worked for, I worked at Baskin Robbins. It was like my first job in high school. Um, and you could like sample some ice cream and I tried it and it was so like bubble, what now? Bubble gum ice cream. Baskin Robbins has a flavor. They still have it, I think. And it's bubble and it's called bubble gum. And the flavor is bubble gum and it's bright pink. <laughs> yeah, it's bright pink and it has like the little pieces of bubble gum in it like little pieces of pink bubble gum they look like little little balls of pink yeah and it's really and I tried it and I like you know I took like the little sample spoon and I tried it because I was like I was curious um Lila Lila Bobina hello thank you for the raid uh yeah I tried it and I thought it was sicky sweet and I didn't like it thank you for the raid how are you how was your stream Bobina, yay! Uh, yeah, everyone, go follow, go follow Lila Bobina. Go say hello. Go hang out. Check out some really cool Fallout stuff. Uh, good things, yay! You have to really like bubble gum, yeah. Uh, I'm good. I'm making a very strange cake room, but that it look, but it looks like a pop tart. <laughs> uh, we're we're checking out the Dreamlight Valley update. Uh, we we got we met Vanellope. And we're trying out the dream snaps thing. Uh, so I have to take a picture, but I have to, like, I think put some Wreck-It Ralph stuff in it. And I think this is Vanellope's wallpaper and her flooring. And basically, I made a giant Pop-Tart. <laughs> like, this is where we're at. I I made a giant Pop-Tart. There, there's, yeah, it looks like a Pop-Tart. <laughs> This is like this is this is as good as I can do. Um, uh, I don't know what furniture I'm gonna put in though. Um, uh, yes, but welcome on in, everyone. I hope you're doing well. Uh, if you're new, hi, hello. I'm Mother Gamer and I'm a variety streamer. I like to play story games, uh, RPGs, indie games, 
Lots of Animal Crossing in Dreamlight Valley, as well as cute farm sims. And we do talk about mental health in here as well. I live with depression and anxiety. And we talk about those things openly and honestly to show it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to talk about it. It's okay to need help. And we do our best to be kind, welcoming, and supportive of everyone. So welcome on in. We're glad you're here. Oh, you want a cake? Where you are now? Inside cake. Yes, it's like I'm inside cake. Uh, that is strawberry and chocolate, which, you know, are awesome flavors. Um... <laughs> <laughs> which are awesome flavors yeah but as i said this kind of reminds me of like the bubblegum ice cream the exception yeah one of my brothers really liked the baskin robbins bubblegum ice cream and then when we were older right we were adults he's like oh they have bubblegum ice cream he's like i loved i loved this stuff when i was a kid remember and i was like yeah right because i thought it was too sweet and kind of gross and i was just like oh no but kids loved it because yeah sweet bright pink bubble gum pieces right and my brother like got a scoop along with another flavor and he tried it and he made a face and i was like bro you you okay right <laughs> because he made a face and he goes i don't remember it being this sweet and i started laughing because he goes what's so funny ate and i was just like it's too sweet for you now isn't it and he goes yeah He's like, was it always this, like, really sickly sweet flavor? I was like, yes. He goes, what the heck? He's like, what kind of kid was I? And I was like, your taste buds change. I was like, yeah, the, the kids really loved it. Like, they loved the bubblegum ice cream. Right? Whereas the grown-ups, you know, I was in high school when I had that job. And I was just like, this, this flavor is disgusting. Ew. Right? <laughs> right? But kids loved it. And my brother was one of those kids and then he tried it and was just like i don't like this anymore he's like wow he's like what why did i like this and i was like i don't know because you did because you did and he's just like okay so we have to check all right so i have the the cake right we have cake wallpaper so apparently you go to the filter so it says modern or wreck it ralph i think i do like I said, I think I do have some of the the furniture, but <laughs> I could not eat too sweet stuff even as a kid. Sensory hyperactivity. Yeah, not everybody can, but my brother would always, that was always the flavor he would get was the pink bubblegum ice cream. And <laughs> it was just like, yeah, and my mom liked the rum raisin. And I kind of teased her about that. I was like, what are you, an 86 year old lady? She's like, what? Like, what What the fuck's wrong with rum raisin? She's like, it's a good flavor. I was just like, but it's... <laughs> yeah, we. she still loves rum raisin. And my brothers and my sister tease her all the time about it. I do like, you know what? She's like, someday you're going to be old too. And you're going to, you won't going to want the raisins because that is all you can eat. Okay. <laughs> We're like, yes, mom. Essentials. I think it's feeding. Oh, yeah, see, I do have it. Okay, wait, I should have an arcade thing, right? Oh, no, you know what? The arcade is downstairs. <laughs> the arcade is downstairs in the room. My mom, your mom loves rum raisin too? Yeah, so does my mom. She absolutely loves rum raisin. And I'm just like, okay. Wait, I think this was the couch, right? So we'll just, I don't know what I'm doing um hmm okay and then the gaming chair wait oh my gosh why no okay and then gaming chair i might have to buy a thing from scrooge um i don't know well, yeah because i think the arcade is downstairs in my in one of my bedrooms um okay so i have to i'm like totally half-assing this um <laughs> totally half assing this. I think you can do filters with this stuff, right? Pretty sure. Okay, do we have tables? I think we have tables. There's a tiled pup puppy counter. Okay. I have to have five of the things. This is the problem. Um beds, I think. I don't think I oh wait I do wait when did I get the candy bed that counts right 
Oh my goodness, this is this is the weirdest room I've ever made. Um I was like, well okay, all right, hang on. If I can just really uh if I can just move that for a minute, maybe I can move this couch in the corner like this. Um maybe move the bed to the center. I don't know what this room is. Uh lighting. I think I'm pretty sure that's hers too. Uh okay, lighting maybe oh whoopsie. Okay, let me turn it like this. I swear it feels like decorating in Animal Crossing is easier. Um and honestly in in Fallout too. Uh, in Fallout 4 when you have to do like the farming stuff. Um, I feel like it's a lot easier. Uh, okay. I don't think I did very well. Um, where's the furniture I put? Hello? <laughs> wait a minute. Um, wait a minute. Where is the furniture I put out? Excuse me. What the heck? Hello? Um... I put here... Alright. Where is the furniture? Excuse me? I know... What? What? Seriously? <laughs> oh! Talaga! Wait a minute now. Where is the first? I know I put it down and I saved and exited. What? <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding! You have got to be kidding! Like, the update released today and it's, it's, I'm playing this on the Switch and... Okay, alright, let's, let's try this again. Alright, here, here's the couch. Wait, where is it? Here's the couch. All right, boom, couch. Right? Okay, it's there. I can see it. I'm looking right at it. Right. <laughs> I'm looking right at it. All right, save and exit. What the fuck? What? Why though? Why though? I. Okay. Okay. Uh this is fine. This is this is completely fine. Uh this totally tracks. The, the <laughs> uh All right. Well, I mean the wallpaper is there. What Talaga bucket the man seriously? What the we're just like okay we're we're gonna try and leave and come back unbelievable i mean the other thing too is why couldn't vanellope come outside with us like she could have just come outside all right let's try this again i also have to take care of my pumpkin oh my goodness uh deca you know do do the dream sna snaps challenge so you can learn how to do it they said it'll be fun they said they didn't say i'd have disappearing couch <laughs> disappearing furniture like excuse me uh what <laughs> uh, oh my goodness all right okay then let's try it from the top um oh my gosh Noral, if this happens again can you can you clip it please because i want to tag them and be like you know to let them know like hey this is a thing uh all right okay here we go all right okay and then furniture okay just stay there just stay there it's fine it's fine don't touch it okay <laughs> and then why is it not <laughs> oh not the disappearing furniture yeah and i was like okay all right and then Seriously! Talaga! Talaga! Back in the month! Seriously? 
Okay, back in the month, wala na furniture ko. Where is my furniture? I put it out. I just... What am I doing? Like, what the heck do I do? Like, I can't continue her quest until this is fixed. Uh, I... I don't... I do not... I don't have the words. Like, what the... I've never had this happen before. Uh, I, I, what? Uh, okay. Uh, all right. There's, there's the bed. You have got to be kidding. I, uh, <laughs> all right. The only other thing I can think of is to to exit the game and reboot it. Um, otherwise, okay, so let's let's try that and see if that works. Otherwise, I guess I'm not doing this quest tonight, and we'll just we'll just tidy up my valley. I know I have no idea why it's doing this. This is the first time I've had this happen where my furniture just disappeared. Right, like the game crashes on the switch. Okay, fine. Like, you know, I take that in stride. But I've never had disappearing furniture before. Uh, how this glitch running on the Sims. Yeah, and I'm just like, I really wish they would fix the, the issue with the Switch. Because, like, oh my god. Right? They're just like, what couch? You don't have a couch. It's like, are you, are you sure about that? They're like, you have no couch. There is no couch, there's no bed, there's nothing. There's just a pop tart room. <laughs> like, well, it's it's fine. Like, I was really excited that we were getting Penelope. Right? I still am. She's she's cute. <laughs> right? <laughs> but, the, but the disappearing furniture. Oh my goodness. I was like, I guess it's fine. I don't know. I'm like, I guess it's fine. Maybe I should buy that gaming chair from Scrooge. I think... I think there was a desk... Oh, the arcade machine. That's what I wanted to buy from him. I wanted to get another arcade cabinet. Um, Yeah, I'm just kind of like, oh, all right, then I guess it's it's fine. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's not a big deal. I'm sure they'll patch it if enough people are like, hey, I have this glitch. Let me run to Scrooge's real quick. I want to I wanna get that arcade cabinet. Um, at, least, at least I look stylish. Dude, 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 dude. I'm ready to... <laughs> like I'm ready to, to tap dance and, you know, and, and sing in the rain. And if you understand that reference, A. <laughs> Ron knows it and he hates musicals. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I just don't like it. He's just but who does not know the Singing in the Rain? I think that's Gene Kelly. Was it? Yeah. Well, okay, either one. Old, they're very famous. Where yeah. is where is Scrooge? Oh, there you are. Are you on a break? <laughs> He's just like, what? Like, are you are you on a break? Uh, I'd like to order some items. <laughs> He's like, okay, you do what you gotta do, I guess. Wait, I forget what... I think it's under electronics? It might be under electronics. Oh, it is under electronics. I have two laptops. Why do I have two laptops? It's not important. Uh, he's just like, okay. Do you, I guess, um... Okay, seating beds. Art? Was it art? I could have sworn there was something of hers that was art. Um, oh, wait, no. Well, actually, that might be it. I have two of them, apparently. Uh, okay, miscellaneous. Is there anything? There's a purse. There's candy. Um... Wait, was this Wreck-It Ralph too? I don't remember. Um, hmm. I swear I can't, I can't remember half the stuff I have. Uh, 
right? I have one of those and one of those. Uh, foliage? No, maybe rugs? Maybe it was rugs I was thinking of. Wait, is that Ursula's? Oh, that's the octopus rug. Right. Oh. Uh, okay, I guess. Never mind. Um. Thank you kindly. The thing is, is like I don't know if I have all the Wreck It Ralph stuff. I don't think I do. Uh. You're a bad guy, but this does not mean you're a bad guy. I mean, you know. Yeah, no. All right. I have the rainbow fox. And yeah, one of my friends was like, don't you want to use any of the other animal companions? I was like, no. I was like, rainbow fox forever. I was like, plus, plus the potato quest. It's like, do you know how long it took to get that rainbow fox with all the heckin' potatoes? Um, uh, hello. You, my name is Mackenzie. You fluff my fur. Prepare to die. Oh my goodness. Yeah, because like all the different rain, all the different rainbow potatoes, like you had to, honestly, I feel like the green potato and the orange potato were like the biggest pains to get because the, the fishing for bottles quest for the green potato was a lot. And sometimes you couldn't even see the bottle in the water. So it was just like, oh, okay. All right, so we tried reloading the game. So let's see if that helped. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Um, all right. Here is the candy bed. Yes. Bed. Okay. All right. And then, um, no, no, no. Just leave it. What? What the heck? No, I put it there for a reason. All right. And then that worked. So rebooting the game worked. Now, now the bed is there. I, I just, okay, sure. Here, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> no. the narrator, it was indeed not fine. In, in her head, Mother Gamer was screaming into the void. <laughs> she was just like, yeah. <laughs> she was like, yeah, yeah, she was. Because why though? Like, why you do this? Game's just like, eh, do what I want. Okay, we're just, I don't know, this is a very weird, I'm like paranoid about this now. So I'm like, you're real, right? They're just like totally real. <laughs> it's like, okay, we, we need five of each, right? Oh my goodness. This is the weirdest room I've ever made. <laughs> uh okay wait 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 where is okay it's under ele electronics the arcade cabinet so we're gonna gonna put a little arcade cabinet here like like so uh oh boy all right i know i just keep like i just keep being like you're you're totally real right and also the paranoia um Save and save often. Okay. Event. Current challenge. How do I know if I if I got it right? Um I just sorted by Wreck It Ralph stuff, threw it all in. Wait, you can sort it by Wreck It Ralph stuff? How, Norl? Uh how? How? Probably under the place that says categories. Wait, no. I did it wrong. Shit. Um <laughs> um okay well i know the chair is hers what the hello oh i was like wait a minute uh here one one gamer girl chair i'm gonna turn it like this there we go uh all filters up top wreck it ralph oh filters wreck it ralph oh there you are ralph Okay. Now, oh. Ah! Wait, these are Wreck-It Ralph things? Hey, when did I get a donut chair? They're like, we don't know. Don't, don't ask. Uh, donut ask. <laughs> yes, Rose is like, 
First of all, how dare you? <laughs> Minimalist couch. Oh my gosh, this is a weird room, isn't it? It's a weird room. And then a counter seat. Why do I have a... Okay, apparently I have a lot of chairs. <laughs> There's more if you go to the all category. The all? What do you mean all? Hang on. Hang on. Let me just, let me just make sure the, the furniture does not disappear. Okay. <laughs> Wait, the all category? Um... Uh, category? No. Why do I keep doing that? Um. Wait a minute. Um. Okay. Alright. Furniture. Furniture. Filters? Wait. Oh, all. Filters. I don't see any more Wreck-It Ralph stuff, though. I think I don't have any more. Um. Oh, right. The night lights. I forgot about that. That's actually... Uh, that was actually hers, too. Um. Well, how do you know what's mod... Uh, Seriously, this is a couch? This does not look like a comfortable couch. Um, okay, if we go to furniture, all filters, um, okay, filters, wait, can, is there even a modern category? Um, <laughs> straight furniture zones, bathroom, bedroom, style, oh, style, there we go, that part, uh, modern. Okay. I don't I don't know if, if I need to put in more. Um I don't know if like this looks so weird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight things, but I don't think that's right. I think it has to be ten things, so I need like two more I think I need like two more things, right? Um I think I need two more things. Don't I? Um, five and five. Oh, Wells. Um, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Uh, wait. So I'm up to eight things, but it says like I need five Rick and Ralph things and five modern things. Or does it matter? Um. Set the filter for Wreck-It Ralph again? Oh, okay. Hang on, hang on. Um, all right. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I only look like I know what I'm doing. Wait, so... Uh, the only ones that are required are playful and familiar. Oh. Okay. So hit Wreck It Ralph again. So Wreck It Ralph, and then what? Do I just hit playful and familiar, or do I hit uh? It said modern and Wreck It Ralph. So do I? Should I hit? Should I hit the modern button too? Uh. All right. Well. Let's see. Oh, oh, right. The the Vanellope pictures. I actually wanted to use those because I did think those were, I did think those were cute. But I think I can only use one, right? I don't think we can have any repeat. Um, wait, the, the neon sign was hers too? I did not know that. Um, could we use the neon sign then? There's also a virtual desktop, which is kind of cute. I don't remember the chandelier. You know what? I'm just going to do the the neon sign. Okay. I think... Okay, no... Yay, no disappearing furniture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I did... Yeah, I did like bare minimum. Um, I think that's okay, right? Pretty sure that's okay. Now, now the trick is to take a picture with all of it in the background. Oh, this is going to be... 
This is gonna be a lot. Oh. All right, let's try. Let's try it. Um. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, no, no. Oh gosh, darn it. Can I change the camera mode? Oh, I can change the camera mode. Okay, cool. Oh, good. Uh, she's she's standing awkwardly. Oh, good. Just just like in real life when I take pictures of myself. So it's like, uh, yep, this is this is as good as it gets. <laughs> oh, this was so hard for me earlier. Hi, Tegan. Yeah, I it actually glitched out on me. Like the furniture was not showing up. So I had to like reboot the game. <laughs> so I had to exit out the game and reboot it and then it worked fine. Um, yeah, so I have no idea if I did this correctly. I hope I did it correctly. I may not have. Uh okay, do we do we take the picture now? Um Yay. I I think it did it. I have no idea. Um, I don't know if I did it right. Oh, snap a photo. How do I know if I did it right? Oh, when you take your picture, there's an option to check the dream snaps. Oh, ZR. Okay. Let me try again. Um, I messed up. Oh, oh my gosh. I forgot. I forgot to change her eyeshadow, but honestly, I like it. So we're just going to keep it. Uh, Change camera mode. I can do it like this, right? Uh, blah, blah. uh honestly, I don't know how often I'm gonna do the dream snap stuff because it seems a little bit for me personally, it seems a little bit stressful. Um I don't know if that makes sense. Uh okay. Yay. Alright. We are. Playful seven five. Wait, I I did it right, right? Oh oh okay, I did. Yes. Yes. Submit the picture. It's fine. Uh, your picture was correctly submitted, and you received fifty pixel dust. For future challenges, we will send rewards to your mailbox. Oh oh, right, the pixel dust. I think that's how you also get things from it. Um, I don't know what to do. <laughs> room now i'm like do i just do i just destroy it or do i just leave it like it is uh <laughs> i'm like i guess i guess i should get rid of it i feel like i should just get rid of it for now because i'm not really sure yeah i added another floor just so i could do this um but now i'm like well do i keep it do i leave it i'm like well i should do something with this room i added a fourth floor so maybe it can be like a little photo studio room we'll just uh leave it blank until we need it for other decorating things <laughs> um decorated outside area of the plaza and just got rid of everything after yeah I just kind of walked away from it. Yeah, I'm just like, well, it's it's a, a very odd room, isn't it? Um, the wallpaper, we can just, I don't know. Can we remove it? Uh, <laughs> can we remove the wallpaper? Asking for a friend. Uh, I guess, you know. Um, hmm. Pink French Castle wallpaper. Oh. That's kind of pretty. Um, you know what? For right now, we'll just we'll just leave it the way it is. So like with the pink French wallpaper and cake. Like, yep, that's that's how we're doing things. Uh okay. We're like, bye then. Um I have a twenty you have twenty stories in your in your house? Um, oh my goodness. I yeah, I have not been that ambitious with my house. Most I did was three floors. Uh, most I did was three floors. The the fourth floor is new just for this specific thing. Uh, yeah, I need to definitely take care of my pumpkins. Pumpkin Empire. But we're gonna go over here to talk to Vanellope. Wait. We're... I swear my rainbow fox just like wanders off on its own. Right? And then he comes running up. He's like, wait for me! 
was like, mm, I don't use most of it. Ah, uh, makes sense. Well, there is one room that I made downstairs specifically for storage because I kept running out of space. <laughs> so a storage room was necessary. Uh, okay, so she's at the top of the stairs. Oh, hello. Greetings, old friend. You're back. To be honest, I was 50-50 on the chances. Um, I came back as quick as I could. <laughs> Aw, you're a real pal. Thanks. When you added that photo to the network, I saw these pixelated dust bits all around me. And when I touched one of them, I was solid again, just for a second. And I know where I go when I'm not here. I've been glitching into other dreamlike valleys. Oh, okay. There are tons of dreamlike valleys and dreamers, and they're all connected. That's the network I'm bouncing around in. Uh, I love the re revelation in this. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay, I guess. Did you still want to stay here? Uh, that's the coolest thing I've ever heard. Ultra cool with whipped cream and chocolate sprinkles on top. That is so much sugar. <laughs> Now that I've been all over, I know your valley is the one I want to hang out in. Huh? I just need something to lock onto. What did Tommy call that thing in Hero's Duty? Yeah. Oh yeah, a beacon! Make me a beacon and I can get out of the network. You know, something that really calls to me. Something that feels like home. Oh man, is her home going to be huge? Yeah, that's it! Okay, alright. Uh, oh gosh. Oh right, I joked to Norrell that I was going to move here. <laughs> Uh, or was I joking, Eric? Eric's like, wait, you're moving my house? It's like, yes, I, I think I might move Eric's house to somewhere else. Uh, he keeps coming up to me and, and playing his flute. And I'm just like, sir, can you, can you go? <laughs> I still don't know why he needed his own house. It's weird. The thing is, it's like, where the heck am I going to put her? Um, because Minnie and Mickey are already down here, along with Goofy. Merlin's over in the corner. Yeah, and, and Woody's over here. Oh my gosh. I, yeah, I haven't logged in for a couple days, so. Uh, and again, I say, <laughs> the other villagers live here too. Why can they not tidy? <laughs> they are like, we're, we're busy. Like, doing what exactly? It was like, um, I mean, even Wally, like, tidies, and he's a cute little robot. Like, he gardens, and he'll, he'll clean up stuff. <sighs> okay, where am I going to put her house? Buzz is here, and Wally is his neighbor. Oh, boy. Uh, this is going to be a whole thing, just, just tidying, right? Um, yeah, the thorns can only be removed by dreamlight magic. That is a good point. Um... Oh yes, the balloon arch, the balloon arch that Buzz asked for that took like, that <laughs> took like 20 flowers. Wait, oh, I already got all of the rewards from this. There's, oh, okay. I didn't know that there was more to do. I kind of, <laughs> once I got like the red panda suit and I got all the other rewards, I was like, I'm done. Um... Last visual, I just have to do the shutter Ursula quest line. Yeah, the Ursula quest line, it takes a little bit, but once you get it done, it's like, yeah, and plus, look at this thing. Why did, like, <laughs> the funny thing is, is one of my friends, right, when she, I was showing her, like, how to do it, and she's like, oh, okay, right, and then she's like, oh, I got Eric's house, hey, it's Ralph! Um, <laughs> it's also a tiny bit disturbing, yes, just a little bit. Right? And then, you know, she was like, oh, I started laughing because, because, you know, got to be like Eric's house. She's like, oh yeah, I have to put Eric's house somewhere. Right? And then she, uh, and I was like, okay, like, here's, here's his house. Right? And she was just like, why? And she saw the size of it, right? Like the size of this house. And I, <laughs> I fell over laughing. Because she looks at his house and she goes, fucking colonizer, Eric. <laughs> I just was like, oh my God. Right? And I just started laughing at that because she was like, fucking colonizer. And I was just like, oh no. <laughs> right? And I was just like, oof. 
Uh, but yeah, but it's it's really obnoxiously big, and I'm just like, you know what? I really want to move it. I want to move him somewhere where it's just not like taking up so much space here. Oh, uh, he is so he really is, and I'm just like, and every time he's in Remy's restaurant, he always orders freaking wedding cake. It's just like, it's, and if it's not wedding cake, it's fugu, and I'm just like, sir, why? I'm like, why do you order the most obnoxious stuff when you're here? And he's just like, but but wedding cake? And it's just like, are you gonna are you gonna move in with Ariel anytime soon? Yeah, I'm I'm tidying this up because I don't I don't like how messy it's making my my valley. I'm like, no, you gotta go. Oh, oh, it's you. He's like, do you want to talk to me? And I'm like, no, I really don't. I just like, but I want to talk to you. It's like, no, thank you, bye. Like, no, thank you. Bye. Very busy. Doing, doing stuff. Uh, uh, I found the Warhammer 40k channel. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. He's been doing uh, Warhammer stuff. Um, do, 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 do. There we go. Okay, now the question is, where do I move Eric? Because I have a feeling Vanellope and Buzz would get along pretty well. So where do I move him to? <laughs> He's just like, you want to move me somewhere? I'm like, I do. But no, where the heck do I move him? Uh, where do I move this? I, I can't put him on the beach. That's like too... Can I put him in the woods? Can I put him in the woods? Would that be okay? Oh my god, if I can even fit him here. Oh, I had a really terrible idea. <laughs> what if I just put him here all by himself? in the frozen lands i think i could do it i think i could i think i could totally put him there <laughs> do it. put him in a fro he's like why did you put me in a frozen tundra you know why you know why sir uh the only problem is the trees are in the way okay all right i'm gonna Eric is like, you're not moving me yet? No, it's like, I gotta clear out some space. <laughs> I gotta clear out some space. The, the thing is, though, I wish the houses weren't as big as they were. Uh, case in point, Mini Casita. Mm. Because there is nothing about Mini Casita that is mini. Like, seriously, I had a hell of a time fitting it in here. Um, and it's just like, nope. Okay, so let me... Oh my gosh. No, no, that's the wrong thing. I just, I don't know why it bothers me so much when it gets messy, but it bothers me. Right? Like, the, the little branches under the trees don't bother me, but seeing, like, the the mess everywhere bothers me. <laughs> but I'm just like, no, I like, I have things the way I like them. Why, why you do this? Right, I get the same way with my island in Animal Crossing. Like when there's like weeds and rocks, I I get rid of them because it bugs me. Um, and I'm just like, well, that's that's messy, and I don't like it. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, see, Mini Casita is waving to me, but I gotta, yep, see, around here too. Um, yeah, and it's like, and I know there's not like a lot of pathways in mind because I just. I have tried to make the paths work. Like, I really tried. Um, I really tried. The thing is, is like the Kofi, the Kofi bot never did that before. That's actually really relatively new. Um, but yeah, but it's just like, like I've tried with the paths. Like I've tried to make them work and then and then it's like really hard to get them to line up the way you want. And then and then I get frustrated. <laughs> and then they don't do and then it doesn't like work the way I want. Oh well, Ross, I heard Goss and I was like, why are we getting rid of Goss? We will never get rid of Goss. Goss are amazing. Uh <laughs> Goss are amazing. Um, especially, you know, uh Goss like Robert Smith of the Cure. Uh, let's see here. We got this. Okay, so I'm just kind of 
cluttering around. That reminds me, I should check on my um, my Christmas area. Uh, there we go. Yeah, it's just it's just bothering me. So I'm just like, well, let's just tidy since we're here. Uh, all this to get rid of Eric so I can move Penelope. <laughs> Eric's like, you're you're moving me very far away from everybody. And I'm just like, yes. Uh, I just like, I feel like he's like, you're, you're moving me very far away from everybody. I just like, yeah, I was like, yes. And he's like, do you do you not like me? He's like, yes. <laughs> he's like, yes, do you like me? And I was like, yep. And he's like, really? He goes, so why are you moving me so far away? It's just like, your house is huge. We have to find a way to, you know, get everybody to fit and... We can't do that. Well, you can't strike your colonizer ideology. <laughs> Wait, oh my goodness. I was like, well, like, look, Eric, it's not personal, okay? It's just, <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's just, it's personal. And you, you constantly order wedding cake at the restaurant. Like, who orders wedding cake? <laughs> like, who orders wedding cake, Eric? And fugu, right? Like, the most complicated dish. Right? And this is like where if you even make it remotely incorrectly, you know, people can die from it. It's just like, seriously, Eric. This is like, who goes pufferfish, right? Yes. And if you don't do it correctly, bad things can happen. Uh, okay, wait, wait. All right, there we go. Yeah, this is my, my Christmas area. Oh, there's another uh, treasure chest. Uh, and there's thorns everywhere because of course there is do 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 so we're just tidying this up so we can bloop, uh make some make some room uh, um did i get rid of all of the icicles here okay uh <laughs> her energy is going down so i gotta make some food luckily we have a little a little stove here let me that no matter how much like i fit yeah, like, I don't know, like, for me personally, it's not going to be my thing. But, you know, more power to people who can eat it. Uh, let's do, let's do a booyah base. We do a booyah base? Yes. I have just enough shrimp. Nom, 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 nom. All right. Yay, we did it. All right, so let me, let me eat this thing. Um, nom, 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 nom. Wow! Jeez! That was, that was quite the energy boost. Hello, little foxies. I don't have fish for you. I'm sorry. They're like, why don't you? It's just like, I just, I don't. Let me just get rid of this nonsense. Good grief. You don't log in for a couple of days. <laughs> Look what happened. Oh, yeah. Also, right, we got Simba and, Mal and Nala, right? Uh, I don't want to risk it. And that's totally valid. Uh, we got Simba and Nala, right? And and they're they're lovely. I, I like them very much. They're very sweet. However, <laughs> they're like, uh-oh. Like, oh no. Oh, hello, Scar. Because here's the thing. You remember the quest we did with the trees? With, like, these trees? So now what's been happening is things like this are happening. Trees are popping up in places that I don't want them. <laughs> oh, and they're just like, hey, we're bringing life to the valley. That's great. Don't put trees where I don't want them, where I have already tidied up and have it looking the way I want. And then, like, here they are. And I'm just like, that is not what I want. Don't put that there. <laughs> oh, mom. Julius. 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 <laughs> Meds taken? Good. Good, I'm glad you remember and I'm proud of you. Uh, okay, there we go. Yeah, so because of these like little, you know, bountiful trees, I'm getting trees in spots that I don't want them in. And like I had things cleared out the way I want them. I was like, can you please, can you please not mess with my valley aesthetic? It's like, I have things where I want them. Please stop moving them around. Right? So they're, so all these trees are like popping up in spots that are like, I don't like. <laughs> and rather inconvenient for me. And I was like, ah. Right? So I, so I keep like moving them or removing them and it's, it's a whole thing. 
right? And I know that tree wasn't there before. I know this tree specifically was not here. So now I have to get rid of it. Um, what arcade game should I play with my little brother? Street Fighter Alpha or Metal Slug? Street Fighter Alpha. Um, all right. Yeah, so, yep, I'm removing it. Sorry about it, Tree. Tree is like, oh, okay. Yeah, and this one too. Like, I know that wasn't there. Like, <laughs> okay. Can I remove you? He's like, no. Fine, we'll just, we'll just pick you and then, you know, that'll be, that'll be that. Um, yeah, these two, these weren't here either. <laughs> like, I get it. That's one of the things about some of the biomes is like when you clear them out, some of this stuff is like very, it feels very closed in and like very, like a little bit claustrophobic in a way. Um, so I just, and I just kind of want things the way I want them. <laughs> Like, I've, I've done my best to make sure... Okay, I'm going to move you just a little bit. There you go. Okay, now we can go get Eric and move him, and then we can put Vanellope where uh, Eric was, I think. I think it'll work. Um, No, no, not... No, what the heck, lady? <laughs> no, not picture-taking times. Or we're, we're tidying up some things. Uh, sheesh. Um, I already have like a Meeting ton of snowballs. Hey Nala. Uh, so I'm gonna just sell this stuff to Goofy. Uh, Goofy's like, okay. Hmm. I wonder if Goofy ever takes a vacation. Uh, yeah, I don't need these, so it's it's fine. Um, yeah, I, I, I kind of have been hoarding a lot of crafting materials and things, and uh, I have so much stuff. That, like, some of it I don't really need anymore. Okay, there we go. Thanks, Goofy. Oh. Okay, bye. Um, okay, so we're gonna go... Gonna go to Eric's house. Yeah, see, Mini Casita is huge. It, like, I had a dickens of a time getting that to fit there. Alpha 3 has dramatic battles, co-op, Street Fighter. Oh, there you go. Oh, and I ran into a wall because... Yep. <laughs> because reasons. Uh, do, 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 We're just singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. What a wonderful feeling. We're happy again. Okay, you and I gotta talk about all the trees you have popping up everywhere, mister. <laughs> He's just like, what? You don't, you don't like the trees? Like, I do like the trees, but... We have things planted a certain way. No, no, no. No Hakuna Matata on my watch, mister. I'm talking to you. <laughs> He's just like, what? You, are you upset? He's like, no. No, no Hakuna Matata. You, you listen up, mister. <laughs> like, the trees are the way I like them. Stop adding more in weird spots. No, really? Really? This, this is how you treat me? <laughs> He's just like, I'm, I'm going to leave. Like, mm hmm. Like, okay then. I see you, Mufasa. He's like, I'm Simba. <laughs> it was like, hmm. All right. Here we go. Haha. -ha. Goodbye, Eric. He's like, goodbye. Where am I going? It's like, you're, you're moving. You have to move. You gotta move. Okay. At least you can move the houses now. Uh, okay. Not. Oh, boy. Sheesh. Okay. I'm gonna put him. Wait, can I turn the door a little bit? Jeez, it's hard to see the door. Um. Okay, you know what? Let me just pop him... Pop him over here. What is blocking his path? Okay. Something is blocking him. Uh. I, though... Okay, can we turn? Nope, can't turn like... Turn like that? Something is... Blocking the path. What the hell is blocking him that I can't put him here? Uh. No. Oh my gosh. Wait, can I, can I zoom out a little bit? Oh, for goodness sake. Why can't I put him where I want him? Um. 
Uh, oh, okay, that's why it's a tree. Uh, I did all this work just to move him, and I can't move him. Something is blocking the... Oh, because they're crying out loud. Uh, okay, the branches? Something is acting up. Okay, fine. I'm going to have to go over there just to, like, just to see what the hell was blocking him. Um, home for infinite losers? HFL. <laughs> Straight to HFL? Straight to jail. Uh, okay. All right. Okay, what the hell was blocking him? I really didn't see anything that it could be. Was it the tree? It couldn't have been the tree. Oh. Are you kidding me? One freaking branch? That 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 was the thing? And a rock. Salaga. Salaga. <laughs> oh my god. A branch. One teeny tiny branch. Seriously? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, talaga. All right. Oh my, why is this tree here? Simba. <laughs> He's just like, what, what? This wasn't here either. These lions and the damn trees. Uh, like, no, no, just no. <laughs> oh my God. I'm, I'm going to throw Norl at Simba's face. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, all right. Okay. I know. I know. All right. Okay. Let me see if I can fit this damn house in here. Why though? What is, what is causing this to not fit? Like it's insisting... That I can't put it there. And I don't know why. It's saying that I have to put it here. Which does not make sense. Right. Okay maybe. If I move the tree. The tree has been a pain in the ass. Uh, okay. Right over here. Okay. And then. I put Eric just like next to the tree. Um, hang on, I have to get rid of the, the silly flower that's in the way. <laughs> uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. He has been tackled. Yeah, like, the, the thing is, is, like, this is what I don't like, is it's, like, the freaking, the if you in, are insisting that we have a house for them, okay, fine, I get that part. But making them like gigantic like this does not make sense. Okay, you know what? There, you you live here now. This is like that's as good as it's gonna get. Fine. <laughs> but he's just like, wait, really? He's like, but there's really he's like, I don't want to hear it, Eric. You live here now. <laughs> you know. He's like, oh, okay then. He's like, I guess it's fine. This is like, code meow. Yeah, it's just like, because they make it, like, huge, and it's impossible to fit in. It's like the heckin' grid system in Animal Crossing, where you can't get something to fit properly because they're just like, well, this is how it works. And I'm just like, no, it's not. Okay, so let's go, let's go put Vanellope, uh, next to Buzz, I guess. Um, I really hope I can fit stuff around her house. I don't know. I'm gonna have to make sure I have room because I get the feeling there's gonna be more to do. Um, you forgot to put on deodorant. Oh, yeah, deodorant's important. Um, you know, all right. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough room, but I'm gonna try. Why do I keep finding things that I need to tidy up? Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. I'm I'm afraid to see how big this house is. <laughs> All right. Right. Um this is your Oh, come on. Why? Why is it that big? That is 
Rod's over here laughing as I yell, why is it that big? <laughs> uh, okay. Am I even going to have enough room to put anything else near her? Near her house? Okay. All right. Oh boy, I mean, I could probably remove Buzz's arch because I don't think I can move the pond. Um, that's what she said. Yeah. Unlock. All right, here we go. Oh, greetings, neighbor. Ah, so the wee lass I saw in the castle wasn't a ghost after all. Uh, no. Then I guess we'd best make her a bony place to stay. Uh, four thousand. You're a bad duck. <laughs> He's just like, you can afford it. He's like, you have 8 million star coins. <laughs> Vanilla B, well, I cannot wait to meet the last for myself. Yeah, she wasn't a ghost, you rude jerk. <laughs> Welcome, Vanilla B. Oh, my goodness. What the heck? It's like a fever dream. <laughs> oh, that's the cheapest house we've had in a while, right? Uh, the last one was like, oh, yeah, it was. It was 10 grand. Welcome, Vanilla B. Okay, yay. She's here! Ta-da! She's like, oh, hello. Oh my god, she's so cute. Uh, right, um, wait, hang on. Can I hide the UI from it? One, uh, two, three. Okay. One, two, okay, we did it. Right, here you are, hello. Hello! I'm here! Holy hoody do! Thank you, Mother G. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! My glitch is back under control and I'm ready to explore. See you around, chum. Oh, okay. That that's it. Take take your house and go. Oh, I see how it is, girl. <laughs> yeah, I see how it is. She's like, see you around, chum. I'm like, oh, okay. Are, are you taking pictures? Oh, yeah, she oh she teleports. Okay, that's definitely different. Oh my, she is adorable though. Oh, <laughs> woo. Uh, oh my goodness. Well, now what do we do? Hello, you, you good? Hey, wanna race? Um, you look confused. Hey, Mother G, how come people here eat stuff that comes out of the ground? Um, who's eating stuff out of the ground? You, I've seen you do it. You mess around in the dirt, add water, then you pick stuff out of the ground and eat it. What is with that? It's called a garden? Um, <laughs> are you talking about farming? Farming? Wait, farming is real? Yes. I thought it was just a thing in simulator. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> What? Oh my god, that's amazing. I thought it was just a thing in simulator games. Um, You sweet shelter child. Oh my god. We need to get you outdoors more. What did you think they were simulating? Oh my god, we need to get you outdoors more. Yeah, outside is pretty neat. I especially like the wild animals and extreme sports. Oh, she's that kid. <laughs> She's that kid. Wait, what does she like? Candy? <laughs> I don't know. She's just like, what does she like? Or is she like best from that 70s show where he's like, all you need to give me is candy. You know, birthdays, holidays, candy. <laughs> he's like, day to day, candy. Uh, hmm. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait. I think we can actually... I forgot that we can do this, so we can look at the characters and see what their favorite is that day. Um, Forage with fruit. Whimsical pie? Whimsical pie? Do I have the recipe for whimsical pie? I think I can make por porridge with fruit, though. Wait, can we... Oh, wait, we can't get her to farm with us. Is she making friends with Ariel? That's cute. Um... I need to do this garden stuff. Um, <laughs> this garden stuff. But 
I don't know. I want to do a little more before we switch over to animal crafting. Oh, right. My, uh, the rest of the valley probably messy too. Right? I knew it. Scar and his wildebeest bones. Uh, this is going to be a whole thing. All right. Uh, this is going to be a whole thing. Okay, so let me see. I don't think I can get her to come with hey, me. There. Come on, press start already. Um, Gotta go. Let's talk soon. Uh, All I have to do... Um, who do I have that has gardening? Uh, okay, so I can actually make some porridge with fruits. Let me just go into my kitchen. Uh, doot, 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 doot. If I can get her to level two, I might be able to, like, get her to help in the pumpkin patch. Um, yeah, because I really need to harvest those and plant the others. Uh, do 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 do. I've been thinking. Oh yeah, so I added this room. <laughs> I haven't added more storage chests yet, but it's basically storage, food, and other things. Because I got tired of running out of out of space and i was just like yep but i made some little changes i did adjust the library a little bit um yeah i changed the wallpaper up a little bit and i got rid of the fireplace here and added more bookshelves because because books uh <laughs> yeah well, one of my friends was like yeah the friend that like called eric a colonizer <laughs> she was like checking it out and i showed her and she's just like good grief like, do you think you have enough books? And I was like, no, I need more. She's like, okay. <laughs> She's like, oh, okay then. It's like, I like books. I like reading. Um. Okay, so porridge with fruits. Was that, um, I think that was a main dish, right? Porridge with fruit? Unless I don't have that recipe yet, but I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, lobster roll. Okay. Uh, pan seared, pan seared. There's a lot of fish dishes. I'm noticing porridge. Oh, there we go. Porridge with fruit. Uh, <laughs> porridge with fruit. Ta da! Kind of looks like oatmeal. Um, does she like anything else? Um, oh yeah, there was something called whimsical pie, but the thing is, it's like, I don't. I don't remember if I have the recipe for that. I don't think I do. Uh, so we could do... Oh my goodness. I, a little faster. Lemon sorbet, meringue pie, mint sorbet. And then there's... Okay, waffles, wedding cake, wonderland log. Yeah, I don't have whimsical pie recipe. Noral, did you make that yet at all? The whimsical pie recipe? Um, look out the house we go. Out the house we go. All right. So. So, Dan. Uh, yeah, give me a tick. Oh, you did make it? Okay. Wait, where did. Crap, where did she go? Um, oh, right. I always forget that I can track them on the map. They're like, that's not creepy at all. It's just like, I know. Uh, there's Merlin. Oh, there she is. Oh, she's making friends with Buzz. She's making friends with everybody. She is a very social little kid. Uh, meanwhile, somebody approaches me. I'm like, who are you and what do you want? Uh, all right. Hello. Hey, hey where are you going? Uh, I have something to give you. Enjoy this port. Hey, there we go. That worked. <laughs> I love it! I love it! I love it! Oh, there we go! Yay! Oh, what's ring to? Oh, that's cute! The little, the little socks, the candy. We have some cute things. Um. Oh man, she has some really cute things. Wheat butter dreamlike fruit. Oh, really? Um. Okay. Gardening. You're helping with gardening. Yeah. Uh, bring a friend their favorite gift. Yay, I did it. Hooray. Okay. Uh, hello? Hey, Mother D. I've been thinking. Your valley is totally great, but it might be missing something, Goddess Ash. 
for you always okay so i can't believe you have all this faith and all this neat stuff but you don't have a candy biome what the hell um there is a beach did you see the beach i did but it's all sand and no sugar a missed opportunity if i'm gonna stay we'll have to make some candy related changes around here i may no longer be a sugar rush racer but my love for candy never died first things first landscaping take these candy cane seeds okay <laughs> These look like normal candy. They are candy, kind of. Special tree sprouting candy. You'll see. Plant them, sprout them, and then bring them to me when you're done. In the meantime, I'll try to find some more stuff around here that we can use to decorate. I have to plant candy seeds? Okay. You think anyone in the village is faster than me? I don't know. Uh, let's hang out. I love her jacket. Her jacket's very cute. Gee, I thought you'd never ask. Well... Well, well, well. Never say never, Vanilla Bee. Um, I wanted to make the thing. Uh, how am I gonna make the thing? Uh, I guess I have to go into the house again. Wait, no, I don't. I can go to Scar's place. Sometimes I don't like having to go inside to cook. So I, I kind of like placed like little cooking spots everywhere outside. <laughs> and some of them I left. Okay, what was it? Wheat butter dreamlight fruit. Wheat butter dreamlight fruit. Wait, no, hang on. Can I just, like, add something? <laughs> can I just... Can I just add a recipe? Okay, yeah. Here we go. Wheat. Wheat! Um. Butter. Okay, where the heck is it? Dream light fruit. And cook! Oh! It looks questionable. <laughs> It looks questionable. I'm scared to eat it. Uh, so we'll just give it to her. Hey, you want, you want a Prezi? Want a race? Um, I have something to give you. She's like, what? Uh, here you go. Have, have a... Ooh, snap! Dang, she really likes dessert. Um, it only glows a little for me. Seriously, you're the best, pal. Wow, that was fast. Oh, that's cute. Wait, is that a candy cane arch? That's cute. Oh, that is very cute. All right, so we're gonna... I know I have to plant... Should I plant them near Wally's? I think I should plant them near Wally's because that's the only place I have room for. Um, But first, oh my god, Mother Gothel, go away. Go away. No, Vanellope, Vanellope, don't look at her. You'll catch her evil. You'll catch her evil, Vanellope. <laughs> She's like, what? It's like, oh, it's a sticker. She's like, what do you mean? Don't look at her. It's like, don't look at her. Don't, don't look at her. Don't look at her. <laughs> like, you'll, you'll, you'll get her bad lady cooties. She was like, oh, oh, okay. Like, hmm. Okay, but before, so we're gonna continue with this a little bit before we switch over to Animal Crossing. But before that, um, it's been two hours, so I need to take a stretch break. So if you need to take a stretch break, now's a good time to do so. And Noral probably has to feed her cannibal kitten. Um, so break time, break time. So get some water, get some snacks, get some food. Uh, if it's time to take your meds, take your meds. Make sure you take care of you. I will be right back.
came back. Uh, thank you for waiting. All right, so we're gonna get back to this. I, I'm gonna figure out where I want to, um, where I want to plant the seeds. Uh, thank you. Yeah, because it looks like I have 10 seeds. So I think what I'm gonna do is what I usually do. Like, I'm gonna go over to Wally's garden and I'm just gonna dig up a little, little spots there. Um, yeah, I usually do that for quests, uh, when it, like, asks me to grow, because I don't want to interfere with my pumpkin pack. Uh, and Wally doesn't seem to mind when we garden near him. <laughs> he gets, like, really excited. So, it says we have, like, ten candy seeds, right? So, one, two, uh, let's just make it three, three, sir, uh, four, and then... Okay, so that's five spots there, and then we'll do do five spots here, um, and that way it doesn't mess with my pumpkin patch too much. I put mine uh, near where <laughs> somewhere near Vanellope's house. Yeah, because I'm just like I I have the pumpkin patch and my my orchard the way I want it, so I don't really want to interfere with that too much. So, it's literal candy. Uh, okay. He's like, yep, literal candy. I'm like, alright, this is, this is what we're doing. He's like, yep. Alright, so, and then this way, you get to do all the things. Okay, so magic watering can. Water the candy. Okay. I harvest them after a minute. Wait, they only take a minute to grow? Okay, I guess that tracks. Um, hey kid. She's like, yeah. Uh, hey kid. Um, uh, here, wanna, want some carrots? Uh, me adjusting my sunglasses to look cool. Um, <laughs> Wait a minute, what is that phrase? Sweet mother of monkey milk. This is a meat. What is that phrase? Sweet mother of monkey milk? I what? Um oh my god. Well uh alright, uh okay, come on, let's uh let's go get the pumpkins. <laughs> I, I have never heard that phrase before. <laughs> Sweet mother of monkey milk. I was like, um, all right then. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is like, what? Excuse me? All right, so let's, we're, we're harvesting pumpkins. So this is, she's like, this isn't a sim. She's like, farming's real. This is like, yeah, farming's real. <laughs> it's like, I mean, this is a sim, but, <laughs> but yes, farming is real. Uh, she's like, okay, uh, that's cool. Uh, so we're just gonna harvest all the pumpkins, sell these to Goofy, uh, get, get more pumpkin seeds, profit. She's like, okay, wow. Uh, oh, there's a puzzle piece there too. Um, whoosh, whoosh. I pick up this. What we got? We got... Oh, it's just more coins. Darn it. We need more puzzle pieces. Nala, we're gardening. You see that we're gardening. Oh, come on. I'm not bothering with those. Um, have a good night. Have a good night, Leela. Uh, thank you again for the raid. Have a good rest. Uh, oh my goodness. Wait a minute. Yeah, because like the, you know, how the coins like sprout out, right? And you only have like a certain amount of time to get them before they up here. I already know I'm not going to get those pumpkins. So it's just like, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. And then once we do her thing, then we need to, we're going to switch over to Animal Crossing. Um, we're tidying up. We're tidying up. She's just like, okay, do the thing. Right. And it is a nice way to level up our friendship with her. Uh, just, you know, doing, doing the gardening. Doing the garden things. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, and then, oh, more pumpkins, more pumpkins. 
Oh, I missed a pumpkin? I missed a pumpkin. All right. Well, then we'll just do a little bit of this. I think there's... Oh, wait. I think she's almost to the next level. Hey. Ta-da. She's like, wait. Level up? Level up. Okay, what's level four? Oh, level four is coins. That jacket is really cool and I want it. Uh <laughs> Like, it's really cool and I want it. Oh my goodness, so many pumpkins. So many pumpkins. Like, it's all gourd. Um. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Next field. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, and the end. Hmm. All right, so we go like this. And then we'll go like this. Uh, okay. And then there's another... I haven't been finding, like, all of the puzzle pieces. I don't know if it's just... It just depends on if you get lucky to get them all. Uh, let's see. What's this one? This one is... We finished one. Oh, it's Beast and Bell. Yay! Seriously, when are we getting Bell? Um, when are we getting Bell? Is that the only one that I finished? I think I finished another one too. Oh yeah, I finished this one too. This one I think is Moana. Um, and then there was another one. Yeah, I haven't found all the Wally -E pieces. Um, yeah. So we finished. Oh right, and then. And then Rapunzel and Pascal. I actually really like like that one. Uh, September. Last week, September. We're getting them in September. I actually really like Pascal. <laughs> like, that picture is really cute. Oh, right. And then there's the one with Sully for, for Monsters, Inc. Uh, so I did finish some of them. I have one piece left for, for Woody and, and the little girl. Um, I've forgotten her name. I feel really bad about that. Uh, so yay. Harry, you keep getting gifted and stuff to Harry whenever my sub runs out. Well, that's awesome. And, you know, she's always really, really sweet. I, I haven't been able to, like, catch her her streams recently. I think she did. Yeah, like, her schedule changes uh, from time. Like, I, yeah, I've been missing her. Like, sometimes I'm able to, like, lurk and other times I just missed her. Um, I love that dance scene. Uh... <laughs> Da, da, da. Oh, for uh, Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, it's really nice. And the song, the song for it is so, so good. Uh, like, it's such a good song. Da, 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 da. I, like, I mean, who wouldn't? Uh, she was on break. Ah. Uh, oh, my goodness. I know she's been, like, playing Final Fantasy XIV. I don't know. So... Yeah, because the server that I was on, uh, Lamia, like, everyone was cool, right? You'd get, like, an occasional, like, person that would be, like, kind of a dick. Um, but, uh, but because, like, so many, you know, myself and my, my guild, because so many of us played Final Fantasy XI before, we're all, like, older gamers, so we just didn't give a fuck. <laughs> we're just like, whatever, it's fine, right? Yeah, especially with, like, some of the newer players, right? Like, they're new, and people would be, like, would be, like, oh, speed speed through the cutscenes. You can just watch them later. It's, like, this is their first time playing. This is their first time seeing it. How about we be cool and just let them watch the cutscene? Right? Uh, and it's just, like, oh. Uh. But then, you know, I think part of it is, like, all the stuff happened with Blizzard. <laughs> And a lot of WoW players came to Final Fantasy. And the thing is, is I think it was like a bit of a culture shock for them because Final Fantasy XIV is not like WoW. Um, you know, and, and yeah, like it's not like WoW. It's completely different and it's a little bit of a, and it's more of a different energy. So yeah, so some of us veteran players for, for Final Fantasy XIV were like having um hi blue how are you we're, we're like having to tell some of the new wow the, the players that come up from wow like hey there's an etiquette 
you know, and how you behave here, right? Like this is, this is not it. Um, yeah, because when we were like training some of, you know, we were showing like some of the newer people that joined our guild, uh, like how to do some of the dungeons, right? Like one, one person, he was, he was learning Paladin, right? And our, <laughs> one of our guild leaders, he's, he's a really OP Paladin and he was like helping him. Um, and we were short one person, so we picked up, uh, you know, somebody. So we were like, well, we'll just, like, pick someone up, right? And unfortunately, the person we picked up uh, was rude the entire time to the new paladin, you know? And there, he's just like, God, two paladins? Ugh. So how is this going to work, right? And I was on my bard, <laughs> so I was, like, doing the songs and doing the things. And I'm just like, it's cool. And we, we wiped, right? We wiped because, you know, the the new paladin made a mistake. It happens. It's just a game, <laughs> right? It happens. And he felt bad. And we're just like, dude, it's cool. We'll just we'll run it again. You know, you're, you're still learning. It's fine, right? And then, <laughs> yeah. And they asked me if I would switch to my samurai class. And I was like, sure, I got it, right? <laughs> and, and I did it. Right. And I was just like, yeah, you know, let's, let's just leave and we, we can try again and I switch. Right. And this person, the, the new person that we picked up, right. They just started being rude, just like ripping into the paladin. Um, just like ripping into him. Right. And I was just, right. And I, I said something, it was like, Hey, no, like we don't do that here. Like, that's not cool. Don't, don't do that. You know, he made a mistake. He's still learning. He's new. He even said at the start of the dungeon that he's new. It's his first time doing this dungeon and we're, we're teaching him how it works. Right? Um, that's why I don't play well among other issues. Yeah, we're, well, yeah, we were on Final Fantasy XIV. This person was like, well, this isn't how we do it in WoW. And I got annoyed. <laughs> right? And I said, well, this isn't WoW. It's Final Fantasy and it's different. The mechanics are different. The dungeons and the raids are different. And I was like, the vibe is different right and he's just like oh okay right and he's just like really he's like and they made you switch jobs i was like yeah because i have like an op samurai and it was like all decked out and i was just like and i know how to handle it right and it's just like sometimes we switch job classes it's not a big deal and, and he goes okay right yeah and the thing is, is our main paladin for our guild, he was like, I'm just going to switch gear a little bit. And he's like, that way it can help you out. He's like, I can step in if something goes wrong and, you know, we won't wipe. And he's just like, okay. Right? And it, yeah, and he was like still, and this kid, the other kid, I think he was a kid. I'm not sure. But the way he talked, he sounded like a kid. And he's just like ripping into our, our newbie paladin. And I, was just, and I said, like, this isn't how it works. Right. And he just like, well, maybe I'll just leave the party then. And I said, maybe you should. Right. And yeah. And the other guild, other guild mates like back me up. They're like, yeah, like you, you can go. And he's like, but I really need to do this dungeon. And I was like, well, then you can come with us if you can just be nice. And he's <laughs> right. Um, ingrown hairs on the back of legs suck. Oh my gosh. Norl, are you okay? Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm tidying up in here. It looks like I don't have to tidy up too much here, but I have to tidy up probably in the Forgotten Lands. Um, yeah. Yeah, and he was just like, oh, so we're just supposed to be nice to everybody? He's like, what are you, old or something? And it's like, yes, right? Yeah, and and our t the guy that created our guild, he was also like, yeah, most of us knew each other from Final Fantasy XI. Right? And he goes, yeah. He's like, most of us are junior. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah. Right? Because he was on a, a black mage. Right? The the guy that was being rude. And he goes, wait, are you all Final Fantasy XI veterans? I was like, yeah, most of us. Most of us played Final Fantasy XI together. And now we're here. And he's like, so yeah, many of us are older gamers. <laughs> black mage. Yeah. And he was just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> my condolences the thing is is like we have black mages in our guild and the thing is is black mage is not a bad job class because trust me in final fantasy 11 black mage was really freaking op like it you could like nuke and the the, the only problem was 
you had to watch how much hate you drew because of black mage being so op you could draw a lot of hate off, you know off the paladin right off your tank um right so and we have really good black mages in our guild that, that know like how much hate to pull know when to like ease off right and the thing is it's like a couple of times right and he's like going on about the paladin you're supposed to protect me you're supposed to do this right and our paladin i was like do you want to feel this and he stepped in he goes okay he's like here's the thing black mage <laughs> and he goes if you are just going new cappy on the mobs and he's just like and you're not you know recognizing that you're pulling hate off the paladin he's like if you pull too much guess what happens he's like the monsters come and eat your face he's like and then we have to do everything we can to pull it off of you so you don't die and he goes but sometimes things go wrong and everybody wipes and he's like and you know what we do he's like we dust ourselves off and we try again and he's like and we understand that it is only a game and that the person that you're yelling at is another human being and he's like so he's like here's how it is he's like everybody's new at, at some point right and he's like so we're gonna try this dungeon again like you're welcome to come with us he's like but if you can't be polite if you can't stop ripping into our newbie and he's like then you can go and we can find someone else who can play nicely with others <laughs> right yeah and the black mage was just like seriously that's just how you feel and i said no i feel that way too and our other guild leaders are like yep yeah like like get fucked if you can't play nice <laughs> right and they're just like they feel like god that's so lame and I was just like, well, then I guess we have our answer. It's just like, thanks for, thanks for coming. We will find someone else. Right. And he's like, you can't just kick me from the party. And yeah, the, the paladin that was training the other paladin, he totally kicked him. And he's like, oh, yes, we can. He's like, you mean this button? <laughs> right. And push the button. Yeah. He's like, yes, we can. He's like, I push the button. He's like, goodbye. And it's just like, yeah. And we got somebody else. We got somebody else that was a red mage this time. And they were totally nice. Like, yeah, we explained what happened. They were like, so are you good with like a new person? You know, we might wipe again because he's still learning. And the red mage was really nice. He, you know, they were just like, yeah, it's, it's cool. Like, you know, I was new too. You know, I've been there. He's like, Let, let's do this. Right. Second time went a lot better. Right. Because we, we all talked to, to our new, our new guy. <laughs> right. Because he's like, oh God, I messed up. And he yelled at me. He's like, I don't want to play this game anymore. And we, we were very gentle with him. We told him, look, it's okay if you don't want to play anymore. So it's like, but here's the thing. It's just like, did you see how everybody like stepped up for you? And he goes, yeah, it's just like, we got you. It's just like, it's not a big deal. We're playing this game for fun. We're having fun, hanging out. And yeah, sometimes we wipe. <laughs> and I was like, sometimes we wipe and it's not a big deal. We can just try again. Yeah, and he was like, really? Yeah, because one of the things the Black Mage said was like, you should just watch the YouTube video so you know how to do it before you get here. And we pointed out not everybody has, you know, not everybody has that kind of time, right? And it's just like, and the thing is in, with Final Fantasy XI, when we first played that game, there was no tutorials on how to do it. You had to like work together to figure out how to do it. And if you didn't figure it out, yeah your party was going to get wiped out, right? Sometimes things would go wrong, right? And it was just like... <laughs> black mage versus the cooler black mage, red mage. The thing is with... Okay, so in Final Fantasy XI, some differences in mechanics. Red mage had an ability called convert, right? And basically with convert, the red mage could convert their HP to MP, and then they could heal themselves. Right? So they would could basically be just a non-stop fountain of, of mana. Right? So, and the reason my bard was so good in Final Fantasy XI was because bard had songs that helped the mages. Bard had mages ballad. And mages ballad basically refreshes all of the mages MP. So you have, a, so to have like a red mage and to have a bard, right? And also have like your white mage, like your healer was a really big deal because the bard basically <laughs> what my bard did was every time you know they were like okay downtime running out of mp was the bard had to be constantly playing mages ballad so the mages constantly had mp so they could keep everybody healed up they could keep everything <laughs> everything together right and then 
separate and I would have to separate the paladin from the mages because the paladin needed buff songs, right? Needed songs like armies pay on. Um, and songs that basically buffed their vitality, right? So there was like a song for each specific thing that Bard could use. Um, yeah, so Red Mage is actually really good in Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, yeah, and the second time went better, right? And the Red Mage was like supportive too, and actually the Red Mage ended up joining our guild, and he's really cool. He was, right, and I was like, his name looked really familiar, and I said it, and he goes, wait, He's like, he's like, did you play a samurai and a bard in Final Fantasy XI? I was like, yeah, that was me. And he's like, oh my god. He's like, Piro, it's you. And I was like, yep, it's it's me. Yeah, and he ended up joining our guild, and he's really cool. Um, but, but yeah, he was really nice too, and it was just like, yeah, like, look, man, everyone's new at one point in a game, and it's it's no big deal, right? It's like we're playing to have fun, and we pointed out like all the times like we messed up, like you know, I accidentally hit like the wrong the wrong monster and then it came and it linked with all the other monsters and we wiped or the time like one of our friends in the guild he'd, he'd been drinking to be fair right in his defense or not um he had been drinking right and he was playing on his wife's character and his character at the same time because she had to like go take their dog outside right and came back and on her character he used his limit break on a door in the dungeon <laughs> and, she, and we could hear her in voice chat going did you, did you use my limit break on a door? On a door in the Dutch? And we're all cracking up about this, how he messed that up. And he's just like, well, I, he's like, the door deserved it. <laughs> we're just like laughing, right? And the new paladin is just like, oh my God, y'all did this stuff? It's like, yeah, like it's, and it's okay. We all laughed about it because it's supposed to be fun. We're having fun together. We're friends. And we're having fun right and and then we pointed out the time when we were doing um horses you know the horses you get like the kieran horses and you have to to fight the primal the primals um our guild leader did this i shit you not everybody else had gotten their pony right we we, we got like all the different elemental ponies right i got mine he was the last one right so we all passed on it because it was his turn uh, he lotted on it, and then and then he did this. Before it dropped into his inventory, he left. <laughs> he left. He left the dungeon, and then it went to one of the new people's, right? <laughs> yeah, and he goes, hey. And, right, and he realized, he didn't realize until after he left, he goes, oh shit, wait a minute. And we're in voice chat, just dying, just laughing. We're just like, did you, did you forget a pony? Did, did you forget something? And he goes, oh, damn it. <laughs> he goes, oh, damn it. He's like, I, he's like, I didn't wait. I was like, you're supposed to, and I'm teasing him. I'm like, you're supposed to wait for it to drop into your inventory before you leave. He goes, I know. He's like, son of a bitch. <laughs> right? And one of the newer, the newer people we were helping, they go, um, I got the pony. Is that okay? And, we, and that just made us laugh more. And he started laughing too. He goes, yeah, it's totally cool. We can just, he's like, I got time. We can do it again. Right? So we did the fight again. It's fine. Right? And we're waiting and we're like, okay, everybody pass. <laughs> and then one of our other leaders goes, now remember, you have to wait here until the pony goes in your inventory. In your inventory. Then you can leave. <laughs> Right. And he just sort of sighing. He's like, yeah, yeah, I got it. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally yours now. Right? Yeah. And his girlfriend is just like, our fearless leader. Yay. <laughs> and he's just like, damn it. Okay. He's like, all right. All right. He's like, I got the pony. Yeah. And we're telling our new paladin this. And he's just laughing. He goes, yeah. He's like, y'all are nuts. <laughs> And we're like, yeah, that's the point. It's just like, we're just having fun. It's not that serious. Right? How long did it take for him to, to do it again? Oh, he did do it again. He did it again with a different item. Yeah. <laughs> he did it again with a different item. Uh, yeah, we were doing a raid and there was like something specific that he wanted and the item dropped. Right? And he starts to teleport. Yeah, he started to teleport. Like he started to leave. And we're like, wait, wait, wait. And we were telling him, like, in the guild chat and voice chat, we're like, wait, wait, don't leave. The item didn't drop. You, you don't have it yet. 
you don't have it yet. He goes, what? He's like, but it dropped to me. I'm like, is it in your inventory? And it was too late. He left. Like, it, it popped him out. And, right, and there was, like, silence for a minute. And I was like, dude, you okay? And he goes, oh, my God. He's like, I did it again. He's like, this is the pony all over again. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> so he's done it twice. He has done it twice. Right? Yeah. And the new paladin was just like, y'all are nuts. And was, yeah, and we're just like, yeah. And I told him, I was like, that's the point. It's just a game. It's meant to be fun. We're just having fun. We're just, we're just friends. We're just a bunch of friends just dicking around together in a game. And, you know, and yeah, sometimes we do stuff like this and it happens and it's not a big deal. Right? It's like, it's just for fun. Right? And it's just like, and if you make a mistake, all right, it's fine. It happens. You know, if, if our entire pirate party wipes, we'll just try again. It's not a big deal. And he's just like, y'all are so nice. And it's like, yeah, it's just a game, dude. Like, it's cool. <laughs> I mean, yeah. And we did the dungeon a second time and he was fine, right? He, he learned. He learned how to do it. He learned what he needed to do, right? And yeah, and our, our main paladin for our guild, he was like teaching him how to do it. He's like, this is what you do. He's like, this is how you handle it, right? And explained it very nicely in ways he could understand. He's like, you know, because and he would ask questions he'd be like well what if what if this happens he goes well here's what you do right and it, it was fine right <laughs> yeah funny thing though we ran into that black mage after we did uh the dungeon right and he actually apologized like he actually came over and apologized to everybody and i was just like oh okay right and he's just like and he even admitted he's just like i'm not really used to how things are done here he's like it's really different from wow and we're like yeah it is <laughs> right and he's just like and y'all didn't like call me names or anything he's like y'all were really nice about it and i was like yes i was like and the thing is it's like you are gonna get some trolls in the game you're gonna get people in the game that are not necessarily nice and you just you handle it and you move on um Right? But we're like, yeah, it's just like because we understand it's just it's only a game and we understand getting heated or upset if you lose at something. But, you know, we're just here to have fun. We're not it's not that serious to us. It's just it's meant to be fun. And it's like, and if you're not having fun, like, what's the point? Um, you know, and he's just like, yeah. Right? And he apologized to, to our newbie. He's just like, I'm really sorry I ripped into you. It's just like, wasn't cool. Right, yeah, and he's just like, it, it's okay. He's just like, you know, I, I did make a mistake. And it's just like, all right, all right then. Yeah, and it was all good, right? But the thing is, is like a lot of people on our server were like kind of commenting about like some of the WoW players coming in and how some of them seem to be really impatient and not really understanding that a lot of the things you do in Final Fantasy XIV require a lot of patience, right? Like a lot. Um, and they're just like, well, I want it now. I want to do it this way. And just, why doesn't it work like this? It's like, because it doesn't, it's a different game entirely. Uh, <laughs> so it's just like, so it's like, well, yeah. And so people, so a lot of the Final Fantasy 14 players were getting like really like the Final Fantasy 14 community was getting really frustrated with them. And it's just like, games are meant to be fun, period. Um, uh, you know, and when I explained to my guild that I'm like taking a break, you know, and not playing for a while because I was just like, I just have been kind of phoning it in, like showing up for like the dungeons and the raids, but I haven't been having fun with the game lately. They were really nice about it. Uh, you know, or just like, you always have a home with us, you know, you're, you're our friend. And I was like, yeah, right. And it's not like we never talk to each other. We have like a, a group chat and a group text and everything. So we, we talk all the time. Uh, but yeah. That's the whole thing with like MMOs, right? Like they're meant to be fun. Like games in general are meant to be fun. Like having fun with your friends and just sticking around. Uh, <laughs> if you're not having fun. Like it's okay to take a break. It's okay to just, you know, take some time away from it. Um, oh my gosh, Moana right in the middle of my pumpkin patch. Seriously? Seriously? <laughs> She's like, let me dance in the middle of your pumpkin patch. And I was like, okay, this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. I'm not sure what design I want to do in Animal Crossing either. Uh, Moana, you good? She's just like, boy. She's like, that candy hits really hard. 
Yeah, I don't know what was happening. She's just like dancing over there and I don't know, maybe she she got a glitch from Penelope. Hey, rank five already? Okay, oh, we get the jacket now. We do, right? The, the jacket is ours now. Can we wear it? Can we wear the jacket? Neapolitan racing jacket? Wow. Her head glitched like crazy. I know, I'm just like, well, uh, she, she okay? It's like, you, you good? You, you want some juice? Want some cookies? I was like, I, I don't know what happened with her. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh dear. Oh my goodness. Wait, I want to see if I can wear that jacket. Am I allowed to wear that jacket now? Asking for a friend. Um, it is a jacket, right? Oat, oat. It's a jacket. Where is it? Oh no. Do I not have it? Oh wait, no, nope, that's not it. Um, it's in here somewhere, damn it. Uh... Wait a minute. I have too much stuff. Wait, there it is. Whoa. Oh man, that that's nice. That's a nice jacket. Um it doesn't go with my my fancy duds though. I'm gonna have to you know what? Maybe we should change our outfit today. Um hmm, 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 hmm. let's see. What kind of top should we wear? Something, something nice. Mm, not quite. Well, maybe. No. I need like a t-shirt. Like some kind of like really cool t-shirt. Ooh, Lumiere. Well, well, well. Um, there's also like the Jesse one from Toy Story. Um, we got a camisole. We got a colorful giraffe shirt. That might be fun. Meal in a cup shirt. Okay. Not quite it. Monster University shirt. Oh, that's cute. Uh, blue button up vest. Too fancy. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. I can wear. Oh, I can wear these. I can wear my pan pride shirt. That'll work. That'll totally work. I think. Maybe. Uh, or. Oh, I forgot I had this. The the Mickey Mouse shirt with the, the running. Um, let's see. We need some pants. Uh let's see. Do we have do we have blue jeans? We have blue jeans. Oh, there we go. Definitely gonna have to switch out the shoes for sure. Um <laughs> could run around in my bare feet. Uh, let's see. Sandals, maybe? Maybe sandals? Hmm. Or, or we could do... Oh, I have no idea. Short pink heel. No. That's not quite it. Pink dolly shoes. No. Booty loafers? Okay. Honestly, I'm kind of leaning towards the sandals. I think those will be, like, nice and comfortable. Uh, yeah, let's do, but then why am I wearing the jacket? I don't know. Wait, I want to see how the jacket looks with the Mickey Mouse thing. Um, I, no, I didn't want to wear the sweater. Gosh darn it, lady. <laughs> He's like, are you sure? I, I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah, it actually looks really cool with the Mickey Mouse, uh, running shirt. Thought of the most evil new type of mimic? Mimic? I don't know. Yeah, that looks cool. Yay! I really like the jacket. Uh, okay, so we're gonna just plant all of these. And then we have to water everything, too. Ladder mimic? Wait, like, it's a ladder, but it's a mimic? Um. So you're like, let me climb this ladder, except then you die the end. Uh, because a ladder mimic because the mimic ate you how many new uh, I've made here. no woody you're my favorite deputy <laughs> he's like you know what you're my favorite deputy he's like no you're my favorite deputy um is that for your like D, &D stuff all right here we go we're just 
planting some pumpkins for our pumpkin empire. Do 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 do. Like a normal rope ladder, but you get stuck in it and it starts dragging you up. That seems dangerous. All right, now last one, and then we get to water everything. The thing is, it's like you have to water them twice. Um, and then they take four hours to grow. Wherein, uh, my brain just thought it up without any wherein. <laughs> I too do do not think of things without any without any warning. Oh, warning! It's okay, Julius. Language is hard. Uh, the evil mimic is the bridge mimic. There's a bridge mimic. What the hell? There's a bridge mimic now? Oh my stars. Uh do 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 you have the time to listen to me? What no, no. Uh da 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 boom sha boom da, na 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 Alright, wait, we're almost there. Life would be a dream, sweetheart. Alright. Last pumpkin patch. I just thought of it because I saw a video of a D and D I'm making a house mimic. Oh yeah, house mimics are totally a thing. La 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 la. I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to start a blaze in your heart. Uh, let's see. That's a good song. And I think they use it in one of the Fallout games. Uh, we're gonna have to, like, go in and get energy. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Come on, Vanellope. Let's do some cooking. Um. <laughs> yes, they do. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. I mean, I think it's three. Oh, yeah, it's Fallout 3. Do, 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 do. Time to cook. Time to cook. Wow, that is a badass jacket. Alright. We make buñuelos, buñuelos, or a cheese platter. Or we can make a cake. And then we can have cake by the ocean. Or a banana split. Actually, let's make a banana split. That'll probably give us more energy. Um, mix can look like wood, stone, or other basic materials. So yes. Ah, I see. Of course, now I miss Fru Fru. Fru Fru. Fru Fru Fru. Okay, wait. Did I make that? Did I make the heckin thing? Oh, I did not make the heckin thing. Damn it. Alright, but Elvie's just over there vibing. She's like, what are we making? Like, banana split, I guess? Or banana ice cream. Either one works. Right, blah, 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 and bloop. Okay, sorry. Uh, sorry behind Fru Fru coming. <laughs> Fru Fru? Uh, alright, here we go. Okay, I think the, the candy thing should be ready. Uh, I don't know, when I hear Fru Fru, I, I just think of one of my, my uncles being like, I don't know, that's a little Fru Fru, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> Which is like his way of saying like, oh, that seems like it's fancy. Uh, he's like, it's frou-frou. <laughs> I was like, okay. Alright, so we got this. Dun, dun, dun. Water. Water everywhere. Oh, well, exactly. Then get out of my pumpkin patch. What the heck? Just like a typical cat. Going where you don't belong. <laughs> but doing it anyway. Like, you know you don't belong there, but doing it anyway. Uh, is the furnace Dullahan? Ah. That's a good one. Do, 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 do. In the garden. In the garden. Alright, here we go. Over here. And then we water. Yep. We still have to tidy up the beach and the meadow and probably the swamp. But let's get Vanellope her, her candy thing. Uh, she's like over here like, I want candy. 
Uh, uh, well, candy. All right, so we got this. Wait, why? There, there you go. Um, I was just like, candy on the beach, there's nothing better. But I like candy when it's wrapped in a sweater. All right, so let's do this one. Okay, so we're almost done watering our pumpkins for the day. Yep, I'm definitely going to have to eat that banana split. Uh, all right, and last one. Hooray, we did it. Okay, let's go check out her candy garden. Pick up all the weird things. Like, what are you growing? Candy? Uh, all right. Seriously, is it candy? It's totally candy. Wow. Wow. Candy cane, candy cane, candy cane. Wrapped candy. All right, here you go. <laughs> Give candy cane sprout. Here you go. Do you like it? Hey, these candy cane sprouts look great. Okay, stand back. I learned this trick back in Sugar Bread. Okay. Ta-da! Now you can decorate around my house with these candy cane trees. I also found you some more stuff to make things extra sweet. Take these giant lollipops and this sugar cookie pavement too. Oh no, I gotta make paths. You should put up at least half the decorations around my house. Oh, and make a racetrack. A racetrack? Girl. <laughs> a racetrack? Girl. All right. All right. Oh, my Lord. Okay. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um. Okay. Let me catch up a normal story for a minute. Same game. Um... Poopa was a mimic given intelligence about to an item called the Chest of Plenty. We could use it as basically infinite storage of gold. Uh, oh. Okay. So we started by feeding it. We hunted the bodies of fallen foes. As we fed it, Poopa grew in size. At the end of the campaign, Poopa had come from a small chest to a huge size monstrosity with legs and teeth. We almost died to final boss. So it came and avenged us by eating the final boss, saving the world. Oh. That's actually really cool. Um, okay, am I even oh my god, Maui, now is not the time, sir. Uh, how am I gonna put the heckin' Is there any way I can move this damn Um Is there any way I can move this damn pond? No, I cannot move this damn pond. Okay, can I move this damn tree? Oh, Right, you know what? I'm I'm gonna move some things. I'm going to remove some things, I think. Just to make heckin' room. Oh boy. Um how am I uh Oh, okay. How am I gonna give her a racetrack? There's like no room. Um I have to make 50. Jeez Louise. This place gets better and better. Um. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Uh, remove this tree. Also. Um. I'm going to have to pick those up, aren't I? All right. These up. Pick these up. And then. Pick this up. Um, I don't know. Maybe I can move her house back a little bit. Um, yeah, this is the thing I was talking about. Yeah, because I'm just like, there's no way it's gonna fit. Um, and she wants like a freaking racetrack. All right. Um, I okay. Um. Ah! Okay, wait. If I just move it... Move it back here a little bit. Okay. Racetrack? Really? Racetrack. Um... Okay. Uh... Alright. Let's see. Um, can I... Fit? Can I make it fit? I don't know. Okay, let's see. All right, maybe if I just, uh, if I just kind of, whoops, 
Oh god. Go around the back, maybe? Will that work? Uh, kinda. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? <laughs> uh, alright. I'm very bad at this. Okay, like this. Okay, and then... Ah! Ah! I'm messing up! I'm messing up! Alright, like this. Oh boy. Okay, and then maybe turn it this way. Oh yeah, that's that's way too close. <laughs> I'm trying my best. Um Oh my god, the path is hard. Uh okay. Like this. I know, it's a little it's a little close to the things. Oh my gosh, why? Uh, wait a minute. Hang on. I, ugh. Okay, there. Uh, I have 76 left. Oopsie. Yeah, it's probably gonna hit Buzz, but you know what? He can handle it. Um, uh, I know, it's just like, well, whoop. Oh god, that's so close to Buzz. Okay, let me see. Can I? No, no. I just want to remove one. Okay. Okay, and then if I turn it like this, I can go around the side like this. You know what? It's good enough, I guess. I'm so bad at this. I'm like really, really bad at this. Uh. Ah. Uh, I. I. Yeah. 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 We can't all be <laughs> amazing like gold. There we go. Ah, uh, good enough, I guess. Um, about, sorry, Jaleese, what was it? Uh, the furnace dueling in? Um, uh, oh, you were asking Laurel. Sorry, my bad. Uh, let me see. Let me make sure this actually... Days where it's supposed to. Uh, you know what? It's mostly good. Um, wait. It says I only re it says I only added thirty eight, and I need to add fifty. Can I make her a path, like leading to her door? Why do I need fifty? Uh, ah, dang it, Penelope. So I have thirty eight. Um, how am I gonna, how am I gonna, uh, I don't know what else to do because I put, I did like a square and that's 38, but I have made it bigger. Uh, okay, the path goes down there. Um, but I have made it bigger? Oh boy. Oh, wait, maybe I can double up the path. Uh, like this. Did that work? Did that work? Ha! Ah! I'm short one. Unbelievable. Um. Okay, wait, wait, maybe I can make her like a little doorstep thing. Uh... I know she's just following me like, are you doing this correctly? Like, look, I'm I'm doing the best I can, but I am not good at decorating in this game. So congratulations. You get a doorstep. She's like, oh, oh, okay then. There. There you go. There's like a little there's a little doorstep to your house. I I'm sorry. I know it's not the best. I did the best I could. I did the best I could. What does her house look like? I'm curious. I'm curious what it looks like inside. Uh, oh my god. What? Is that a checkerboard ceiling? Oh, it's like a checkerboard. Co oh my. This is so much pink. I, okay. Yep. All right. Well, that, that answers that question. Um... Uh, 
or in fantasy setting is neato yeah all right okay yes i know i know candy cane trees she's like gum drops it <laughs> lemon uh oh my goodness i think my game crashed i think or did it i don't know nothing was moving for a minute so i'm just like now i'm paranoid about it and i'm gonna save because yep I'm not I'm not doing that racetrack shit again. Uh okay, candy cane trees and lollipops. Some drops and lollipops and all right. Uh straight red candy tree, straight purple candy tree. Crooked purple candy tree. How about how about oh my god, why is that so big? Uh <laughs> really wrong. Okay, one all right let's do um let's do like a mix where did the tree go oh okay two um i guess let's do crooked crooked tree too all right um like this all right and then Okay, so that's four. Oh boy. Uh, okay. All right, let's just do another purple one. Um. Uh, uh whoa, really? No room. No room. Okay. Oh, right. And then flower lollipop. Uh, okay. One. Uh, giant spiral lollipop. Oh boy uh two all right and then we'll put some over here i guess um three oh boy and then oops uh oh oh let's do them here like this four and um uh, Okay, I think that's everything. Did I do it right? Sheesh, lady, this was a lot. <laughs> Great work with those decorations. You really put some life into old Sleeplight Valley. Seriously? <laughs> I'm kidding. Everything looks great. There's just one thing missing. Is it your manners? <laughs> How dare you? It's perfect. Cars for the racetrack, more candy? Well, obviously, and that nicely <laughs> thanks into my next plan of awesomeness. I want to build a replica of my sugar rush cart. Oh, no. My buddy Ralph and I made my first one together, so I thought we could build one, too. Think of it as a friends as friendship bonding. If we don't have a cart bakery, it's going to take a while, so we should start baking pizzas pronto. Take the special sugar rush syrup. Sugar rush syrup, it's time to play bake a cart. Okay. You'll need to find the other ingredients and go to a cooking station. I looked it up. It'll take wheat, sugar cane, milk, eggs, and butter. And while you do that, I'm going to spelunk in the mystical cave and see if there's anything cool down there. Bring me the cart pieces when you're done cooking, okay? All right. Okay. We can... Wait. So I have to cook the parts? Um. Oh, she's still with me. Uh, I have to cook the parts? Oh boy. All right. Eat this. Wait, she said it takes sugar, butter, wheat, and what was the other thing? Oh, eggs and milk. Eggs and milk. Okay. Oh boy. All right then. Um... Ah, how many of these things do I have to make? Uh, wait, I need four. Okay, I need four wheels. Sugar cart trail. What was it? Eggs, wheat, milk, and butter? Oh. Okay. It's already there. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, is this edible? Um, is this edible? All right. 
Let's see. Use. What else do we need? We need a sugar cart tail. All right. Okay, here we go. And like this. Okay. Awesome. Uh, hi. Hi, Zomiak. How are you? Uh, you adopted a cat today? Poor thing has abandoned the carrier at a local car dealership. Aww. Oh gosh, I'm I'm sorry it was abandoned, but I'm glad you're you're helping it. Sugar cart wheel. Okay, cart wheels. Uh, all right. So basically, we need four of these. Uh, so it makes. That's really sad that an aban that they abandoned cat. Um. Right? At least take the pet to, you know, to a shelter so it can have a chance of being adopted. Um, okay. So we have to make four of these, right? Okay, so that's two. That's kind of cute, like the little strawberries. Um, right, three. I'm gonna have to make more bottles. All right, three. One more. Four. Hooray! All four wheels. Okay. Now. Now. Oops. Now I gotta make more dessert or something. Um. Let's try. Oh, let's try uh, fish creole. There we go. That'll work. Or if she runs out of energy. Um. Okay. All right, bring the car parts. Let's let's go outside. There's more room that way. Uh Yay, save kitty. Yes, save kitty. Alright. Okay. Now let's give her her car parts. Wait, there there she is. Okay. Hello. Give parts. Here is your weird candy car. Uh, gotta hand it to you, you bake a bean cart body, my friend. Now we just need the nuts and bolts. What's on the list? So glad you asked. Since this isn't a world powered by candy, I'm pretty sure we're gonna need actual electronics for its guts and something to power it up. I bet Wally has a power source and electronic junk we can use. Just swing by his place and grab it. And don't worry, he lets me borrow stuff all the time. We'll also need something to act like glue to hold it together. Maybe ask a villager who knows lots about pastries. You mean Remy? Then when you've got a power source, electronic parts, and something to glue the cart parts together, bring it all to me. In the meantime, I'm going to see if Ursula left anything mysterious in that cave she was trapped in. Bye! Okay... Uh, Penelope. She's like, Wally lets me borrow stuff all the time. It's like, that's because Wally is a sweetheart. Uh, oh boy. Electronic junk? Like, wires? Or gadgets? Hi, Frosted. I'm good. How are you? Uh, alright. Let's look for... Okay. And, oh, batteries. Basically, it's batteries. Uh, okay. One over here. There should be another one. Oh, okay. Power source for the cart. Wait, there should be one more. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Whee! All right, now what? Ask a villager for something to glue a cart together. The only one I can think of is Remy because he makes pastries all the time. You doing all right so far? Oh, that's good. Um, I am doing the thing. Oh, yep, yep, see, there's, there's Wally right there. Uh, wait, Goofy? Goofy doesn't make pastries. Hi, Goofy, Penelope and I are putting together a race car. Do you have anything that can glue pastry together? Gosh, a racing cart made out of pastry? That's something I gotta see. But I don't know much about baking or glue. Not sure I can help. You should talk to someone who likes to bake. Remy. It's Remy. It's Re Why does... Oh, fuck's sake, fine. 
Let's torture and Xyle with more puns. Oh my goodness. Minnie, do you have anything that could glue together a pastry-based racing cart? A cart made from pastry? How fun! Let's see. Well, my gingerbread cookies are frosted, but only for decoration. I'm not sure that recipe would make good glue. But I'm sure someone in the valley will be able to help you. Maybe someone who bakes professionally? Thank you! So they're making me run along and talk to everyone. Instead of talking to, I don't know, the cute little rat that makes pastries? Who's a French chef? <sighs> yes, Remy! Wait, is he home? Oh. Uh, now you can skip straight to Remy. Oh, good. Remy, are you home? Remy! Are you home? You're not home. Why are you not home, sir? He's like, I'm running the cafe? <laughs> uh, he's like, people gotta eat. Like, hmm. Hmm. Okay, where is... Where the heck is he? Is he at the restaurant? Oh, yeah, he's at the restaurant. Oh, Donald's here, too. I guess we gotta help people eat. Uh, it's to be nostalgic. Reminiscent, if you will. <laughs> uh, sleepy Henny. Sure. You okay? Ron's going to bed. We have to sing South Kitty to Norrell. Correct the move. Why do you say sure like that? Is it the pun? Did you not like the pun? Uh, <laughs> night, Ron. <laughs> All right, ready for a soft kitty? Uh, yeah. Okay. Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fun. Happy kitty. Oh, Ron. Ron was singing that on purpose. <laughs> yes, good boy, Jakey. Good boy. Hi, Ben. Good boy, Jake. Everyone loves you. Yes, they oh. do. Oh, my goodness. Oh, good night, Ron. Yes. I was singing badly. Unbelievable. You like it. Hmm. All right. Good night, everybody. I love you all. Have fun with Mama and her goose. Mm. And Mama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good night. Good night. I love you the most. I love you too. Have a good trip. Mm. Good night, Dawn. Good night, Norah. Good night, Frosty. Good night, everybody. Good night, good night. That's what you get. Now you're yawning. You yawned first. That's why I said that's what you get. Oh, man. Ugh. Okay. This is not singing solo. Solo, you can't hear him. <laughs> So low you can't hear him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Chance was giving a lucky bath for 13 minutes at least today until he got to the mat. Lucky looked like he was going to kick Chance off the couch. Oh no. Oh dear. Uh, yes, good boy, Jakey. He's still like crumpling. Remy, I'm helping Penelope uh, bake a replica of her racing cart and I need your help. Penelope, you got it. That kid has the sweetest sweet tooth I've ever seen. Seriously, it's impressive. Um, okay, <laughs> she's never seen a vegetable. Uh, it would be a catastrophe and she's adorable. Sure is, and enthusiastic. My friend Colette would say she's got a real joie de vivre. Uh, you said you were helping her bake a cart? You mean out of dough? 
Yes, I need something we can use to stick the pastry parts together. Ah, ah actually, I have just the thing. I was constructing a croquembouche, oh, a croquembouche, and tried a new frosting ah. recipe. But my brother Emil ate some of it and glued his mouth shut. Did you invent sugar super glue? No, 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 it's not glue. It's definitely frosting, just not the edible kind. We had to pry open Emil's jaw with a stale breadstick. Don't worry, it's not poisonous, just intense. Here, this should work for Vanellope's cart. Remember, don't let her eat it. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess it's fine. Um, here, if you want the thing. Here is thing. Uh, <laughs> uh hmm. All right, there you go. Woohoo! These parts are just what we need. Now it's time for me to do my part. It'll take a while to build it, but when the cart's ready, it's all yours, pal. In the meantime, enjoy your new candy biome. Ah, uh, the valley really feels like home now. Thanks, Mother G. Oui, non, non parle français. Oh, ne parle pas français. Mm, well, je suis pas français. Uh, parce que étudie l'école. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's see thanks mother g extreme bio makeover oh is that it are we done do we okay wait let's let's go outside with her uh boy bone <laughs> it's like hmm bien sûr all right all right let's see okay it looks like the next quest is available for her hello Hey, Mother G, can I talk to you? There's something weird about this place. What do you mean weird? I mean weird, like peanut brittle with raisins weird. Ew. Uh, what's weird about it? Everyone here just says whatever they want all the time. There are no arcade opening clocks, power outages, lag times, Wi-Fi reboots. Nothing unexpected. What kind of life is that? I've already found all the cool, dangerous stuff. What am I supposed to do for excitement now? Um... Try to make your own fun. Uh, I had the same reaction. <laughs> what, like, what's weird about it? Like, what the hell? Um, get a hobby? Learn to mellow out? I don't know. I don't know what to tell her. Learn to mellow out. Get a hobby. Um, so the peanut brittle was raisins. Ew. I love how one of the, the, the choices is your weird, right? Uh, get a hobby? I see what you're thinking. And I do like trying new stuff. Why don't I show you what some of the other villagers do for fun? Maybe you'll find something you like? Sure, I mean, what have I got to lose, right? Do you want to hang out right now? Yeah, let's hang out. Mine any gem. Catch all oh, for... Really? Harvest any crops or fruit. Uh, plant any crops? 30? 30 of them? Believable. Uh, fine. Fine. Well, we'll harvest the fruit. Come on. Come on. Gotta sell this anyway to Goofy. Well, we'll have to use Remy's to plant some things because I already planted a bunch of pumpkins. I already planted a bunch of pumpkins. Uh, time to get the pumpkins. The thing is, is like, I, that's how I leveled up her friendship. To level three. So we're just gonna, okay, we harvested a bunch of fruit. Catch any fish five times. Find any gem. All right, fine. Let me see. I think I saw some stuff in the, actually, hey, here we go. All right, ready? She's like, I'm ready. All right. Mine any gem. Fish. This heckin' kid. She's like, okay, that's one. Let's go down this way. You have been <laughs> planting some nice bananas. I try. Uh oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Queen, I so I rewatched the video that, that Queen sent me with Rachel Ray and Fa. I I don't have the words. This woman must be stopped. Um, right? She, she must be stopped. She put... She put... Um... 
God, I can't even say it. It's so horrifying. I was like, this is not pho. Oh. She put basil in pho. She put... She put... <laughs> I know. And I can hear... I can hear my, my... My Thai friends, my Vietnamese friends, just like, just gasping in horror. Going, oh, she, she what? Like, yeah, it, it's true. She... She put... Rachel Ray put basil in pho and I I just kind of sighed and I said first first you ruin our adobo and our garlic rice then you did this and I just I wait seriously seriously she she did it she did it full full with her whole chest just did it and I just, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, find the traditional legit recipe and follow it, right? I was just like, girl, you know what? Maybe we should plant 30 pumpkins. Actually, no, let's plant something that'll grow quick. Um, Right? Yeah, and I'm just... Right? It's just like, first, don't boil garlic, okay? You crush the garlic, you fry it in the pan. All right? Right? And it's just like, and the way she cooked the rice was offensive, too. It's like, girl, use a rice cooker, okay? Rice, it's just like, rice cooker. It's like, aren't you a professional chef? Where is the rice cooker? It's like, for fuck's sake, it's like, Gordon may have fucked up Sipao, but he has a rice cooker. <laughs> yeah and i was just like and she was like boiling the rice threw the garlic in there boiled the garlic with the and i was just like girl this is not it okay i was like this is not it i don't have a rice cooker i want one yeah like you can get a rice cooker they you look for sales right like look for sales julius they have really good ones for for a pretty decent price Right, but if you don't have a rice cooker, right, like the method is finger, like put your finger in the water, right, and like the finger method for like how much water you need for the rice, and then put it in, right? It's just like, um, yeah, like that's that's all you have to do because I do it. Like we don't have a rice cooker either, right? Like my my old one broke. I haven't replaced it yet, but yeah, you do the finger method with the water and then like cook the rice. You're done. Right, but she did this. And then I see what she does to the pho. And she put freaking basil in it. And I'm just like, girl, why did you do this again? Why did you do this again? And I was just like, I was like, between her and Jamie Oliver, I was like, they're not allowed to make our food anymore. Like, ever. <laughs> because they keep showing that they can't be trusted with it. Uh... Slightly cinches the bottom, but the rest is fine. How hard is it to make pho? This isn't pho a type of soup? Yes, it's a type of soup. Um. Uh. Yeah, it's just like, it, it's actually not that difficult to make pho. Just follow the recipe. Follow traditional recipe. Uh, let's see. Wait, would carrots grow fast? I think carrots would grow the fastest, right? Um, I think. Or would it be wheat? It might be wheat. It's either wheat or carrots. Um. Yeah, and like, and, and then Jamie Oliver with his his egg fried rice and putting chili jam and everything. Uh. <laughs> uh, apparently, he also messed up ramen, and I'm just like, how the hell do you fuck up ramen? <laughs> right. I'm just like. That, that's not that difficult to make. I was like, you you really fucked up ramen? And it's just like, and he put chili jam in that too. Yeah. Too bad he doesn't have any corn, right? Uh, only problem is that cow meat I use uh, is hella, it uses is hella expensive. Yeah. Um, wait, there is actually one of the places I think that sells corn. Okay, you know what? We're just going to buy 30 carrots. Goofy is like, really? This is like, yeah, we're just gonna buy 30 heckin' carrots because that's that's how we're living our life now. Uh she's just like, okay. She's like, if you're sure. Like, yep, we're just gonna 
We're gonna plant some carrots. Plant any crop. Okay. Well, this is 10, right? So this is 10. So I'm gonna have to count. Ollie's like, you're using my garden again? Like, yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he put chili jam in pho, and I was just like, okay. It did that. Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so we're making 30. So 15. I'm having to count uh, because I don't remember. 15, right? We're on 15. So 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then 21. All right, so we got uh, a little more to go. Wait, what did I say we were on? 21? 21. Um, 21. <laughs> you got to the root of the problem. 21. I'm trying to keep track of my dyscalculia. Uh, 21, 22, and I, I lose track. 23, uh, 24, 25. Okay, so we're 26, 27, and then we still have to catch fish. 28. All right. 29, 30. Okay, there we go. Uh, <laughs> kick the ramen killer's ass, please. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm having to like keep track of it. I was like, I don't know. One of my friends, like they they showed me this TikTok. I talked to Noral about it because I was like, I don't know how I feel about this, right? Um, uh, and they showed me because apparently she really likes this YouTuber. Um, what's his name, Vladimir? Right? <laughs> like, yeah. I think his name is Vladimir, right? And he dresses up like as a girl. Right, like one of like little like gamer girl has like the little kitty ear headphones, and I was like, yeah. And she explained to me like she showed me a tutorial he did like showing how he does his makeup. I was like, okay, I do respect him for doing his own makeup because that's really hard to do, like to make it look really good, to make it look really nice. I mean, sometimes I still have a hard time with like doing my eye makeup, right? Um, but right, and then I think he has like a voice changer and sounds like a girl. And I was like, okay, right? And then, then his real voice comes out and it's like deep, like Russian accent. I'm like, oh, right? And I was like, okay. But the thing is, is like, she showed me this one where, where the guy asked, asked Vlad, right? Like, it was like, yeah. And he was doing the girl voice, right? Totally, totally looked girl, right? And the guy like asked him a math question. And I was like, what's, what's six times seven? <laughs> And I'm just like, seriously? And I was just like, what? I was like, who asked someone a math? Yeah, I was on like some website called Omegle. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I was like, so, yeah, it's like, what's six times seven? It's like 42, right? And I'm just like, but I kind of got annoyed with the guy, right? Vlad got the answer right. He was like, 42. I was like, oh, okay, yeah. He was like, yes, thank you. That's right. And then he says to like Vlad, right? Like he says, like, you're the first person to get it right. Like nobody knows the answer. And I kind of got annoyed by that because I was like, some of us have a math learning ability, you donut. And I was just like, the only reason I know it was because it was drilled into me and I had to like figure out ways to visualize it to remember the answer because I have discalc because I have dyscalculia, which is dyslexia with math, right? And I was just like, you know what? I was like, I hope Vlad does the thing, right? And my friend like shows this to me. I was like, why is he asking people to answer math questions? What to do what to prove that they're smart? And I was like, not everyone is good at math. And just because a person isn't good at math doesn't mean they're not smart in other things. Uh should I make bacon pancakes this weekend? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. So I admit to giggling because, right, like Vlad is doing the, oh, I'm a, I'm a girl, ooh, ooh, voice, right? And when he, the guy was like, oh, you got it right. Like, thank you. You're the first person to get it right. Everybody I've asked doesn't know the answer, right? Like, <laughs> and, then, and then it switched, right? I, yeah, I, I, Vlad goes, it's because I'm smart, right? Like, did the Russian accent, like his real voice, which is 
yo, like full dude. <laughs> dude, Martin asked him and was like, because I'm smart. Like, I am smartest. I am smartest gamer girl. Right? And the guy's mouth dropped open. And he's just like, what the fuck? He's like, you're a dude? <laughs> I was like, oh, like this shot. And like, they're always surprised to find out that he's a boy. And I'm just like, yeah, you know, it's just, it's art. It's just, right? Right? I, uh, yeah, and it was just like, the guy's like, wait, you're a guy? And I was just like, mm-hmm. Yes, the funny thing is, right, so I only have laughed at two of them. Because, like, that one and the one where where the the guy was kind of making fun, it was like, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're the girls. They were girls that were, like, making fun of Vlad, like, just, like, poking fun, they were just like, oh my god, you're an Ilu girl? Ugh. You're the worst. And I was just like... Are we back? Are we back? As soon as Norrell said it, I was like, wait a minute, what happened? What happened? It did this on Monday, too. We back. Yeah, refresh if you need to. Oh my god, I don't know what's been going on with this lately. Like, it looks like we're okay. I don't know why it hiccuped. Thankfully, that one wasn't long. Yeah, the, the weird thing is, is on, it did this on Monday, too. And then... And then... <laughs> so would. And then Tuesday, it was completely fine. So I don't know what the hell is going on. Because you know what? The thing is, is like, I'm looking over at our router, right? And everything was on. It's something... Like, OBS says that there was a disconnect. So... I don't know if it was on Twitch or not. It might have been Twitch. Um, so what did the Uwu girls say? Because it cut out at that point for me. The Uwu girls were being... The girls were being mean. Right? Like, they were being mean because teenage girls are going to be mean sometimes. And like, and basically saying like, Oh no, you're not an Uwu girl, are you? You're, you're an Uwu goth girl? Oh god, you're so much better than that. Right? You're so much better than that. Right? And being mean. And I'm just like, what's wrong with goth girls? I was like, why you got a problem with goth girls? Right? I was like, goth girls are nice. I was like, are you serious right now? I was like, on it. It's just like, real talk, goths are some of the nicest people I've ever met. I'm dead, dead ass serious. <laughs> right? Like, seriously, I remember going to, like, <laughs> I'm totally okay with uwu goth girls, right? I'm like, there's nothing wrong with them. What's wrong with you? Right? <laughs> yeah, and then all... Right, so, like, Vlad... Like, this is a thing that Vlad does. Right? You know, like, looking... Like, looking full girl. Like, as I said. Goth girls are cool. Yeah, goth people are honestly, like, some of the nicest people I've ever, like, interacted with. Like, I've, I've had friends who were goth in, like, high school, and I have goth friends now. Like, older goths, right? And they're nice. They're nice. They don't judge you. They don't make fun of you. They're cool, right? <laughs> and, um, yeah, and I was like, okay, right? I was like, all right, that's that's weird. And so the girls were, like, being mean. And, yeah, and, and he was doing the girl voice. He's like, are you making fun of me? Like, are you, are you mocking me? And like, yeah, and they were, like, doing it back at him. Like, oh. Oh, they're like, are you mocking me? Are you mocking me? Right. And one of the girls, <laughs> Elder Gods have got a few friends and always get great advice. Yeah. 
And one of the girls straight up says, and I was like, I want to talk to that girl's parents because she straight up dead ass looks in the camera and says, I will, I will, she's like, I will whoop your ass. She's like, I will snatch that wig off you. She's like, and I will kick your ass, right? And Vlad sat up, right? Full, full, like full dude mode and flexed his muscles. And he has huge muscles, right? Like, so, yes, she did. Right? And then full, full dude comes out. He's like, oh, really? You're going to fight me? He's like, I will crush you. He's like, I will crush you. And like flexing. And that girl, like she fell out of the chair. The other girl is laughing. Going, oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're a guy? Are you a guy? You're a girl? <laughs> and I was just like, well. Right? And the girl that, that talks shit right she starts apologizing immediately she's like i'm sorry i'm sorry we weren't serious she's like i, I was just playing i was i was just kidding around. and i'm just like you know what that's exactly what you get that is exactly what you get for being a bully <laughs> like big muscles rushing at you. where do i sign up yeah he actually has tiktoks of like the stuff that he does right and and he was he's on reddit too because i was curious about him i was like okay because seriously like kudos to him for doing his own makeup because it looks really good and yeah and he he has like the wigs and everything and he totally looks full girl right and then he like stands up right and i was just like i do appreciate the fact that he's very accepting because a couple people like posted on reddit Right, like asking about Vlad, they're like, because one person was like, Well, I'm a trans guy and I think Vlad is cool. And it's just like, but I'm just like wondering, like sometimes if like it was like sometimes it feels like I'm the butt of a joke as a trans person, right? Yeah, and, and a trans and another person posted like I'm a trans woman and Vlad totally like like I'm struggling to pass as a woman and Vlad like full girl, right? And he actually commented on that thread because they're like just wondering if Vlad actually genuinely supports us. And he was very nice. Like, his response was very nice. He was just like, it's okay. He's like, you're trans? He's like, that's okay. He's like, you're gay? He's like, that's okay. He's like, I totally support. Right? Yeah, he was really sweet. He's like, I totally support you. He's like, he's like be, be yourself. He's like, it's okay. Right? Yeah, so it was like a really nice response. <laughs> right? Yeah, because somebody asked, you know, like, what do you say? You know, when people are like, oh, this comes across. And he was just like, if you're gay, I don't care. He's like, if you're trans... I don't care he's like it's none of my business he's like do do what you want to do he's like live your life he's like it's okay he's like i totally he's like i totally support you he's like i support people doing what they want he's like with their own life <laughs> right and i was like oh okay that's actually kind of nice <laughs> yeah and i do appreciate that some of them he's kind of like educating uh about things because because a couple of like the young people the young guys i think they were realizing some things about themselves and some times it's like that right because one of the yeah because my friend was like showing me a bunch of his tiktoks and i was like oh like the the initial shock right like like one guy like i think he was rather young so i think he was totally realizing some things about himself and i was like yeah Sometimes it's like that. Sometimes you have, that's your awakening moment. And you're just like, yep. <laughs> right? Because he was doing the girl voice, right? And then, you know, they're just like, well, do, do you like muscles? Do you like muscles? And they're like, yeah. And the one, the kid's friend was just like, well, I got muscle see, And he flexes and he goes full and then he switches to Vlad. They're like, what's your name? He's like, Vladimir. And I was like, oh my God. Right? Because, yeah, the kid that was like flexing his muscles like, wait a minute right he's like that's not the muscle right and he flexes his shoulder and he's like these are muscles he's like you must worship the lord of the pump and it's like oh my god right yeah so the kid the, the the young man that was flexing he's like freaking out but his friend is sitting next to him and goes damn wow <laughs> right yeah, he goes damn wow he goes can you flex some more <laughs> Like he was into it and i was just like you know what i was like you know what honey good for you <laughs> i was like good for you right yeah and i was like oh you like like i will crush you and right and the kid right the kid that was sitting next to me he's like yeah yeah yes please he's like yeah yeah <laughs> right and i'm sitting there i'm just like 
Somebody just realized some things about himself. Uh, we <laughs> stand a question king. Crush me, mommy. Yeah, and I was just like, and I told my friends like this. This kid realized some things about himself, <laughs> and she goes, he did. Right, but Vlad was really nice about it and was just like, he's like, oh yeah, he's like, you you like? And he's like, yep. Right? Yeah, and the kid was just like, do you have an Instagram? He's like, do you have a this? <laughs> right? He's like, yeah, here you go. We find Julius's twin. Yeah, the thing is, is like when I saw some of these, I was like, you know what? I think Julius would really like Vlad. <laughs> I was like, because I was like, I think this checks all of Julius's boxes, right? Like to all the muscles. Right, looking cute as a girl and also looking <laughs> and also looking cute as a dude because yeah, because people were like, Well, what do you look like when you're a guy? Right? Like when you're not dressed up as a girl. Uh, <laughs> called out. Right? And when and yeah, and he showed it and he's done like interviews where he's in, you know, like as a dude. And I'm just like and I was just like, that's really wild to see. It's just like because as a girl, like when he's doing like the girl character, when he's doing Natalie, um, he's he looks totally like a girl, like really cute. And then when he's a dude, I was like, oh, he's like a really good looking dude, <laughs> right? He has a girlfriend. Like sometimes his girlfriend is in on the TikToks. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's Vlad and CL. He's on YouTube a lot. Like he's. A YouTuber and then he like posts the things on TikTok um and he has an Instagram too I was just kind of shocked because I was like it's not really uh I kind of like to see Julia's facts <laughs> oh yeah and I was just like oh right and my friend pointed out too she's like yeah she said it's like it's not the same person right because he looks totally different when he's you know like not dressed up as the girl and I was just like, but he, he still looks, you know, he looks like a guy's guy. And I was like, that is wild. Like just how, how different a person can look with like a little bit of makeup and, you know, just <laughs> a little bit of makeup and just, you know, like a costume change. And she was like, right. And yeah, she said that she wasn't sure it was Vlad at first when he was, when he showed, right. Cause she was like watching his YouTube and. And people were asking him. He showed pictures of himself when he's not dressed up as her. Um, <laughs> you know, and I was just like, wow, that is wild to see. I was like, yup. Yeah, and he was like educating some of the people because like they were talking, like one kid was talking to him about like, wait, when you're dressed as a girl, you're you're in a bathing suit here. And he's like, yeah. And he was just like, where do you put everything? So he had to like educate this person on what tucking was and I was right <laughs> I'm just and I'm just kind of like I explained this to one of my daughters because she asked about like drag shows and drag queens and she's like when they're dressed up as women she's like well how do they like do everything um I'm gonna tough choice in Far Cry 4 you are uh yeah and I'm you know and my daughters are like isn't that uncomfortable and I was like yeah and I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they're like, mom, how do you know about this stuff? And I was like, because I educated myself and I asked questions of a couple of my friends who are drag queens. Um, and I have a couple of friends who are drag kings. <laughs> and they're just like, what? Oh my God. Oh, Frosted found Vlad. Vlad is smoking, right? I was, like I said, I was genuinely kind of surprised. Cause I was just like, oh, I was like, all right, I I get it. Uh, <laughs> although, um, yeah, I was like, well, I was like, well, yeah. The the thing is, is like, yeah, some people are just like the reaction they have when they realize Vlad is a guy, right? They're like, why are you dressed like a girl? And he's like, what do you mean? <laughs> and he's like, uh, my fan is going to fall apart from it. That's <laughs> just moving. <laughs> like, I'm getting out vapors. Yeah, the funny, the nice thing is, is for the most part, there are lots of people that are like, oh, it's cool. Right? And I was just like, well, you know, like, good. <laughs> I'm like, good, that's just nice. Although, yeah, and then sometimes, right? Like, she, yeah, my friend, she showed me, like, some of the other ones. 
where some of them recognize Vlad. Like when they they see him, like one girl got really excited. She's like, oh my God. She's like, Vlad. She's like, hi, Vlad. Right? And telling Vlad, like, my boyfriend thinks you're so hot. Right? And he was smiling. He's like, oh, he's like, that's so nice. <laughs> right? Like his eyes light up and he gets this really cute smile on his face when people like recognize him and are like really happy to see like his fans. And I'm like, that's really sweet. <laughs> I was like, that's really sweet. I was just like, that's really nice. Um, but yeah, and it's like his girlfriend is really pretty too. I think she also has uh she also has like a TikTok and an Instagram. Cause there's a couple of them where she's in there in the video with him. And she's a model. She is a model and she actually taught him how to do um his makeup and also like how to pose for like photo shoots. And he even said, he's like, it's really hard. He's like, after a photo shoots, my back hurts. He's like, because the way women have to pose for photo shoots for modeling, he's like, it's really difficult. And he's like, yep, it's not easy. Not easy at all. We're supposed to catch fish, right? Um, I like both of their choices. Can only choose one though. Wait, Far Cry? Oh, I think Ron played that. Uh, Amita wants to gather intel and Sabaya wants to gather. I like both of their choices. Can only choose one though. Hmm, which one is more beneficial to you? Like, they're both good, but which ones would be the most beneficial to you? Yeah, Vlad is very cute, and I'm just like, and it, it helps that he's actually, like, really nice. Um, because I'm just like, if he was a dick, I'd be like, no, but he's not, he's really sweet. Um, and yeah, like, one, one guy was just like, I, you know, he was like, I'm not gay. And Vlad's like, it's okay, I'm not either. And he's like, but you're dressed like a girl, right? Like, there was some ethics. And he's like, if it looks like a girl, he's like, it doesn't matter. And he's like, are you a guy or a girl? And he goes, yes. Right? And I was like, there you go. That's the correct answer. He's like, yes. He's like, yes? He goes, yes. And he's like, why does it matter? And I was like, exactly. Why does it matter? Right? <laughs> I was like, mm-mm. Oh, I messed up. I messed up the, the fishing. Hang on. We're supposed to catch fishing to show Vanel Vanellope that there's lots of fun stuff to do. But apparently she doesn't agree. She's like, where's the danger? And I'm just like, oh, you're that girl. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, oh, you're that girl. Pick both of me flexing. Yay! Um, wait, did, we, did that level her up? Oh. Okay, what do we get with level six? Oh, do we get the candy pathing? We get the candy pathing. That's nice. Okay, so we need to catch four more fish. Four more fish from her. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, one like this. Oh, we got a swordfish. Great answer. I use that when people ask me the same thing. While they wrap their head around it, I just walk away. Yeah, it's like because it doesn't matter, right? Um, yeah, the 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 ones that had me giggling too were the guys that were being like misogynist, sexist creeps, just because like Vlad's been honest about that too, apparently. Yeah, my friend was like telling me that yeah, he's talked about like stuff like guys that like cat call his girlfriend and <laughs> and harass her, right? So so you know, some of these guys like say this stuff when, you know, they're like, oh, when he's in the Natalie persona and then and then he and then he sits up and flexes and like does does his you know normal voice. And they're just like, what the hell? You're a dude. Right. And I was just like, uh-huh. See, <laughs> well, I, was, I was like, yeah, see, and it's like, right. And then they like freak out. And yeah, like one of them, he's like, oh, my God, he's like, why you talk this way to, to girls? You know, and it's like, exactly. Why do you talk that way to women? It's not cute. <laughs> right? So they get like a little life lesson. Um, like, hmm. Okay, wait. We have two more. Vlad is hot. Yeah, he gets a lot of that. And I, I get it, you know, because he, he does modeling too. Um, swordfish. Wait, I'm almost out of energy. I can't remember if I made any food for myself. Oh, wait, I did. I made a, a creel. I made a creole and that's it. <laughs> that did not that barely did anything for my <laughs> It barely did anything for my energy. That's not good. 
like, hmm. Uh, yeah, and apparently, I don't know why, like, I looked at my TikTok and I was like, why am I getting notifications? Because I did comment on one thing because it was like the guy like asking Vlad about his makeup was like, why is it all messed up? He's like, what do you mean? It's perfect. He's like, it's perfect makeup. He's like, look at the eyes. I was like, yeah. I was like, there was nothing wrong with it. Uh, there was nothing wrong with it. It looked fine. Okay, let's see here. What do we got? Yeah, good job, Julius. Nice flex. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, like the guy was trying to like neg, you know, like say negative things. It's some, it's a little nasty trick that boys like this do. They say something mean and negative to the girl to make her feel insecure, right? Thinking that will get her to like them or try to appease them and get them, you know, get her to like them. And it's a bullshit, it's a bullshit thing to do. You shouldn't do it to anybody. It's messed up, right? But he got his comeuppance because... <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's toxic as shit. Uh, there we go. We did it. Uh, yeah, and so Vlad, you know, went through his voice and was like, you know, what what do you mean? It's perfect. I, I do the eyes. I, I did the eyes and everything. And I was just like, uh-huh. And he's like, whoa. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> he's like, what? What? I was like, uh-huh. Right? And I commented because I was like, seriously, his makeup, he looked beautiful. I was like, in the girl persona, he looked beautiful. And I... I said a comment, and I guess because I supported Vlad, right? Being negative is such a turnoff to me, just be you and I'm good. Exactly. And I said, considering that he does his own makeup, it is perfect. I was like, it is not easy to make it look flawless, which is the truth, right? Uh, which is the truth. And apparently, a whole bunch of people liked that comment. And I was getting notifications on TikTok, they liked your comment. I was like, what comment? Uh, right because i had kind of forgotten about it went about my day right and i was just like oh that comment <laughs> um we're going all out it takes a lot of time yeah and he's admitted that it takes him like an hour two hours to get ready and it's like yes and to make it look flawless the way he does yeah that takes effort that takes skills right like it's Right? It's not just like doing your makeup, it's a skill. Like being able to make like a flawless look like that and, and like being really good at, you know, at like making everything look perfect. That is a skill. It's makeup, you know, doing your makeup that's art. Um, Vlad wins flawless victory. Yeah, and like apparently one of them sent a message and was, and I was like, oh no, please don't be a mean message. Please don't be a mean message. And it was actually very nice. They, they were like, they were like, I liked your comment because, like, that was really sweet. And they're like, and you're right. Like, you know, people people are doing their best, and you know, and it's and it's you know, it sucks to that this person decided to be mean. They're like, but you were so nice, and I was just like, yeah, because I don't see the point in like punching down on someone and like being awful to them, right? And if you see their, uh. <laughs> Yeah, and it's like, and if you see that they're genuinely trying or that they're like really freaking good at something, it's just like, yeah, just be supportive. Uh, 30 minutes soft and also comfortable and being me, so I'm not trying to impress, but if I do, I'm happy. Yeah, it's like, and if I wear makeup, like seriously, to, to the, the cis hetero fellas, um, if women are wearing makeup, if a person's wearing makeup, if I personally am wearing makeup, I'm wearing it for me. I'm wearing it for me to make myself feel good. I'm not doing it for anyone else, right? Like, Ron doesn't care if I wear makeup or not. He loves me because I'm me, right? So if I decide, you know what, I, I want to do, I want to wear some red lipstick today. I want to do my eyes, you know, in like a fancy, like, cat girl eyeliner. I'm going to do it because I want to do it for me. <laughs> so, yeah, for many of us, it's like, yeah, some of these boys are just like, I don't know why these women wear something. Like, because we're not wearing it for you. We are wearing it for us. Right? <laughs> it's just like for us that's it right yeah and then and then they get all weird about guys wearing makeup and i was like what do you think actors wear when they're on stage or when they're doing movies or tv shows do you think they go under those hot movie lights those hot lights without any makeup on they don't they have makeup on um it took me a while to learn that then i found out firsthand yeah 
yeah and, and it's just like and makeup is for everyone <laughs> because we're just like wait the, the male actors don't wear makeup yes they do do you understand how hot those lights are and if you go under those lights and i'm speaking of from experience because i was a ballet dancer those stage lights they're hot they're really hot and they're really bright right and they can wash out your skin like they wash out your skin color and if <laughs> which is why you have the makeup so you don't look like a weird ass like ghost under the light um yeah they are really freaking hot and they're really freaking bright which is why you need the makeup you know why you have like the pancake makeup you have you, know, you have all this makeup so you don't look like a dead thing under the light because it's not cute um yeah just like nope uh that's it that's what you do for fun around here i got news for you chum those aren't games they're hobbies at best and work at worst um please meditate on your need for adrenaline meditate are you hearing yourself we try things your way now we try mine i've just invented a mind-blowing game i hide somewhere in the valley and you have to come find me that's called hide and seek do you mean hide and seek that game already exists please this isn't some kids game this is extreme i'm gonna pick one of the darkest most dangerous spots in the valley um are there any special rules oh geez this kid just one you go inside somewhere so i can hide maybe try mr mcduck's shop and don't forget to count to ten why do i have to count to ten i don't want to <laughs> this child this child is testing me <laughs> like mm -mm. like this child is testing me i have had it He's like, this is work. And it's just like, yes, you're welcome. Welcome to adulthood. He's like, I'm a kid. He's like, I'm a kid. And it's like, do you think kids don't have chores? Kids have chores. I have to like take out the trash and do the dishes, weed my grandmother's garden. Uh, <laughs> she's gonna hide in Remy's cook pot. It would not surprise me. Uh, okay. All right, here we are. Okay. Optional ask villagers for hints. Um, maybe I, you know what? Maybe I can cheat and ask Noral. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, there, I did it. Um, Mirabelle, Mickey Mouse. Um, uh, right? <laughs> Noral's done. Noral's done this quest. Where is she, Noral? Yeah, it's not gonna bother me. I'm just like, do I look like I got this kind of time? Talaga. Right, my mom would do hide and seek when she wanted to get rid of us. Be like, okay, you go hide. I'm going to come to ten, and then I come find you, right? And then we would hide, and she would just not find us. Um, well, there's Ursula's cave. There's the Forgotten Lands. There's the secret cave um right um i guess we could all right nala mickey mouse mirabelle i don't want to ask mickey he's a butt toucher <laughs> he's an inappropriate butt toucher um well i don't see nala anywhere or mirabelle um hmm Ursula's caves, the mines, the magical cave. All right. So Ursula's cave. Let's check Ursula's cave first. Do 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 I could tell you if you want. That would be lovely. Because seriously, Penelope is trying to... Like, she is adorable. Don't get me wrong. Just this whole, like, nothing is exciting enough for me. I... I'm just like, girl, you're an adrenaline. You're... you're <laughs> you are addicted to adrenaline. Like, do you understand? And she's like, nah. -uh. She's like, I'm addicted to life. And it's just like, ah, Little Miss Chaos is in the mines. Because of course she is. Uh, naughty, 
Uh, <laughs> All right, the rainbow fox is like, are we going to get the kid? It's like, yes, we're going to get the kid. Uh, she was like, yeah, because the way she's like, this is work. This is chores. I need excitement. I need danger. I was like, all right. Okay, then. It's like the girl, it, it was like when we were in high school, right? And there there was a friend of mine. He went to a different school um, and he had a Porsche. He had a Porsche, right? And people were like, oh my God, you're friends with a rich kid. And I was just like, okay. I was like, I don't really think of it that way. And they're like, he has a Porsche. And I was like, yeah. And he admitted, he's like, well, but see, the thing is, is like, yes, was he, was his family well to do? Yes. But the thing is, is he was not an asshole. Like, he was honest about it. Uh, I found a dress I needed to bring back out. I posted a pic. Oh, neat. Um, And he goes, and he goes, well, it's my parents' money. He's like, I'm not actually rich. I'm just their kid. And, I, right? and he had a sense of humor about it. He's like, I'm not really rich. He's like, it's my parents' money. I'm just their kid. And I was like, yeah. But there was this girl that was really into him. But the thing is, it seemed like, oh my ass is the same <laughs> Yeah, but it seemed like he was more into his car. Because a couple of times, he asked to drive it while we were, like, there with him. Because it, it had, like, it's a two-seater, right? And we are like, okay, but there was also, like, a little bit of a backseat. Like, a tiny, tiny backseat. <laughs> Right? Because he had that kind of portion. I was just like, all right. Right? Uh-huh. And she's like, can I drive it? She's like, can I drive? Right? And I was just like, okay. And one day he's just like, I don't know if there's room. Right? Et cetera, et cetera. And he's just like, I'll be right back. And she's like, I just want to, I just want to take a spin around the parking lot. Right? Because <laughs> we're, we're hanging out. Like we met up. And that girl had a lead foot. Seriously. Because we could hear him screaming, going, not that fast, not that fast, not that fast, right? <laughs> it just like zipped in, right? And we're standing there, we're just like, is he going to be okay? Right, came back, and his face was like really pale. And he was just like, don't do that again, <laughs> don't, don't do that again. And she's giggling, going, oh my god, that was amazing. And I was just like, oh, oh, yeah, every time, he'd be like, can I drive your car? Can I drive your car? And at first he would be like, no. And then she'd give him like the puppy eyes and be like, really? You you don't want to let me drive your car? But it's such a sexy car. And I and, and, and I would just stare at him and he'd be like, don't say it. I'm like, dude. <laughs> like, you know. You know, right? And he's like, yup. Like, right? Like, she, and we, we finally had it. My best friend and I had it. And we're just like, do you even like our friend? And she goes, I mean, he's like, yeah, he's really sweet and he's really cute. And she goes, plus, he lets me drive his car. We're going to keep it that way. You're not driving, right? Well, the car in charge last way too far. Yeah. And right. And my best friend started laughing because she's like, and I really like his car. And she's like, it's such a hot car. And I just looked at her and said, oh, you're that girl. <laughs> right? I was like, you're that girl. Right? She's like, what does that mean? Right? But my best friend was laughing because she knew. She knew what I meant. I was like, you're that girl. Right? <laughs> and he caught on eventually because we told him, we were like, you know, she always is like asking to drive your Porsche. And it's like, don't you think that's a little, a little odd? Because, yeah, because they, they dated. Right? And sometimes... He would be like, hey, right? Like he would lean in for a kiss. Like he did this in front of us a couple of times. And I was like, you saw it, right? And yeah, and our other friends were like, yep, totally saw it. Right? Like he would like try to hug her. Like she would hug him and be like, you're the best. Right? And then he would lean in for a kiss. And then she'd be, and then she would like put a hand over his face. And she's like, she's like, okay. She's like, so she's like, it's been a little while. Can I drive your car? Right? Like, would not kiss him unless he let her drive his car. And we we were just like, this is, we're like, bro, this is an inner, we're like, dude, this is an intervention for you. Uh, yeah. He's like, what do you mean? It's just like, you don't notice this? I was like, I, you know, when I said, it was like, she's that girl. 
right? And he goes, what do you mean? Right? And she was like, she was coming over, right? <laughs> um, he's nice enough to let me sit in the driver's seat for a pick. His choice, right? Uh, right? Yeah. And it's just like, seriously. And she came over and she's just like, hey. And he gave her a hug and she hugs him back. And he starts to lean over to kiss her, right? And then she did that thing again where she puts, his, puts her hand over his face. And she's just like, so she's like, I see you have the Porsche today. Because sometimes he wouldn't drive it. Sometimes he had his dad's truck. Right. <laughs> it was an 84. Oh, man. 84 Porsche Baxter is really nice. The Boxster, that's a nice car. Right. And she's just like, can I drive your car? And then he looked over at us. He goes, okay. He's like, I see it now. I see it now. Yeah, his was like silver, was like this really nice metallic silver, right? And yeah, and then she did that again, and she's like, can, can I drive your car? She's like, pretty, pretty, please. And I was just like, oh my god. <laughs> right? And he looks over at us, and we're just, we just shrugged at him like, well, what are you going to do, buddy? And he was just like, okay. He's like, I see it now. And he goes, yeah. He's like, no. Yeah, you found her now, run. Yep. And he's just like, you know what? He's like, you can't drive my car. And she's like, really? I can't drive my car. And he goes, in fact, he's like, do you even like me? He's like, do you even want to hang out with me? Do you even want to spend time with me? He's like, or do you want to spend time with my car? Right? And she she got mad. She's like, you're a jerk. He's like, am I a jerk? He's like, or am I a guy who just realized he's being used for his Porsche? <laughs> right? And she got real upset real quick. And, and boy, and, and then suddenly he wasn't so cute anymore. And it was like, oh my God, you're an asshole. Like, I can't believe you. It's just a car. And he's like, if it's just a car, why are you always demanding that, you, you know, why are you always asking if you can drive it? <laughs> oh, yes, she did. Right. And we stepped in. We're like, you know, look. Yeah. And he was just like, it's over. He's like, I'm done. Right. And then we stepped in. We're just like, you heard him. Just, just, just leave. Just go. Right? And she looks at me, she's like, this is all your fault. I was like, I didn't do anything. I was like, I didn't do anything. Right? And yeah, and my and our other friends were like, we didn't do anything. This is all on you. You found me. Nice work, my friend. Bet you picked up on all that candy I spilled, huh? Uh, you picked a great hiding spot. I know, right? This place is so cool. It's inspired me to go back to my roots. My racing roots! Let's race to the outside entrance of the mines. I bet I can beat you even on one foot. On your mark, get set, race! Oh, you gotta be. Seriously? Oh my god. Heck you! Heck you, you, you cheating butt! I can't run that fast! Oh my god. Seriously? I can't run that fast. I cannot run that fast! Oh, son of a bitch. I got turned around. She won. She won fair and square. Um, so like, this is as fast as I go. So it was like, yep, yeah, I'm, I'm, I lost. She's out the door. She's, she's gone. Uh, <laughs> I'm just like, look, I'm old. You can't expect me to go that fast anymore. <laughs> like, all right, I got bad knees. I have a bad back. I have arthritis. It was like, I can't, I can't run that fast anymore. <laughs> like, I'm not a little kid. I can't do that. Uh, okay. You, you, you feel good about yourself sticking it to a little old lady? He's just like, what do you mean? Um, all right, Hello. here. Who knew racing without wheels could be so fun? Um, you're wild, Vanellope. You haven't seen anything yet. We need one more game to round out my mini game gauntlet. Oh boy. I think you'll like this one. We're going to play extreme fishing. Why? Why are we playing extreme fishing? This better not involve dynamite. I didn't know you could fish with dynamite. That's a thing. Yes, it is a thing. You know what? Forget I asked. I'll have questions on that later, but now it's extreme fishing time. Here's the rules. The game starts as soon as you leave the mine. You only have three minutes to catch three fish. Your goal is to convince me that fishing can be fun. Okay. <laughs> time to catch Monstro. Yes, get out there and fish extremely. I'll tell you when your time is up. So I have to sit here I guess and I have to fish like an asshole for this kid. All right, fine. Okay, here we go. One, 
I mean, I don't know how to convince her fishing is fun. It's up to you what you want to do, else. Son of a bitch. Okay. All right, one more time. We only have three minutes. I'm probably going to fail this. All right, one, two. Okay. We got a walleye. All right, one. Okay. One more time. Got three minutes. Go, go, go. All right. I don't know if this counts. I already messed up one, one fish catching thing. Two. Three. Four. Okay. Another walleye. Oh, poop. It's supposed to hit the ring. I hate that, that sometimes the fishing rod doesn't go where you want it to go. All right. One. Two. Oh, boy. Whoops. And another time. There, I did it. Are we are we good now? Sheesh. This kid asks a lot. Uh, where the hell is she? Penelope? Where the hell did she go? Oh my god, this this small child. She's where did she go? I don't see her anywhere. Oh. Well, she was hanging out with me, but then, then the hide and seek thing happened. Oh my goodness. She's just like, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, okay, here is fishing. Hey! You did it. Gotta say I'm impressed. An extreme fishing actually looked fun. Uh, you should try it sometime. Oh, I will. And now I'm gonna try and make that other boring stuff extreme too. Gotta hand it to you, Mother G. You tackled my mini games like a true champ. Thanks for showing me it's important to make my own fun. I bet there are lots of ways we could game up the valley. I'll come find you with whatever I think of next. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> what what extreme sports is she gonna make us do this time? I'm like, no, 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 thank you. I I don't I don't want it. <laughs> She's like, yeah, extreme sports. I'm like, please no. No, no extreme sports. No more. No more extreme sports. <laughs> She's like, but, but extreme sports. I'm like, no, no. Extreme fishing? What, so wait, is she going to come up with extreme farming too? Like, what is extreme farming going to entail? Uh, <laughs> extreme soup eating. It's like eating contests. Uh, extreme farming. Um, extreme shopping? I don't actually extreme shopping might be dangerous for our wallet. Um, yeah, but she's like extreme shopping, extreme farming. Right? She's like, wait, you can you can fish with dynamite, and I'm like, you shouldn't. But yes, it's it's a thing. Sadly, <laughs> it's a, don't give her any ideas. Right? She's gonna be like, really interesting hmm like well yes all right there we go wait no i meant to sell that too i i have like a ton of fish okay bye goofy he's like or she's gonna be like extreme uh <laughs> extreme market stall all right all right hooray we got some dream lights cuties all right there we go so she's wandering off. I think we got her to like friendship level five. Uh, I know. Like, hey, kid, uh, let's try extreme nap time. <laughs> I know, right? Be like my mom, like, okay, I'm going to come to pen. You go hide and I'm going to find you. Right. And then it would be like an hour and my mom still hadn't found us. And then we'd come out and be like, but she'd be like reading a book or she'd just, you know, be watching a soap opera. Like, you didn't come find us. She's like, oh, it's like, I forgot that you were gone. Like, oh, you you were hiding? It's like, oh, like, well, right? And then she'd be like, okay, you win. Best at hide and seek. Like, you you are so good at that. And I was like, you didn't even try to find us, did you? And my mom, mom would just like stare at us and be like, you are best hiders. Okay, so it's like I I tried to find you, I could not find you. So now I am watching my soap opera. Now I'm watching my show. Like now I'm reading my book, and I was just like, mm-hmm. Yeah, she did that all the time, 
And I was just like, well, and the thing is, is like, she's still doing it. She does it to my little cousins, right? Because I was like on video call with her and she told my little cousin, my cousin was like, Tita, play with me. Play with me, Tita. Can you, can you play with me? And my mom was like, okay, we, we going to play hide and seek. And my little cousin's like, yay. Yeah. And I said, oh no. Right. And my mom goes, Shh, don't tell her. Okay. Don't tell her. Like, yeah, we got to play hide and seek. She's like, you go find a place to hide. Okay. You go play, you go, you go hide, I'm gonna find you. And I was just like, right? And her little cousin goes scampering off. I'm just like, she has no idea, does she? And my mom is just kind of laughing. She's like, what? She's like, you weren't gonna tell on me to her? Like, why are you gonna tell on me to her? She's like, she she been running me around all day. I'm watching her for her mom. Like, she need a nap anyway. So she's gonna find a place to hide. And, and, you know, I will go find her. She's like, she'll be fine for a few minutes by herself. And I was just like, seriously? I was like, she has no idea. You're not going to find her. I was like, you're going to go do something else. <laughs> right? And my mom was just like, this is how we get the brick, okay? <laughs> I was just like, well, yeah. And I was like, oh my God. It's like when we were kids all over again. Yeah. And my mom did that shit. And I was just like, all right then. That's cool. That's cool. So I was like, hmm. Yeah, so I think we've done everything we can do in Dreamlight. Because it's probably going to be a little while before we get uh, Vanellope's quest. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to take my, my second stretch break. And then we're going we're gonna to switch over to some Animal Crossing. Um, and pick a design to do. Hopefully our internet behaves itself. Um, yeah. So. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hey Noral. Can you switch it? Thank you Golden. Uh, Nora, can you switch it to Animal Crossing, please? And thank you. Um, all right, so I'll be right back. Uh, take a stretch break if you need to. Can you please change it to Animal Crossing? Thank you. Thank you, kitten. Best kitten. Uh, all right, take a break if you need to. Stretch, get water, snacks. <laughs> do, do the things. Uh, I will be right back.
Hey, I'm back. Uh, yeah, I have to go get some more water, and I also have to do some knee stretches. My knees have been hurting a lot the past couple of days. I guess I think because of all the rain we've been getting, and anytime it gets like it get, it rains or it gets cold, like my freaking like arthritis flare ups happen. My knees hurt, my hands hurt, uh, and it's <laughs> really irritating. Um. So, just doing some stretches helps a little bit so my body isn't like, you know, as crickety. Uh, you know, makes going up and down the stairs easier. So, I hope everybody had a good stretch break. So, we're going to dive in to some Animal Crossing. I'm not sure which design we should do. There, I was kind of like, so we did the trendy spa one. That one was fun. Um, there's, so there's like a Peach Orchard for Tian Shang. And then I think there's like a mountain, a mountain climber one. Uh, Vlad's videos are gold. And when he flexes, I melted and welcome back. Yeah, he's just having fun, right? He's just having fun and <laughs> just, just entertaining. Yeah, I, I shared that TikTok in the um in the Discord, right? Where the, where the guy's like, why do you look like that? What's wrong with your makeup? And I was just like... Right, like I, I really looked, like I paused and really looked at his makeup. I was like, he does his own makeup, right? Like, sure, he could cheat and be like, oh, my girlfriend does my makeup, but no, he learned how to do it himself, right? And I was like, there's nothing wrong with, with what he did. I was like, it looks perfect. It looks flawless. He did a good job. I was like, I don't know why the guy was like, your makeup is messy. He's like, no, it's not. What are you, what are you on about? Right? Yeah, it looks great. I don't just like, I wish I could get my eyes to look as good as that. Because y'all know, right? Like sometimes you're doing your eye makeup and then you accidentally smudge something, right? Like I've done that where I've been like putting the eyeliner on and I accidentally smudge something and then I very foolishly rub my eye and I'm like, oh my God, I'm not supposed to do that. <laughs> right? Like I had a time one day, yeah. I know that I had a time one day where I was like, I did the eye makeup, right? I did the eyeshadow. I was like, oh, that looks cute. I was like, add, let me add a little eyeliner, right? And then the line went kind of wonky. And I was like, oh, oh no, I, I didn't, oh, I didn't put it on right. <laughs> right? And so I'm like getting the, the makeup remover to do it, except, right? And it like, right? And I'm like, dry, and it just, and it's like, let me just see if I can fix it, right? Let me just see if I can just like adjust it. I'm grabbing the makeup remover and I smudged the eyeliner, smudged down the side of my face. And I was just like, damn it, damn it, <laughs> right, right. And then I'm trying to like fix it, right. And it's like, ah, uh, a lot of people love my trans clothes. I, yes, it looks so good, Frosted. Uh, yeah. And I'm just like, oh no, right. So I, I start to like, you know, try to get rid of the smudge and then I kind of, stuck my finger in my eye <laughs> and I'm like ow 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 right and Ron like comes running running into the bathroom and he's like are you okay are you okay I'm just like yeah I'm just I'm just a fool I was like I'm just an idiot <laughs> he's just like what he's like no oh -uh, no you're not yeah I, I poked myself in the eye <laughs> right and I'm just like oh. right and I, I stared in the mirror right and then by then the eyeliner is like completely messy. It's completely smudged. And I'm just like, uh, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and I look, and I look at the, at the mirror, right? I'm looking at myself in the mirror with like the smudge. And I'm just like, oh my God. I'm just like, I look like, I was like, I look like a drunk raccoon. <laughs> because it's just like smudged everywhere. And so I had to like wash my face and try again. Second time went a lot better, but first time was just like, well, <laughs> I'll hold up. I'm not gonna use uh, the corner to keep things minimal for cleanup. Yeah, I should have done that, but I just I kind of panicked. I kind of panicked because I was trying to get my eyeliner just right, and I did it. And then I just my finger somehow I moved my hand the right way and poked myself in the freaking eye with my own finger because I'm talented <laughs> so right so I'm just like seriously it, it's like it's not easy okay right and I'm just like so yeah Vlad's makeup it's perfect it's literally perfect 
right? <laughs> I mean, I've, I've also smudged my own glasses because I forgot I was wearing my glasses and said, where are my glasses? And actually grabbed my face and smudged my glasses. <laughs> and it's just like, welcome to the human race. It's a wild time. <laughs> Hello, Eunice. Betty, hey! Nice to see you! Uh, let's talk. I'm glad you're never too busy to check in with me, Bestie! Yes. Apparently I'm Bestie to everyone on the island now. There's Blue Bear. Wow, here we go. Oh, Mother D! Oh, okay. Well, there, there we go. <laughs> Done that too! Yeah, where you're like, where are my glasses? Blech. Hi there, my fabulous Bestie! Uh, I want your chat. Guess what I want to tell you? One, you're fab. Okay, thank you. That's sweet. Two, I mean that. All right. <laughs> three. There is no three. Okay, but you said there were three things you like about me. Was 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 that a trick? Was that a trick? <laughs> she was like, no. Hello, Julia. Well, hello there. Ooh woo. Oh, right. I forgot I have her saying ooh woo too. Uh, let's chat. Yeah, something about this time of day. I always seem to get a wee bit sleepy. Oh my. What was I saying? Oh, uh, you were saying that you get sleepy. Wait, is that Lolly? Where did she go? Lolly? Uh, <laughs> hang on. Oh, there she is. Doral is a musing kitten. <laughs> Glad to see you. What's latest? I'm trying to make the most of today. Okay, good, good job, I guess. Alright, let's go to the Happy Home Paradise. I don't think Colton's around. Oh wait, Chevra. I actually like Chevra. <laughs> yeah, I poked myself in the eye. You know, smudge my own glasses. I've tripped on my own two feet. So I can break out uh the chinkles. My feet can the chunkles, my feet can breathe again. Yeah, it's really nice. The summer weather. It's nice of you to stop by, but I'm kind of preoccupied just now. What are you making? I'm currently crafting a wooden block chest just to see how I do at it. DIY is a great way to learn by doing. I'm totally obsessed with it. Wait, something tells me that you already know how to make a wooden block chest. Yep, I actually have that recipe. One of the first recipes I got. I'm not surprised. Do never fail to impress, Bestie. You must know a do it yourself out there who wants to learn to make a wooden block chest. Why don't I give this recipe to you to pass on to someone who can use it? All right, cool. That's that's fine. I like your hat. Anything that encourages crafting a wooden block chest is worthwhile. Oh, all right. Um, yeah. Ron is talking about taking the Arkimoto out on Saturday. He was just like, "How about we go for a ride?" And he's like, "We'll get some Five Guys burgers and shakes." I'm like, "Oh, okay. That's nice." But I don't think I'm gonna. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't think I'm gonna wear shorts um when we go i think i'm gonna wear my my casual pants i have like some really nice comfortable yoga pants that i like um yeah and my youngest daughter was just like well why don't you wear shorts mom it's hot and i was like because people are mean <laughs> and she's like oh wait is buck just like hanging out in julia's yard in nothing but a towel dude seriously <laughs> He's just like, it's fine. Betsy, working those legs. Why are you nothing but a towel? Uh, and the seats get hot in the sun. Yeah, like Ron actually got sunburn on his legs. Are they dating? I don't think so. I mean, J Julia's a trans icon. Uh, let's chat. I'm gonna do a few hundred laps around the island. No big deal. You wanna come, Booyah? Are you gonna do it in nothing but a towel? I think he just wanted to sit in her chair. Oh, uh, hi, Bubblegum. How are you? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, if you see Julia's original, her original shirt, like when she comes to your island, it's the trans pride colors, and it's really cute. Um, and Julia is an ostrich, but she is painted to look like a peacock. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh... <laughs> SCP-999, love it. Yeah, and I love Julia. She's she's considered a snooty villager. But honestly, I don't think of her as snooty. Like, she's always really sweet. Like, she's always, always really sweet. When I come over and talk to her, she's always like, oh, thank you for coming to talk to me. And she's just, she's nice, like, all the time. 
Um, so I love Julia. She can't ever leave. Um, those emotes are so cute. Those are very cute emotes. All right, it's time. It's time for Orville to learn some things about Dodo. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to your one and only gateway to the skies, the Kindness Airport. How can I help you out today? Uh, we're going to work. We're gonna design a villager home. Ah, so you're going to work. Roger that. I can set you up right now, but are you ready? All packed and stuff? Time for takeoff! Yeah, so there's Orville and there's Wilbur. Named after the Wright brothers. And I feel like Wilbur is the cooler brother. Uh, alright. Okay, have a good flight, friend. And when you need to travel, just think, what would Dodos do? Go extinct. <laughs> Every time I on my on my all every time I just want to be like go go extinct. I'm sorry about it, Orville. Right? And just like can you imagine the <laughs> savage? Can you imagine if we say that to him and he just stops for a minute and goes, What was that? Like what? We we didn't we didn't say anything. He's like, Did you think dodos go extinct? I was like, um no. No, we 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 would never. <laughs> Right, and then poor Orville is just like sitting there, just thinking about it. He's like, "But, but I'm here, and and Wilbur's here, and he's like, we're not extinct." And it's like, "Well, this, this is a game, this is a video game, <laughs> right?" Right, poor poor Orville just being like, "Wait a minute, we're in a game." <laughs> he's like, "Dodos were really extinct." He's like, "Oh, but well, where are the other dodos?" It's like, "Uh." They went extinct because humans are terrible and hunted them to extinction. I'm sorry about it. Right? Oh, um, don't go giving. Don't go giving them an existential crisis. And then Orville's sitting there going, oh my god. I can't believe this. What? <laughs> right? And it's just like telling Wilbur, right? But like, here's the kicker. He goes and tells Wilbur, Wilbur, did you know? Dodos are extinct. We're in a video game. And Wilbur will be like pushing up his sunglasses because look at Wilbur here. See what I mean about how he looks like the cooler brother? And then Wilbur would be like, yeah, I knew the whole time. And right? And the poor Orville's going to say like, what? And Wilbur's like, yeah, I knew the whole time. I mean, the signs were there. <laughs> oh, we're in a video game. Yes, the real dodos are extinct. We are the only dodos in existence. And it's like, which place is like, oh no, poor Orville. It's like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, exactly, see? <laughs> so every time he's like, what would Dodos do? It's just like, it's there. It's just like, go, go extinct. I'm sorry about it. <laughs> right? And meanwhile, Wilbur, the cooler, hipper brother, is just like, yeah, I, I know. Yeah, we we were. It's a video game. Like, you know, what what did you think this was? <laughs> Hi, brother G. It's good to see you. <gasps> Is that a stack of board games? Oh, I don't have this yet. Hello, what this? Mo oh, it's model kits. Yes, model kits. Oh, I don't have this version of the vase either. Uh, a fine vase, a fine base, a fine base, a fine. So we were like, just say. Just say base. Boss. Right, like, oh my goodness. Okay, let's see here. We need to Okay. As much as possible. Right? I'm just getting some bells. Getting some bells. Alright, here we go. What's up? Are you looking for some work? Yeah, we're gonna pick one of the things I bookmarked to do. Mine's a video I saw of an instant NPCs visit by maintenance looking for corruption. Oh, I've seen that one! Eventually, they find an NPC wearing a tinfoil hat talking about how their game world isn't real. The maintenance guy's supposed to chase him, leaving the NPC totally- Yes! Yes! I've seen that one, and it's hysterical. They're like, oh, don't worry about it. We're, we're just looking for a, a glitch. We're just doing some maintenance. Maintenance? Yeah, and he's just like, maintenance? What, what do you mean, maintenance? I'm right? Yeah, I just like unzipping <laughs> the scenery and reaching his- Oh my god, I've never seen this before! And I was cracking up at that, because I was just like, oh my god, what? Right? Yeah, and it's just like, well... And he's like, okay. He's like, and look here. Yeah, and basically did a men in black to him. He's like, okay, look here. You're not going to remember this. I was like, hmm. 
Aren't the shapes of numbers cool? Okay, seriously, is this rhinoceros a delinquent? I missed the time I spent hanging out in empty lots. I was like, are you are you a secret delinquent? Uh, hmm, internet cafe. Oh, that sounds... That actually sounds cool. I want a place that feels like an old school internet cafe. All right. Danger. Danger? Really? Danger. Um, hmm. Okay. And then, oh, there's a horsey. Terraces are wonderful. I simply must have one. Okay. It's where I'll never run out of my favorite drink. Okay, so we're going to look at our bookmark things. Uh, the things we have bookmarked. Wait, did I have Nook Miles? Oh, because I talked to some of the villagers. But Rhino sounds like my kind of villager. Hanging out in empty lots. Uh, the Minecraft in real life videos. Oh, yeah. Um, let's see. Wrong button. Okay, wrong button. Here we go. So the last one we did was a really cute uh, trendy spa for Gwen. Um, so what we have now, so we can do, there's animal stuff. She wants an animal themed shop, like animal print things. Jacques wants uh, like a DJ club, the most exclusive club. Uh, she wants a bungalow of cozy baskets. Dom wants gizmos. Freya wanted a chef's kitchen. Um, and then Roswell, um, Roswell wanted a mystery workshop. I like, I think like a museum with like just weird, like curious artifacts. He's like my mystery workshop. Like, I guess he's studying things. And Rex wanted a mountain climber retreat. Uh, Tian Shang wants a peach orchard. Um, there was somebody else. And then there was Elvis. Elvis. <laughs> Wanted a castle for a king. Uh, they're called the life of a Minecraft blank. Oh, I see. Um, yeah, so I'm just like, which one should we do? There's, yeah, there's castle for a king. And then there's like the peach horse. I'm kind of tempted by... I don't know. The DJ club sounds kind of cool. Like the, the most exclusive club. But the mountain, the mountainside one sounds neat too. Also a peach orchard. Peach orchard also sounds fun. Um, but then there's the castle. The castle one might be fun too. I'm trying to remember where I put him. Um, I don't know. Maybe we should do a poll for what, <laughs> for which one we want. Uh, I still really like the one. Yeah, we did did this for Ed and I still like that one a lot. Um let's see here. I don't know which one to do. They're all really good. And then like the internet cafe one sounds interesting too. Yeah, they're all good choices. And I'm just like, oh which one do we do? We go ham and the animal shop sounds cute too. Um yeah the trendy spa one that one turned out so so good. Um, hmm. I do like the the DJ club idea. That actually sounds fun. I'm not sure what Bungalow Cozy Baskets is. Like, does she just want, like, baskets? Does she want a shop filled with baskets? A house filled with baskets? Just baskets everywhere. Uh, <laughs> just baskets everywhere. Uh, yeah, there's the Pro Chef's Kitchen. There's... I'm kind of leaning towards the mountain side because we haven't really done anything like that. Uh, I wonder if KK Slider will come to visit the DJ. I think you can get him. Like, but I think it's after you build all the houses. I know, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Um, and also, like, yeah, between these two, because I don't think we've ever done, like, a Ripley's Believe It or Not style kind of museum. Um... But yeah, but the peach orchard sounds neat too. I'm having a hard time deciding. Um, I'm having a hard time deciding. Hmm. You know, I think, honestly, I do want to do Elvis's too, because I feel like we owe him. It's been, it's been bookmarked for a while. And I'm just like, we should really, we should really do it. Um, 
Yeah, it's been bookmarked for a while, so... But it's just like, I don't know if I'm feeling it right now. <laughs> so I think it's either going to be Mountain or... Uh, blah, 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 blah. I think it's either going to be this one. It's, it's either going to be the DJ Club or the Mountain one. Mountain Mystery or DJ. Uh, better say thank you very much and do the pose. <laughs> Right? So, hmm, like, I think with his mystery workshop, we could do, like, a museum, like, the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum kind of thing. Uh, or we could do Mountainside, a place to climb mountain. Could we make it look like a mountain? Um, yeah, because I think I put him on, like, a little mountain kind of island so hmm you know what i think i want to do this one yeah let's do this one um yeah that one's the one that's calling me the most i was like we could set it in a nighttime setting oh which i did and have like a party on the beach all, all that good stuff here we are it's just vacation home yep yeah like party outside party inside yeah i i forgot i set it to like dust because I thought the sky looked really cool in the background. Uh, so hear me out. We make the roommates and there's an alien crash site on the mountain. That sounds amazing. Uh, okay, here. We want... Hello. Mm, what's up? Uh, how's your home? Fantastic. Why do you ask? Let's talk remodeling. Good timing. I was just thinking about ways I could add some more je ne sais quoi to this place. Uh, that's French for I don't know what. Oh my god. No, really. I forgot what it means. That's what je ne sais quoi means. That's literally. Oh my god. Jacques, you're French. He's just like, what do you mean? He's like, just because I have a French name does not mean I speak French. Jacques, you're French. Je ne sais quoi. That's literally what je ne sais quoi means. It means I don't know what. I. The villagers. <laughs> It's like they're totally trolling you. Laughs in French. <laughs> it feels like he's trolling us. <laughs> Anyways, you really up for that? Is Bismarck a herring? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, and unless you've seen Blazing Saddles, you probably don't know that reference. <laughs> but just, uh, he'll be like sauerkraut in my hands. Uh... <laughs> All right, remodel plan. Yeah, the way he's just like, I literally don't remember what it means. And it's just like, it literally means I don't know what in French, sir. He's like, okay, I forget what items he had. Oh, right, right, right. We're open. Oh, he wants to dine. We could totally do the diner neon sign. I don't see why not. It's day glow, but maybe in brighter colors. Right? Oh, okay. Dartboard? Why? Why, though? Dartboard? Really? Dartboard? Oh, uh, we could make, like, coconut, coconut milk. Ugh. Well, tropical drinks on the beach. <laughs> I had to do some digging to find out what, uh... Oh, what schnitzen group it means! <laughs> oh, yes, when he told her his line, baby, it's like, you are making a German spectacle of yourself. <laughs> I know this is like, I'll be the same, baby! And I was just like, yo... I, that, that whole movie is freaking hilarious. Um, yeah, because, and it's so, it's so smart. Because it, like, points out, it pokes fun at, and points out, like, how silly it is to be a bigot. Like, how foolish it is to be racist. Right? And just, like, picks at all those, all those things. And I'm just like, yes, thank you. Right? Roughly translates to cutting a mind shaft in German. I mean, with Lily von Stoop, that, that tracks. <laughs> like, that totally tracks. Okay, so we're going to make a, a fancy house. Or are we? Yeah, well, how are we going to make it look more like a club? Wait, maybe we should make it look like a beach house. Make it look more like a beach house, like, like this? Or make it look like this? Like this? Or, well, that works too. 
Wait, didn't we have one with like a thatch roof? Oh yeah, we could do like a thatch roof like this. I'm kind of leaning towards this one because it kind of looks like the whole vibe. <laughs> the whole vibe. Um, yeah, I kind of like that one, but maybe, but maybe, but maybe, I wonder, I wonder if Jacques will play some super grass. Uh, dun, 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 dun. I don't, I still remember my, my brothers laughing at Schlitten fart. Because, <laughs> yeah, because like one of my, my aunts said it and they were laughing and she's like, and it was snowing, right? And the thing is, is like she was talking about taking us sledding, and Schlitten fart means sledding. And my cousins were, yeah, my brothers and, and a couple of my cousins were laughing. We were like, ha, 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 Schlitten fart. And my aunt stares at them. And she goes, it means sledding. Like I was talking about taking you kids sledding since it's snowing. And I was just like, yep. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, they thought they totally thought she made it up, right? Like they had to actually look it up because they're like, "You're making it up. That's not real." And it's just like you know that English and German are really close to each other, right? They're like, hmm, we could do the cottage style thing. See, the thing is, is I wanted to make it look like a club, but it's on the beach, so I also want it to look like beach vibes. So I'm trying to think about whether or not we should do like a thatched roof like that. Like that's kind of cool. Or if we should make it look more like a big like club thing. Um, like a big clubhouse. But the thing is, is like when I was in high school, like the most fun I ever had at, at the raves were the one, you know, you know what I mean? The places where not a lot of people knew about it. Like it was an underground thing, um, right? And it would be like an empty warehouse building or some shit. Uh, yeah, it would be like an empty, empty warehouse building or a building that didn't really look like, you know, look like there was a party, there was a rave happening there. You know what I mean? Um, and, and those were so, and like, those were so much fun. And yeah, and my grandparents didn't know that I like went into the city with my friends. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like where you, you you tell your you tell your parents like you're you're spending the night at a friend's house and you, you sneak out to go to the underground rave. And, and it's just like right, but it was so much fun. It was so much fun and the music was so good and you could just like dance and, and just have a good time with everybody. Um I do kind of like this one, but I feel like I don't know. There's this one too. Like that one's also kind of cute. We could do, we could do like Spanish tiles. Uh, we could do that, like the orange would be cool. And then we could maybe make it look, ooh, kind of like that. No, wait, hang on. Maybe, ooh, stucco. Why though? Ooh, I like it. Oh, uh, mistakes were made. Maybe like that. <laughs> Nothing looks right. Like maybe like this. Or ooh, black maybe? Hmm. Uh, I miss those. I do too. Though those were that was such a fun time when I was when I was young. Just like you know, <laughs> just high school, just like running around with my friends and having a good time, and nobody judged you. You could just do whatever the hell you wanted. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's a. I know people were like, do whatever the hell you wanted. You know, like within reason. Like no one was getting hurt. Just like dancing. You know, glow sticks and. And just having a nice time with your friends and you know listening to some some really cool music uh old english is much closer to german that's the only way i understand part of it on a few videos yeah yeah there's um i forget what the name of the TikTok, but they they do some of those like the old english and german comparisons i also follow bad victorian ideas yeah it's a museum they like it's a historical museum and they talk about like the Victorian age and things that existed in the Victorian age that were bad ideas, <laughs> right? Like some of the candy. I was horrified at that. I was like, my God, they really didn't understand why people were dying yet. It's really cool how bad Victorian ideas and they, they do TikToks of it. And one of them was the freaking candy about the colored, 
like hard candies and like w the candies that were green they said they used copper like actual copper in the candy <laughs> to turn them green and i was just like oh no oh oh no right yeah like the the red candies the green candies yeah the victorian candies they put copper in them like the candies that were green copper like actual copper and like one candy like like and then the other color had laudanum in it i was like good lord i was just like no wonder people were dying like good grief right yeah and then and doing and then things like another one of the ideas the bad victorian ideas was belladonna like they were seriously putting like the women were putting belladonna eye drops into their freaking eyes right to make their eyes bigger and doll like right and it was just like sleepy time candles yeah it's like except right belladonna is poisonous right so of course so of course they would they would go blind you know like it was it was a whole thing i was just like good grief yeah sleepy time candies right they they had things like like putting arsenic and everything yeah there there were toys too right like it was like there was yeah the the lead you know of course the lead paint right but there were like other toys that they played with where you're just like good grief why would you give this to children right and it was just like oh my goodness mm -hmm. i think the most recent i one i watched was about uh crinoline skirts right about like oh wearing those big skirts i was like yeah though <laughs> like yes highly flammable materials to to make your dress right yeah it's just like mm-hmm Mercury, yeah, they had that mercury injections for arthritis. They had things about, like, yeah, uh, about, like, how some things had actual cocaine in them. And I was just like, you gotta help me walk out. My daughters were horrified by that. They are like, what the hell? I was like, you gotta understand, you know, people didn't know any better. Like, this is how humans learn. Right? You, you, you're like, well, what's causing this? Oh my god. Is it because we're putting mercury in things? Like, oh my god. Is it because we're putting belladonna eye drops in her, into our eyes? Yes! Right? Yeah, there were like things that had like opium in it. I was just like, good god. Right? right? They were just like, yeah, it was like bad Victorian ideas. They just don't make cough medicine the way they used to anymore. Right? It's just like, holy crap. Yeah, like one of the cough syrup things that was on there the like it had it had cocaine in it and i was just like good good grief i was like somebody was just like you know what yes this is a good idea it was not it was not a good idea it was in fact a terrible idea and there's yeah there's all kinds of things you know that they would do they even had the thing about chimney sweeps about like the kids that were chimney sweeps and how sometimes the kids would get stuck in the chimney um yeah and it was like and after a lot of that happening they, they didn't do that anymore um i do like the beach house but i'm kind of conflicted about whether or not i want to do like a thatch roof or because you know literally the the roof is on fire um we could we could make it like i do like it but I don't know, maybe if we do it like this, like beige and red. Okay, cannabis, no wonder they could work through anything. Yeah, it is just kind of wild, like how, you know, how humans didn't really know any better. And eventually, yeah, human race learned. Um, you know, like, hey, maybe we shouldn't have lead in paint. Maybe we shouldn't be putting arsenic in everything, you know? right and it's just like you know maybe we shouldn't be doing that uh it's like yeah probably not probably not a good idea um we could do a purple door i do like it or we could do a red door i see a red door and i want it painted black actually do i have black doors i think i do i do surprise surprise yeah, I'm still not sold on this this house. Maybe maybe we should do this house. Maybe we should do it like this and then kind of make it look like only we can make it look like an empty warehouse building. Um Yeah, it's just like, hmm. Uh we could do a red tile roof. 
But see, since we're on the beach, I kind of want to do yellow like that or maybe like an orange brown. OK, brown, uh, brown or maybe like like a yellow slate. Uh, yellow wooden tile. Where were the um, what was the house that had the the tildes? Oh, this one had the tilde. Um. Okay, so there's this or this. Actually, this one might be better. And I do like the the curved tiles. Uh, waiter, can I get a tip? Customer, of course. Don't eat that paint chips. <laughs> yep, and I'm just like, mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Just like, well. I mean, one of one of my cousins ate dirt when he was a kid, and he turned out okay, mostly. Uh, <laughs> they were just like, wait, yeah. One of my friends was like, wait, why did your cousin eat dirt when he was a kid? I was like, I don't know. He just he just did. I was like, he he turned out, and she's like, why do you say he turned out mostly fine? I was like, oh, because he was kind of a sexist creep to girls, and yo. Know, but then, but then he he learned from it, and he got better. <laughs> And she was like, oh, okay. But she's like, but why did he eat dirt? I was like, I have no idea why he ate dirt. We were kids. We were outside playing in the yard. And he was sitting there. And he's just like, yeah, my, my brothers were being like little brothers. Like they do. And like throwing throwing dirt at the girls. Like throwing dirt at each other. Right? And my cousin picked up dirt. You know, picked up the handful of dirt. And he looked at it. And he, he just he ate a little bit of it. I don't know why. He just did. Uh, I never got into paste, never understood uh, the draw to eating it. I didn't either. Right? Yeah, and my, my mom yelled at him to not eat dirt. So did his mom. Right? And every now and then he'd just be, like, caught eating dirt and just, just a little bit. Like, he'd just eat a little bit. Right? <laughs> right? And so I asked him, you know, I was like, well, let's just ask him. There he is. And I was like, why did you eat dirt when you were a kid, man? And he goes, what? Right? And he says, what? What do you mean? It's like, remember, it's like when we were kids and he goes, oh, he's like, yeah, I did do that. And I was like, was there any reason why? He goes, not really. And it was like, not really. I was like, so there was no reason to it. And he said, well, the thing is, is he just was kind of curious what it tasted like. And I'm just like, oh, OK. I was like, and then all the other times. And he said, and it was just like he was just genuinely curious and my friend is laughing going well actually in kid logic that does make sense and i was like oh that was why right because he said that actually different types of dirt tasted differently like the the dirt in our aunt's yard he said it tasted one way it's like the dirt in my yard tasted different he's like it was kind of like he's like it was earthy he's like but also a little salty and i was like <laughs> I was like, wait, so you just started eating dirt, like different types of dirt, just to see what they all tasted like? He goes, yeah. I was like, because you were just genuinely curious. And he was like, yeah. And I was like, yeah. And I said that. I was like, okay, yeah, that's fair. That makes sense. And my friend was laughing. And she said, honestly, with kid logic, yeah, like kids are curious. And they're just like, well, what does this taste like? Can I eat it? Okay. And so he just did it. <laughs> and then he gets scolded. My Ortitas and my mom and be like, what are you doing? Why are you eating dirt? Huh? And like, if you are hungry, come into the house and eat food. Eat food like person. <laughs> right? And like, why? Why are you eating dirt? Right? And my mom would be like, back at the man, huh? Like, back in the man, dirt go. And she's like, why are you eating dirt? <laughs> and she would just like yell at him. And so would his mom and my other teachers like, oh my God, he's eating dirt again. And I was like, right? And my cousin was laughing about this. He's like, yeah. He's like, I got yelled at a lot for it. <laughs> right? He's just like, your mom was like, what? what is wrong with you? Why are you eating dirt? Huh? You, you're not getting enough to eat at home? Like, I will feed you, okay? S sit down. I cook for you. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. I'm so sorry, dude. And he was like, no. He's like, she was just looking out for me. And he said, I also, he's like, I also kind of um licked rocks. And I was like, oh my God. Right? And he goes, what? It's like because our granddaughter, Shay, she licks rock. Shay licks rock. Like she has also tried to eat dirt. <laughs> right? Like she ate a she ate a little bit. Apparently she didn't like it and she spit it out, was like, I don't like it. Right? And sometimes she picks up rocks 
right? Because she likes rocks. She likes all kinds of different rocks. It's, you know, she's two and she will lick the rock. And I'll hear, right? Sometimes when I call our daughter, when I call Steph, I'll hear her going, no, Shay, no, put that down. Shay, don't lick the rock. Don't, don't lick the rock, Shay. And I'll just start laughing because it's just like, well, you know, our granddaughter is a little bit of chaos. And, right? And Steph will be sighing and be like, don't, don't eat that. Put, put that down. No, no. Right? And a couple of times, Shay has licked the cat. But yeah, they have two cats. And Shay has licked the cat. <laughs> and I was just like, why? Why did our granddaughter lick a cat? Right? Yeah, like just, she leaned over, she petted the kitty cat, right? And, you know, like her, her buddy Oscar the cat. And she apparently just licked the cat. And then apparently Shay made a face and started like wiping her mouth, like wiping it <laughs> her mouth and went, bleh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Steph was laughing and telling her, and this is why we don't lick the cat. This is why we don't lick the kitty cat. <laughs> All fairness, cats lick people, yeah, and she's done it twice now. She's done it twice. <laughs> and I was like, oh, oh dear. Yeah, and then Steph told me the other day that Shay got into her, her sewing kit. And I said, uh-oh, what happened? And she goes, well, she said, Oscar, Oscar the cat, because Oscar was a kitten when Shay was born. So they basically grew up together. And it, it sometimes it seems like they're siblings more than a little, a little human and a cat. Right? And she said, Oscar walked into the room and she said he looked lopsided. And I said, oh no. Yeah. And she, she was like, what, Oscar? One side of his face, his whiskers were short. They apparently got into the sewing kit, right? And and Steph has like child safety scissors because she's like, I don't want Shay to get hurt. And Shay figured out how to use the scissors and she cut Oscar's whiskers. And I'm just like, that poor cat. Right? And she said, Oscar was fine, but she's like, just one side. You know the whiskers are short right and she said you know she said oh no right and she went looking for shay because she said i was only gone for a minute she's like and i don't know how she got into the the sewing basket i don't know how she did it right she's like because it's up high and i was like steph kids climb things and she goes she wouldn't i was like she's too she's adventurous she's curious kids climb things <laughs> right so yeah, and Steph went and looked and yep, there was a chair up by the sofa because there was like a shelf over, you know, like over the desk and there was a chair by the desk, right? And she, yeah, we're doing the video call and see some of her stuff moved around on the, on the desk and the little shelf above and the basket is open and she goes, she really climbed up here to get, to get the scissor. Right? She went looking for it. I was like, it's okay. Don't panic. Don't panic. Right? The thing is, is like she runs into the other room and Shay is there and she has the scissors and she's getting ready to cut the other cat's whiskers and Steph stopped her. And I was like, oh boy. <laughs> right? And yeah, and Shay got in trouble. She, you know, Steph was like telling her, we don't do this to the kitty. It's not nice. And right, yeah, the other cat ran away and, and had this look of like, oh my God, thank you. I was in danger. I was just like, oh no. Yeah, and of course, Shay, being Shay, you know, she's a kid. You know, she's a little kid, two-year-olds. They cry, right? And she she cried. She was upset. She wanted the scissors. And, and Steph told her, like, this is a no. You're not supposed to do this. And yeah, so Steph had to find, like, a new spot, right? And and I was like, well, let's make sure Oscar's okay. And Oscar was fine. He was, like, purring. He was just, like, really happy, right? And he ran over to Shay and, like, headbutted her. Right. And, and she was like hugging because he heard her crying. It's like anytime Shay cries, Oscar comes running. Like he comes running and he meows at her and he'll headbutt her and, you know, and just like cuddle up to her and she'll and she'll like hear him purring and she'll be hugging him and crying. And then she stops crying and then she just like is very gently kind like she's really good with him. But she cut his whiskers. <laughs> she cut his whiskers. Right. And then I looked at Shay and I said, um, Steph. And she goes, what? Right? They cut her own hair. Okay, there were like patches. I was just like, does Shay's hair seem shorter to you? 
and she just like gasps and she looks over and she goes what oh shay yeah and she was like right and she looks at me you know and like wave to you know, wave to the camera because we're on video call wave to me goes hi lala hi lala and i was like hi i was like did you give yourself a haircut and she pets her hair has a big old grin on her face and he goes hair you're right and she goes hair she's like yeah <laughs> right and steph is checking her yeah it can give herself a haircut <laughs> this is this little little short patches so steph had to trim her hair to even it out and steph was like i can't believe this and i was like look it it happens okay i was like don't don't freak out I was like, it happens as like kids get into things, they give themselves a haircut, they cut the cat's whiskers. <laughs> and she was just like, oh my god. Right, yeah, and she was freaking out. And she was just like, what do I do? She's like, everybody's gonna comment about this. And I was like, yeah. And I was like, just explain to them what happened. Just be matter of fact about it. I was like, every single parent has had a child that has done this. They they lick something. They shove something up their nose, they they get into a fight, they give themselves their, their own haircut, right? And, and she goes, really? And I was like, Steph, for goodness sake. I was like, you shoved Tic Tacs up your nose. You shoved a marble up your nose. And she goes, oh yeah, I did do that. I was like, I was like seriously. I was like, you drew on the wall with crayon and, and some of my lipstick? And I was just like, do you remember that? And she goes, well, I was really little. I was like, exactly. You were little. Kids get into things. <laughs> it's like, it happens. And yes, it's chaos. And yes, sometimes you're just like, oh my God, what do I do? And I was like, but it's going to be okay. <laughs> I was like, and later on, you'll have a funny story to, you know, to tell her friends and embarrass her. <laughs> and she started laughing. And she goes, oh yeah. I was like, exactly. See, I was like, kids do stuff. It happens. I was like, you just you do the best you can. You know, it's like, she's not hurt. The cat's not hurt. I was like, he's going to have his whiskers be weird for a little bit. And I was like, but everybody's fine. <laughs> like, everybody's fine. I think I like this one. But I kind of like the blue, too, because of the ocean stuff. Um, Yeah, like the yellow with the blue. And then maybe if we do, like, say a... Maybe a door like that or maybe a door like that um or maybe we should do like a fancier a fancier door um hmm i'm trying to think like what door would go with this maybe something oh maybe we could do that i kind of like the purple too though um so the wooden door is cool too um, I don't know which one we should do. The porthole? Oh, the porthole door is kind of fun. Um, you know, with the ocean ocean party vibes. Yellow basic door. Hmm. Okay, and then there's... Yeah, see, the window door is cute. I do like those. And this one is kind of neat, too. Um, what about this one? Oh, that's neat, too. Hmm. Or we could do like a yellow imperial door. Um, let's do yellow iron door. Oh, that's actually kind of neat too. Uh, or we could do fancy. We could do a fancy door. Hmm, maybe with black, like black and gold. Uh, <laughs> Jim Morrison? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> Hmm, like a black and gold kind of thing, a portal, uh, a porthole thing. I like the black door with the gold, but I don't know if it's really gonna, like the fancy door. I don't know if it's gonna fit the vibe. We could do that, or we could do. Oh, the pink is kind of cool too. Um, hmm. I feel like maybe the yellow door, like the fancy the fancy yellow door and then we could have like a really cool um the cool wreath or something something silly uh let's see maybe not um mushroom mushroom a shamrock plate 
We could do shells. Shells might be okay. Or we could do... Wait, what is this? Iron door plate. Um, we could do... Hmm. Gold, pink, brown. Maybe a blue? What does the blue look like? Actually, I kind of like that. The iron door plate with the blue. Uh, alright. So now we gotta figure out something. I have to move you, Jacques. He's like, oh, okay then. Okay, so he has... Yeah, so he has like all his DJ equipment. Um, yeah, I think I do want to use this. But I gotta figure out what color I want to use. The red, orange, green. Whoa, that's bright. Um, hmm should we use that one is actually kind of cool but i do like that one too okay so there's red and yellow and then there's this really bright red and blue um i don't know i don't know which one i want to do i kind of like that one but that one's also kind of cool um ooh, maybe that one the orange and yellow can do that one we could put it here, or we could put it here, or we could put it here, or here? Hmm, where am I gonna put it? I don't know. I could put it like here, kind of in the, in the corner, like this, but then... But then, what are we gonna do about about the line at the door? Um, hmm. Oh, that's what we're gonna do about the line at the door. A steel fence. Oh, oh, I see. We can do silver, yellow. I kind of like the blue. Kind of, sorta. All right. Did we? Hmm. How are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? We could put a, a thing here. Oops. And then put it like like this. Wait, wait, hang on. It's trying to to see what I can do. Actually, maybe we should put it more to the side like this. Right? Like this, like this line up. And then do it like this and then turn it like this. Will it even ah it will not. It's annoying. Um well, I don't know, maybe we should maybe we should have it like like this. Oh, but then it's uneven. Okay. Let me move it up a little more. Uh, let me move it up a little more so we can have the things like that. Okay, wait, can we actually cross through here? Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's all I wanted to see. Okay, so maybe we put this in the corner like this. Actually, we should probably put it next to the house, shouldn't we? Like this. Right? Like this. Like up at the front. Like that? Maybe? Uh, I'm trying to think where we should put the we're open sign. Right? Like, I don't know if we should do it at the front or not. Um. Uh, okay. So I have ideas. I got chills. The master plan is electrifying. Alright, wait, wait, wait. We have... Oh, right, the bubbles. I definitely want to use the bubble machines. Um, but if we're having a party on the beach... <laughs> you know, as my mom says, do you want to go to the beach? Uh, you could go like this. Or we could put it... But see, then we can't get through. So I'm thinking maybe put it here. Or put it here, like, right next to the house. Right? Just, like, so you can see it. Um... <laughs> And then we we definitely have to decorate for for an outdoor party 
right? Like, we'll the outdoor party, outdoor rave on the beach, maybe. Uh, let me see. I think I have some. I think I have like some palm tree plants, like the palm tree uh, lamp things, uh, standing lamps that could definitely work for what I want to do. Right, we have this. Ooh, what are these? Oh, I have the um. I have the party lights arch, but we could do. We could do like the wedding arch, maybe. Could do like that. Ooh, a garden. Right, like this. Hmm, that might be too avant-garde. Uh, let's try. Oh, or we could use a shell arch. We could make it. Ooh. I kind of like the yellow because it has like yellow and red. Um, to kind of do it like that, right? And just right? like that could be that could be a neat little a little trick. Um, and then uh, yeah, and then we could do the palm tree lamps. Ooh, there's some lava lamps too. The lava lamps might also be cool. Um. Okay, let's see. We could do natural, tropical, cute, or cool. I'm kind of digging the cool. Um, let's see. Oh, really? It's like that? They're like, yes, it's just like that. Hmm. Let's put one lamp in the corner like this. Right? And then let's... I think I'm going to have to... I think I'm gonna have to bag on the the fencing, the fencing thing. Maybe I can use that inside. All right, so we'll do it like this, right? Like that. That actually looks okay. Um. Right, but then, hmm. I don't know. Maybe I should put it more in front of the house. Like one here, but the house is already well lit. Actually, maybe we should put it... Oh, that's too close to the water, isn't it? Maybe we should put one on either side of the archway. Like that way... That way it looks like really cute. Um, and then that way we could make a little... A little fancy. Um, okay, so let's see what we have. Um, so the steel fence, right? But maybe in blue. Because uh, I was like, well, maybe we don't need it. But maybe we do. Maybe we do one, two, three. What if we just do three and three? Right? Just like... Right over here like this. Maybe... Hmm... Okay, let me see if I can't... Okay, oops. We put it like this. Um, where I just like have like a cute little... And let me see if she can fit. Alright, so... I was afraid of that, damn it. Wait, okay, you know what? Let's just do two and two. It's fine. Um... It's fine. And then we can move the sign here like this. Yeah, that works. Okay. Very tricky to do this. Um, very tricky to do this. Uh, thank you for the stream and have a great night. Have a great night, Frosted. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh dear. Hmm. Let me see here. Um. Do 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 Okay, so let's see. So if we're gonna have a party on the beach, we're gonna need we need to go all out. So this is his DJ booth, right? Uh. So yeah, we're gonna have like we're gonna have one inside and we're gonna have one outside. Um. But we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it cute. Uh, so we have black, white, brown, pink. Ooh, I kind of like the pink. 
but you know what? Let's do let's do brown. Um, familiar logo, chic logo, rock logo, handwritten logo, pop logo. Oh, the pop logo is kind of cool. Uh, cute logo. Hmm, let's do pop logo. Okay, so we're we're here. We're here! Okay, and then we're gonna need some speakers. Um, okay, so we have laptops, we have the record box. Okay. Hmm, alright, so we're gonna need tables? Oh, maybe some outdoor counters. Uh, maybe some outdoor counters. Yeah, so we're gonna need like, the the speakers. Okay. Gonna need speakers over here. I know, just like well, the speakers like this, right? And just like this. Um, and we're gonna need. Some things. Let's see. Uh, what do we got? Effects rack. Oh, right, you're right. We should have that too. Uh, okay, black. Let's keep it simple. So orange, blue, red. Let's do an orange, and then we can do um, handwritten logo. Yeah, we can do the pop logo. Right, so we can have that here like this. Turn it like this. Um, yeah, so we're trying to, to make some things. Okay, and then we have a synthesizer. I think that's probably going to go inside. Um, oh, right, and then we have like the smart LED display, so we can have that outside too. Right? Uh, and then we can do um, like this open yeah let's do do this one right so we can have it like this um right, just music on the beach all right music on the beach like this little party party okay so i might put the synthesizer on the beach too um, you know, just like give him two, two things. Okay, let's do this one in yellow. Right, so like this. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we're gonna put that there like this. Put this here. Right, and then I'm gonna move that out a little bit. All right. Um. Uh, okay. And then we need we need something. Uh, aluminum briefcase. We need something else. I'm not sure. What? Maybe bubbles. Maybe like the bubble machines. Um. Uh, maybe the bubble machines or. Um. Hmm. Or. Okay, there's a timpani drum, the cymbals, uh, okay, there's all these flowers. I'm not really sure, uh, what we need. It's like, I feel like we need, like, a, a big sign behind them or something. The, like, a signboard. <laughs> not like this, but maybe, um... Like something, yeah, kind of like a billboard, sort of. Uh, I don't think I have anything. Um, we have, I mean, we like have this, but we need something bigger. Uh, I honestly don't know. I'm trying to think of everything I can put in there and just... And have it look 
you know, like have it look the way I want it to look. Uh, oh my god. What if... What if we have this behind him? Would, like, but what color should we make it? Like the robot hero? Like, yeah, the, the giant robot. I think that would be cool. But I don't know what color we should make it. Like, the red looks really good. Um, the red looks really good. But what if we do... Uh, okay, there's yellow, green, white, black. Ooh, the silver is cool, too. Um, hmm. How big is this thing? Oh, so snap oh my gosh it takes up so much space hmm i didn't realize it took up that much space but like yep it takes up a lot of space oh i was hoping we could have it like behind him right like that um let's see just like that All right maybe Turn it. Turn it that way. But that way is good. Um, okay, so. Yeah, so that actually works. Uh, that actually works. And then we could do the bubble machine. Outside. Uh, uh, let me see. Can we. We could totally do it like this. Um, let me see if I can... Okay, so let's turn the bubbles on. Okay, there we go. Uh, Alright, so we have... We have some bubbles here, and I'm going to put some bubbles here like this. Like next to here next to here now we're gonna do some bubbles here like that okay so then that's yeah, so i'm wondering if i can actually uh like maybe maybe the robot's the dj uh there we go okay so like this so let's put it like this There we go. There we go. Uh, Alright. So we're gonna need to have like... We're gonna need to have some seats or something. Off or outside. Uh, artsy chairs. Artsy chairs. Artsy table. Alright. How about... How about some stage lights? Oh, why he's shocked. I don't know why he's shocked. Alright, let's see. Can we put it here? Um, actually, what we can do is... Okay, let me move the bubbles over. What we can do is put it here. Um, Alright, we got that. Um... Like, I have them off to the side, but I don't know if that's gonna work because it's like an outdoor outdoor thing and we still have to go inside. Um, you know what? Let me, let me just scrap that. I don't think the lights are gonna cut it. But let's put the bubbles that way. Excuse me. Um... Uh, Okay, so I have like these artsy chairs and these inflatable sofas, but I don't think that's going to work for what I want to do. We could do like the kitty pools. Oh, we could have like, uh, we could have the exercise ball or, um, let me see here. Do we have any other chairs besides the artsy chairs? Like maybe... We have some lawn chairs. Uh, maybe lawn chairs. 
Alright, uh... Okay, we can do... Um... Uh, do some lawn chairs, maybe. Uh, so... Let's see here. Okay, this is all this stuff. And then... This stuff. Okay, where the heck? The heck are all my chairs? Oh, there we go. Yeah, see, we have like benches and then we have like. We have lawn chairs. So I'm wondering if I should just do the lawn chairs or if I should do something else, like places to sit on the beach. Um. We could do. Since it's nighttime, we could do a bonfire. Uh, right, like we could do like a little summer bonfire. Um, and like with the outdoor concert thing. Uh, yeah, let me see if I have that. Uh, and then we could do like cute little, cute little lawn chairs. Uh, right, cute little lawn chairs or cute little, cute little log benches. We could do cute little log benches. Um, for the thing, um, yeah, like we could do these cute little log bench things. Um, so let me see if I can find uh, the bonfire thing. Alright. Oh, um, excuse me. Um, uh, oh my gosh, I keep yawning. It's like a little tired. It's a little bit more tired today. Uh, okay, bonfire. It should be in here somewhere. Did I pass it? There's this. There's this. The giant toys. Uh, okay, there's an artisanal bug case. There we go. Alright, so let me... Let me go light the fire. Okay. Um, Alright, let me see here. Okay, so we're gonna... I don't know if this is gonna work. Might be too much. We're gonna try it anyway. We're gonna put... In the corner. Uh, yeah, see, I was, I was afraid of that. Let me see. Maybe. Let's see. I like. I like the arches and the lamps the way they are. So maybe what we can do is we can just do. Right, like this. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna figure out a place for the giant robot. It can't be. It as well. Um. All right. So we're gonna move. We're gonna move this stuff to the back. And then move this over. I'm just going to move over everything just a little bit. Just a little tiny bit. Um, okay, so maybe what I should do is, yeah, have that like that. And then maybe what I can do is put the giant robot towards the back a little more, like the back court. Like next to the, um, next to the house. So like this it takes up so much space. Um, yeah. So we could do it. We could put the speaker here, or actually do it like this. Put this here. And then put the speaker here and then yeah like have a bubble machine at the robot's foot um wait see uh to do that with the robot i could do that and that could go there like this um and that way gives everybody like a little space to like hang out. Um, 
people on the beach if they want to. Uh, all right, and then and then what I'm gonna do is let's see, where is that the drinking things? Um, uh, yeah, and we're gonna add. Yeah, so I know it's coconut milk, but I like the idea of it being like a cute little yeah, like they're sitting there. And they're just vibing with the music and then we're gonna also put in some decorative bottles right the let's see let's do let's do a green like a light green and give like a little little label um green label yeah make it look like a a beer right like some beers there yeah i think i think that looks okay right just like I think I might move this speaker back. Um, right, like you put this here. Right, like right, like this, and then put, and then yeah, put the speaker like back here, like this. Just kind of stepping it out. Um, yeah, there we go. That looks a little better. Uh, okay, so we're gonna change Jacques' uh, outfit. Okay, so we can do this. Leave this parka. That could totally work. He likes a puffy vest. See why though. Um, okay, is this the hat he wants to wear? Actually, we could give him a balloon hat. <laughs> we could give him a, a cute little balloon hat. Um... And then we could do like this. <laughs> or we could do it like this. Butterfly shades. Um, we could totally give him butterfly shades. If we did the sleeveless parka, that would actually be really cute. Um, I think it's the only thing he actually likes. So, so maybe... All right. Um, yeah, nothing else really like stands out. Uh, nothing else really stands out. So I'm just like, oh, okay. Um, oh, there is this like the Aloha shirt. That's actually kind of cute. Um, that's also cute. Um, hmm. We'll do a bowling shirt. Also cute. I do like that. I don't know. I think maybe the sleeveless parka is the way to go. Um, or like, do I have anything else that he could wear? Or we could dress him like a, a little caterpillar, a little rainbow caterpillar. Um, so let's see. Like, yeah, there isn't really anything else stands out. Um, Okay, so uh, let's try this. You know what? Yeah, I'm not sure about the glasses, uh, but they might they might work. Maybe if we try something different, um, like this, like this, or. We could do, um, round frame glasses, um, uh, I'm not sure, um, you have these shamrock glasses, but I don't think those are it either, ski goggles, maybe these, maybe these are the ones, um, or maybe in pink, maybe in pink, um, Triangle shade, purple shade. But yeah, these are these are the star shades. I do kind of like the purple, but the pink actually looks kind of neat too. Um, you know what? Yeah, I think those are the ones. Gotta gotta have him looking the part after all. Okay, I'm gonna move him over here. 
There we go. There we go. Okay. So I think the yard is done. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a picture without me in it, of course. Um, just just him. They're just vibing, living his best life. Uh, all right. Let's see here. Can we can we do it like this? I think I'm gonna have to do like an aerial view. All right. So I think I'm gonna have to do aerial view because I think that's the only way it's gonna show everything. I would like to do it like this, but then it doesn't like fit everything. So one, two, three. Okay. Does that look good? Okay. So we're going in. Oh. Uh, so we're going in. Uh, okay. Oh, right, right. I forgot about this stuff. Okay, so we gotta make this look like an exclusive club. The thing is, is do we make a club downstairs and upstairs, or do we give him an upstairs apartment and like his club is downstairs? Right? Like I sometimes I do that, and it makes like for a nice, a nice vacation home. Right? Like, just giving him his club downstairs, like, you know, he's, and then he has a nice, nice loft apartment upstairs. Uh, okay, so let's see what kind of wallpaper we're working with. What kind of wallpaper? Oh, yeah, see, he has, like, these really cool LED lights. Um, club wall. That definitely makes sense. For sure. Uh, let's see what else. Street art wall. Ooh. I kind of love that. Um, I really actually kind of love that. Uh, let's see. We have ringside seating. Oh, snap. All right. How about this one? Black crown wall. Hmm. The strobe. The disco ball is really cool. Okay, so I'm thinking, what if we do the club wall? Right? We do the club wall, but... But we have this as the accent wall for, for the bath, right? Um, and then, yeah, he can go up there and he know. Okay, so I gotta change the flooring. The flooring has club flooring. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, let's see, checkerboard paintball flooring. <laughs> Abandoned warehouse. Um, uh, Okay, let's try gray floor tiles. Oh, I see, like industrial floor tiles. Um, gray vinyl flooring. One star. Honestly, I think I kind of like the club flooring better. But let me see what other flooring I have. Um, there's okay. There's basement flooring. Yeah, that makes sense. Plate flooring. Uh, we also have black brick flooring. None of this fits the vibe. Rubber tile flooring? Kinda. Kinda works. Uh, right, we also have red and black vinyl. All right, so if we go... Hmm... I don't know. Um, the Imperial tile. That's kind of cool. Palace tile. Also kind of cool. Uh, steampunk flooring. Ooh. What if we use the steampunk flooring? Would that work? Would that work? The steampunk flooring, I feel like, could totally, totally work. Uh, parking flooring. Why, though? Ship deck. No. Uh, dirt flooring. Oh boy. Uh, we have a hopscotch flooring. That's actually, that's actually kind of cute. Um, that's actually kind of cute. I don't know. So I'm kind of torn between the club flooring and the. Oh wait, wait, wait. Future. <gasps> Ooh. So I like the steampunk flooring. I like the future club flooring. Yeah, the future tech flooring and the steampunk flooring are really cool. But I do also like the club flooring. 
um the club floor but but that looks cool too like with the way the floor lights up um so i'm not really sure which one i want i don't know what do y'all think should we do should we do this one or we do this one or option where is it or option c steampunk floor um yeah those those are like the three i like the best for what i'm trying to do uh so hmm so what should we do i don't know it's very it's very hard to decide uh but you know what honestly i feel like wait what is this floor circuit board flooring oh that's actually kind of neat too hmm i feel like steampunk or or the future tech flooring fits the vibe better uh so you know what like we're gonna we're gonna do i mean this is cute and all but i just i feel like i feel like the future tech flooring just gives it a little more oomph you know uh okay so let's do that and then then uh okay so we, we need the the disco ball we totally need a disco ball yes we do all right should we do a okay so we could do silver uh gold purple Ooh, purple's cute uh blue green <gasps> rainbow we have to do a rainbow disco ball yeah let's do that rainbow disco ball kind of kind of put it in the center how the hell do we know where the center of the floor is uh okay i'm looking at the grid like this okay that's too that's too close to the door i think right yeah that's too close to the door okay so do Okay, so we'll do one. One. Let's do one over here. Like two, three, four, five. I think five. Nope, still in that center. Six, seven, eight, oh, three, like this like this then uh eight do like that yeah that totally works okay uh we'll do it like that uh okay so there's there's our disco ball Ta -da. okay <laughs> all right now we gotta we gotta make his his dj booth um let's see here we can okay so we can use uh the lights right we can use the the neon light the stage light uh so let's make it yellow blue let's make it purple let's totally make it purple right like totally make it purple yeah so i'm trying to make sure he has like a spot Maybe we should turn it that way. Yeah. Um. We gotta give him his own his own corner, right? For things. Uh. So like this. Maybe like this. Make it a little more even. Um. Okay. Let me see where I can put the DJ booth. Um. Because yeah, we're gonna have to gonna have to move some things around i think and we're gonna have to like at least have some seating like with the bar area uh okay so like this all right in the end okay so we have we have the dj's turntable so we're gonna keep it black okay there's the kk one there's the rock one i wanna like i like the pop logo so i'm gonna keep it right like this 
I don't know why he's surprised. Why are you surprised, sir? It's just like, I don't know, no reason. Let me move the lights back a little bit. Because I want to see how much space I'm going to need for everything before I move those lights forward. And the thing is, is I don't know if I'm actually going to use, like, all four lights. I might. I don't know yet. Um, okay, so we're going to need, we're going to need more, more effects, an effects rack. He's like, okay, so we're going to keep this one black. We're going to do the pop logo again. Like, okay. Okay, so we need effects rack, which is like this. So we're probably going to need him, going to need that facing him. Like, yeah, he's in the corner here. And then, oh yeah, and then I, I want to use the bubble machine. I do want to use the bubble machine. So let me, let me turn those on. I know I'm using them outside, but I also want to use them inside too. So I think that'll be really cute. Um, I just have to figure out where I'm going to put them. Okay, so we got this. We got this. Alright, so we also have floor monitors. We have a synthesizer. Um, oh, right, right, right. I also wanted to... I wanted to use the... Um, yeah, and we need we need a table for his records. Uh, okay, let me see. Can we? So we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. This. And make sure it's like right over there. Um, kind of like this, and then kind of like this. right, just like over like this. Um, there, I might have to do three just to like keep it uh, centered. There we go. All right. Um, okay, now. Okay, so I need, we need like a table um, for, for the side for like the record table stuff. Uh, for the box of records. Maybe a counter? Oh, maybe we need the counter. Maybe that's what the counters are for. Uh, so if we can use this counter here, like a counter table. Uh, here we can do natural wood, black and dark wood, uh, black and red. Ooh, I kind of like the yellow and black. That actually looks kind of cool. Okay, so have that there like this. Right, and then we can have, um, yeah, then we can have like his box of records. All right, little little record box. Okay, let's do it in green or blue or gray, pink, maybe gray, and then have right to do, do various or sunset. Hmm. I feel like we need this. Okay, like like this, right? And then we have the sampler here, right? Maybe in a light gray or a blue and black. Okay, maybe do light gray, like this. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm trying to I'm trying to get this to work. Because then it's like, well, right then. Uh, darn it. Let me... Oh, we could do it like that. Right? Just like, have it like this. Um, have this like this. Right? Because then that way, you know, yeah, basically could be his like little... Like he can go here. Let me move this over just a little bit. Cause then he can be here and like be back here like this right um okay and then we're gonna need we need the portable record player tabletop record player maybe maybe tabletop record player so we got this one let's do this one in red 
Like this. Um, let me turn it like this. Right? And then... Oh. Uh, yeah, the thing is, it's like, I think I have to turn these. I think I actually have to turn these so he's like kind of kind of boxed in. Um right. So maybe like this. Okay, so maybe what I can do is I can turn this like this. Right? And then this can go here. Um we're not. Maybe like one on each side, like this, right? and then have this back here. Um, okay, and then, and then do, uh, and then do the record like this. Um, uh, right, so on one side like this, right, and then have, um, and then have a red record player, like this, right, so put that there, um, and then have the sampler here. The thing is that he's gonna need a microphone, so, so then what we can do, uh, does he have a microphone on here? I don't think he does. Um, oh, okay, right, right. Or headphones, professional headphones. Um, oh yeah, you know what? I didn't even think of that. Maybe I should, maybe I should, I don't think I have headphones though. I think I only have hats. I think I only have hats. So, yeah, I don't have any headphones, just hats. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of hats. Um, that's unfortunate. Okay. So, we'll just... Okay, so professional headphones. Uh, we'll do black. We can do black and red. Black and blue. Black and red? I don't know why he's shocked by that. Uh, like this. Um, okay, so I think we're gonna need. Yes, we're gonna need the speakers again too. Like the speakers. Corner like this. Speakers in the corner like this. Uh. It's just like, oh, okay then. Um, yeah, and then the thing is, it's like, I think we need another one of these in order to make this work. Uh, so we can do this. Hmm. Actually, maybe do that. And then I have a microphone. Uh, okay, so let's do. Let's see if I have a microphone that I can use. Um, okay, so we'll put in a little cute little microphone thing. Uh, yeah, there we go. A desktop mic, maybe? Um, I think that can totally work. Desktop mic. Okay, can I put this on top of something? Oh, I can totally put this, the headphones on top of there. Yeah, you know what? That looks better. Right? Just, okay, so let's, let's just get rid of that. Boom. Um, yeah, so we got this. I think it looks pretty good so far. Alright, and then what we can do is we can put the bubble machines in front like this, right? Just like one on each side. Um, right, so let me move, let me move the light a little bit closer. So we have 
more room. Um, we have that. We have that. I don't know if we need to... Like, maybe we do. Maybe we just need, like, a little more... Let's see, it's crooked. Oh, that's not... I don't like that. Let me even it out a little bit. There we go. So we have, like, the bubble machine. Um... So I think we need... Okay, so let's put a bubble machine here in the corner. A bubble machine here. Right? And then... Put one in front of here, and one in front of here. Just make it look really cute, really fun. Uh, okay, so now we gotta hang the stage lights, I think. Um, oh yeah, we also have like these wall-mounted neon lamps. How's that fun? Alright, so we got this, we got the stage lights, we're gonna need... I think we're gonna need hanging stage lights. Um... So let's put them. We do okay. So we have purple down below. We do blue or green. Maybe pink. Maybe pink or blue. Maybe blue. Maybe blue. Okay. So we gotta turn. We gotta turn this like this. Right. And then we're gonna just. Go across like this. Okay, it looks a little bit crooked. Oh boy. Okay, let's see. I don't, you know, yeah, like I'm looking at it and I don't know if I want like the stage lights. We might do, we might do spotlight. We might do like studio wall spotlight. Uh, like this. Right, but in in blue, purple, blue. But in okay. Seriously. So maybe like that. And then maybe like maybe like this. Right? And then that way. Um I don't know, like, I'm, I'm debating on whether or not I want to keep the, the stage light. Uh, because it's just like, okay. Um, right, uh, I'm sorry y'all, I need to take another stretch break. My back is stiffening up, um, which is because when arthritis flare up, right, I've been dealing with it, like, all day today. So, I'm gonna take a really quick break, um, and just, like, stretch. Uh, so, and we'll continue this build, so, uh, if... Okay, apparently my bot is broken. <laughs> Again. Um... So, if you need to take a stretch break... Okay, let me... I keep having to, like, disconnect the Stream Elements bot. And reconnect the Stream Elements bot, and it's really frustrating. Um... There we go. Um... Yeah, I hear, hear golden. I got it. Um, there we go. Um, I'll be right back. Yeah, I apologize. I usually only take two stretch breaks, but uh, arthritis has been kind of a thing today. So I'm going to take another stretch break real quick. All right, I'll be right back.
Alright. Uh, thanks for waiting, y'all. Thank you for understanding about me needing to hit this real quick. Yeah, I'm trying to be more aware of it. Um, it has been two hours since last break, because usually we end at four or five. Um, but we're going a little longer with this build. Um, so I try to be a bit back that I need to take stretch breaks, especially with the, uh, with the arthritis. Um, yeah, so we're, I think we're almost done with the downstairs. The thing is, is like, so, um, my issue with the light, with the hanging light, is I feel like it kind of blocks the view for, like, for the stage. Because the thing is, is like, you don't actually, when you're looking at the the stage, right, the, you're at a concert and everything, like, you don't actually see all the light. Especially if it's, like, on a stage, you know, um, you don't actually see them. So I feel like it's kind of, like, blocking the view, which is why I put in the corner lights, and I do have, like, the floor lights. So I think I'm gonna, right, plus we also have the, the disco ball. So I think I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna get rid of these and I'm gonna keep it like this, just like nice and open, um, with the, the bubbles. Um, I'm wondering if I should put up a poster of Jock too, right? Like if I should put up a poster of him, um, like in the, in the back, like this, right? Like maybe, like maybe up here. Right, like one here, and one here. Right, just like, just like that, and then like maybe one in the the center, like this, <laughs> underneath, underneath the lights. I think yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, so we'll do we'll do that, and then I wanted to do something with the um, with the fencing. <laughs> Oh, he has these? Why didn't I have these? I think... Don't I have the DJ caps? I don't know if I do or not. Hang on. Let me check. I might. I'm not... I'm not 100% sure. Um... Because if I have, like, the DJ caps, I might have it. I don't think I have them, though. Like, I don't think I have those unlocked yet, which... That kind of sucks. Because... That would actually really work with his outfit. Um, graduation hat. There's this kind of hat. Tiara's. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, damn. That sucks. Alright, well. Okay, so I'm wondering if I should use the little, the little fancy that I didn't use. The little feel fancy. Like maybe like this. Kind of have to keep people from from rushing the stage just of course um maybe put it in there in the middle like that there we go okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put like the bar over here um okay so let's put put a little sign up let's put a little let's put a little neon sign up shall we um yeah see there's like a cool couch you know there's like a little Little cool side table. Um, I'm kind of wondering if. Oh yeah, he has a little, just a little jukebox. I'm kind of wondering if I should have um, upstairs be like uh, be an apartment for him, or if we should make that like a recording studio. Um, Cause that might be cool too. Like a recording studio or like another part of the club. Um, like a, a quiet area for people. I honestly, I'm kind of leaning more towards making an upstairs apartment for him. Like, you know, he comes downstairs to, to do the club thing and then upstairs he has a, a full, a full apartment. Um, yeah, so we could use these counter tables, right? Like we could use these. Um, oh right, I was gonna, I was gonna put up the, the neon signs for the, um, for the drinks. Uh, there we go. Here we go. Oh, we also have a, a wall-mounted TV. Oh my. That's, that's fancy. 
right, let's see. We got hearts, we got... There we go, drinkies. Drinkies! Like this, right? They put like a little... A little bar area up here. We might need to make it... We might need to put it up higher. There we go. Like that. There we go, that's better. Uh, right, and then... And then... Oh, we have also have wall mounted neon lamps. Oh my, light blue. There's green, yellow, red, pink, purple. I kind of like the purple, not gonna lie. I kind of like that. Hmm. It actually might be kind of neat. Oops. Um. Yeah, that actually might be kind of neat to just put around uh, the room like this. Oops. Yeah, I actually really like those. So let's just do like a little line of a really cool life. Apparently he approves. He's just like, okay, I'm into it. Um, yeah, that actually looks really neat. Uh, wait, wait, hang on. Is that, like, blocking the... Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. There we go. We'll just we'll just put it like that. Oh, you know what we can put there? We can put... Um... Security camera, maybe? Yeah. Probably need a... Probably need one of those. <laughs> um... Alright. Um... Where are they? There we go. He's like, I approve. Alright, yeah. There we go. But when I take the picture, it'll... Hang on. When I take the picture... Let's see. Will it... Yeah, it, okay, it won't show the camera. I mean... Yeah, no. We gotta, we gotta get it all, all correctly. Um. Although. Although, I don't know. Maybe I should have put it in a different corner. Maybe I should put it more like this. So then it's not completely blocking everything. Um, all right, where? Okay. Or, where? Yeah. Uh, or we put it on this side. I could put it under like this. Or I could just like get rid of this light, put it in the corner like this. Yeah, that might be better. The thing is, it's like. Yeah, and then, and then, we can put this one in the corner like this, right? And then, it's not really in the way. Okay. Alright, so now, now we need, we need the bar, we need the bar. Alright, so I do like the counter table, but I'm thinking of using something different. Um, although the, the black and yellow is really cool, um, we could do a black and red. Does that work? For what we want? Um, the thing is, is I was thinking of using, I was thinking of using the diner tables because they actually look, um, the diner counter table like this thing because those actually look really good as like a bar counter um oh and we could we could have it in black or we could have it in yellow like this right because then you can like put the counter like this right and then you can turn it and it fits together perfectly it makes like a really cool like bar counter um, but I don't know. Honestly, I really like that. So you know what? I think I'm going to keep that. All right. 
but we're going to need some shelves. So things that look like a bar belongs to it. So one of the things I think we're going to do. Um, so maybe what I'm thinking is... Alright, where is that, that one shelf? Um, okay, so like... Ah, there we go. This one here. Right, so we can use like this, but maybe make it yellow, right? To go with, to go with it, right? Just like a cute little, uh, cute little bar thing. Um, thing is, is I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need some counters or some tables. Uh, I'm gonna need some counters or some tables. Uh, let's see. We could, we could do these. What we could do is we could do them in black and red like I planned. Uh, right? Like this. But have it like, but have it in the corner like this. Right? So it looks like a counter. Uh, and then move this forward just a little bit. Just a little bit. Right, not not too not too bad. Uh right, and then like have like a whole area for, for bar things. Um and then we can add another another shelf like that. Yeah. Okay. So then we're gonna need we're gonna need I guess we're gonna need a fridge. Do we need a refrigerator? For the for the drinkies or do we need a a mini freezer a mini fridge up on the counter uh okay so let's do some decorative bottles like we did last time we can do a light green we can do white we can do brown let's do a green with like that if we did outside, right? Like those can be those can be drinks that are ready. Um, and then we need um, what am I call it? I don't know if we need a refrigerator there. I don't know, is it kind of weird to put a refrigerator over in the corner like that? Um, maybe not. We could make the refrigerator yellow to match the counter. Be like be like this. Um, <laughs> be like, here's, here's our fridge. Um, or, or, we need, let's see what else we need. Um, also need a thing. Um, need a thing. Uh, let's see. Yeah, see, I don't know why he has a dartboard here. <laughs> like, for an exclusive club. For a party. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to put the synthesizer in. I knew I was missing something. Well, I put one outside, but we definitely need one inside too. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of. I guess the color theme is yellow. Yellow. Right, so let's put that. Wait, wait, hang on. Can we put it in back of him? Can I put it to the back like this? Right? And then kind of have him forward like this. Uh, oh yeah, that looks a lot better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it like that. Um, okay. So. So then, you know what we need. We need a blender. We need a blender for like the mixing the drinks kind of thing. Um. All right, let's see here. All this stuff. What did I do with the blenders? I have like blender and a coffee machine. Um, uh, it's in here somewhere. This stuff. Ah, uh, there we go, blender. All right, so yeah, we have a mixer. We need a mixer. Tomatoes. Ooh, green smoothies. Hey, maybe. 
Um, carrots, oranges, blueberries, bananas. Okay, we got strawberries. We got kiwi fruit. I'm kind of leaning towards either banana or strawberries. Um, you know what? I think strawberries. I think strawberries will will work. All right, so we'll put we'll put a little little blender here. All right, so then we're gonna need a drink that looks like it's a pink drink. Um, to go with the strawberries. Like, okay, here's what we're making. And then we got... We got this. Um, there we go. Strawberry soda. But it'll look like a really, really cute, drinky thing. There we go. Like this. Right? Uh, and then... I'm trying to figure out if we should put a mini fridge on top of the the bar there or if we should put in like an ATM machine or something. Uh, right, let's see here. Let's see, we can do this. Um, yeah, I'm trying to look. I'm pretty sure I have a mini fridge. In this collection of items, I'm pretty sure. Unless, unless it's under refrigerator stuff. Um, uh, is that not it? Wait, yes. Oh, it is. It is here. Okay, mini fridge. Should we put a mini fridge in yellow over here like this? You know what? I think that might be better. Okay, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. I have something I can use. Uh, yeah, I think a mini bridge might be better. Um, uh, okay, the bus thing station, that's not it. Uh, ah, here we go, the ABD machine. Yeah, I think we should put that in the corner. Um, uh, yellow, red, green. Silver? Maybe silver? The blue is kind of nice too though. Maybe since we're like tying in and like making it yellow. There we go. They're like, oh my god, I, I don't have any money. Here's here's the machine. Next to the bar to get you the things. Okay. So we're gonna have to make like a corner thing. I think we're gonna do like uh, maybe like a corner sofa kind of thing, like an L couch. I mean, we could do a cool sofa like this and then have, have this here like this, right? We could do that. Or we could, like we could just like have like a little, a little seat there. Right, and then, sorry, and then like a little seat here, <laughs> right? I have like a little little seat here, just a little, and then put like a, a table here. Like we could do it that way. Um, we could do it that way, but I'm also wondering. I'm also wondering if we should do if we should do the diner like the diner sofa um because because you can fit the corners together to make like one big like seat you know uh yeah like where is it it's not this it's a corner sofa uh Oh gosh, it's in here somewhere. Yeah, see there's there's this thing and then there's um yeah, this is what I was thinking of. The box corner sofa. Because you can pick the color for them, right? Like we could do we could do a bright ass yellow like that. Right? And then you can put this in the corner 
and then you can add the box sofa right so it's like a sectional uh right and then you can put it here and make like a really cute like seating boot like this this little spot to sit right like in the corner um and then and the thing is is we could use we can use this we can use this this table like right here or we can like separate it or we can do this and put it like this and then we could put the sofa here so there's like so there's like a little you know and then everybody could be over here uh wait let me do one more like just to even it out right so that could totally work um right just like have have a, like a couch over there and then like the maybe like a little vip vip thing um okay or or we could do where is we have like a table oh yeah see or we could do like a little artsy table thing uh a little artsy table thing like this um right just like oops. Right, like this and then park it like that or put it that hmm doesn't quite work okay, let me see okay, we'll have that there right and then let's see let me try let me try oh we could do this we could do like a little a little low table like that they're just there for drink but then that means and that means that the the sofa would have to go over okay you know what that let's scrap that that's not gonna work um okay let's do okay so let's do the box sofa. i'm gonna keep it in yellow because i actually like that bright color uh like it's a really it's a really noticeable color so let's do it like this right and let's do one more by the door like this and then we're gonna put a table like this okay so i have like a bar area a little dance area here uh okay and then we can add a little coconut drink if we want coconut milk right so we'll put like a little little drinky poo there all right um and then I think, let me see, can she fit? I'm trying to make sure we have enough room to like move. Can I, all right, can we do it like this? Yeah, cause I wanna actually fit in some bar stools. So, the, you know, the bartender will come back here, you know, he'll be like, he'll be DJing and I'll be like, what do you want? <laughs> bartender will be like, what do you want? Order your drink and get out. <laughs> like what excuse you like you heard me like what do you want or maybe we should make it like so oh, there's plenty of room to move. see it's like right by the door uh okay like this okay uh, this okay so can we so we do have enough room to fit back there so that that works okay we need to register for the bar <laughs> We need a little register for the bar. Actually, you know what? Let's move the strawberry soda over here. Yeah, and then let's move the register because usually they have it like over. Um, all right. Do 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 do. We need a little cash register thing. Da 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 da. Ta da. Okay. Should we do it in black? Let's do it in black this time. Let's be different. Usually, I always pick black. Let's let's give them a little black register. Okay, there we go. Right. <laughs> like, should you have that next to the thing? Is this like, yep. That's this. This is how we're doing it. 
All right, so we have this, and then let's see what kind of... Yeah, see, there's, there's little, like, bar stools here, like the counter chairs. Or we can do, like, the diner counter chair and have, like, a cute little, cute little bar stool. Like that. Right? So let's, let's do that. Let's do one, two. Okay, let's make sure we put it in front of our, in front of our correct, there we go. One, two, okay. Okay, and then let's do, let's face it. Face it evenly. Three and, oops, four. I think that looks pretty okay. We need to give somebody else a drink too. Uh, like we already did coconut milk and we got beer buckles. Let's try... Let's try something else. Let's try... Um, hmm, we got coconut milk, but what if we give them a fancy melon soda? Or a colorful juice? Um, actually, the blood orange juice kind of looks like, kind of looks a little bit like a tequila sunrise. So there we go. Boom. Like, here is your drinky. All right. I think the downstairs is almost done. Right? Like, I feel like we need something else. Maybe some pictures over the wall or some, some plants. <laughs> some plants, some things. Some very strange things. Um, iron wall rack. No, that's not quite right. Maybe plants? Maybe some plants or maybe some some kind of posters. Um, we could do really nifty stars. Um, or we could do... Oh, or we could do an LED display over here so i know we have like music this thing what is this thing oh okay smile open microphone drink thingy hearts or stars i kind of like the stars i kind of like the stars so let's do let's do that have some some stars here like this right like that there we go that works uh, okay, we also need exit sign. Like, do we really need an exit sign? Yeah, we really need an exit sign. We need an exit sign. Where is it? I don't know. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, exit sign. So, let's do... Yeah, let's do like a little red exit sign. Like this. Okay. And then, oh right, the TV. <laughs> we should probably put the TV up over the bar, right? Um, let's do it over the cam. Yeah, we'll like put it like, we'll put it here. Like that, that works. Um, I think, yeah, yeah, that works. Okay. All right, I think, yeah, I think this is done, and then we just gotta go upstairs. Um, yeah, I think what we're gonna do upstairs is we are gonna make him a little, a little apartment. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can just barely fit. Uh, interesting. He's like, let me just, let me just cinch over here. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's do, yeah, we're gonna do sparkles. All right, uh, okay. I gotta get by. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I think like having like the big bench like this is gonna totally work. Right? And then like having the bar and then we have the we have the uh rainbow disco ball. Totally, totally will work. Alright. So let's go upstairs and make him a fancy upstairs apartment, shall we? Uh when for when he's not doing DJ stuff. And he's like, oh really? I was like, yes, oh really? When he's not doing DJ stuff. Like, okay. Like, there we go. So let's see here. Um 
All right, where are we going? Okay, so we need to go all out and make him the best apartment ever. Okay, so... Tens! Tens across the board! All right, so we're gonna make it... Gonna make it fancy! We're gonna make it fancy! Okay, so here's... Here's this. I do like the black crown wall, but I think I'm gonna use it as an accent wall and then use something else for the main wall because yeah there's no windows and it's just like this this is a lot uh steel flooring checkerboard flooring hmm vinyl flooring okay let's see ringside seating oh no we can't have that uh let's see what else we have that will give him a nice cool hip apartment wooden wall wooden wallpaper that's nice Okay, let me figure out his wallpaper, his wallpaper, his, his flooring situation. Um, because I feel like we need something, something simple. Ooh, what about the steampunk flooring? I feel like the steampunk flooring could totally work for his vibe. Uh, and then we could do, yeah, like we could do, I don't know if I have steampunk walls. I might I oh I totally do but again there's no there's no window uh so that feels kind of off what about this one industrial wall no windows really like yep no no windows um all right let's try yeah I thought about it I'm like maybe maybe steampunk wall flooring could work but I don't think this quit it all right let's parking lot like meet me out in the back back of the school parking lot swamp flooring no um what's this one rocky mountain flooring. that's kind of interesting um that's kind of interesting all right let's see here if we make it palace flooring nah i feel like we need something good paradise planning flooring Ooh, that's actually kind of nice uh that's actually pretty pretty nice let me see here do we have a thing i do like the steampunk one rubber tile floor i don't hate it but it just not quite there yet um maybe a plate floor okay the steel flooring is okay too basement flooring dark wood pattern floor okay dark block floor hmm i can't believe i'm saying this but i think i think the cubic parquet flooring might be it like it's interesting it has like the abstract shapes uh you know totally like fits like his dj vibe uh okay so let's so okay so flooring's good let's find some wallpaper for him a uh, beaded curtain what is your horoscope today ha <laughs> nope that's not it <laughs> that's not it uh white honeycomb tile wall no this is not it. Mosaic hollow? No. I think we need something simple. Brown brick wall. Okay, that's maybe too simple. Black brick walls? Black bricks actually don't look bad with it. That actually looks relatively okay. Um, Maybe some wood? Maybe wood. Maybe wooden mosaic wall. Oh. Oh. That is actually really nice. Okay. And then if we use this wall as the... Okay, there we go. That sets off a nice aesthetic. Okay, hang on. Um, maybe we should just do it like that. Yeah, but season again. No windows. Um... Okay, that's really weird. I'm gonna have to adjust this bot because it keeps doing that message a lot. This is new. It's never done this before. I think this is 
something new that they added. Um, and I'm gonna have to tweak, like, how much it, like, does the, the link for the Kofi. Um, okay. I do, I do like it, but maybe, maybe we need, yeah, see, I do like this, the wood mosaic wall, but the, but see, they're the same color, so I feel like it's too much, and they kind of cancel each other out a little bit. Uh, let's see, black, why, we, we just, we just want some windows, just want some evening windows, wait, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Um, let me see here. Where was that one wallpaper that I have? Um, it's one of the stylized wallpapers. Um, it's here somewhere. Um, was it was it this one I was thinking of? Skyscraper wall? No, that's not it. Damn it. Um, mm, 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 mm. it was something, I think it had like something to do with like the cityscape. Uh, rain window wall. Oh, right. I forgot I had this. It's animated. But this isn't quite right. I think it was this, the cityscape wall. But then the thing is, is like, okay. So maybe, 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 maybe instead we could have like the windows like this, um, and then one side, and then have, right? Like this could give him like cityscape wall, and then do it like that, right? So he'd have like windows on either side, uh, like the appearance of windows, basically, um. So it could, it could work, or, or we could do, to do that. Uh, I think I also have an airplane wall, which is weird. It's very weird. Um, yeah, you know what? I like the cityscape wall. I think that's cute, right? And it gives like the illusion of windows. Um. Right, like of having like an open, like an open loft kind of apartment. Um, but I think, I think I'm gonna tweak it just a little bit. Um, I think I'm gonna tweak it just a little bit, and I think what I'm gonna do, um, like of course, of course, I think what I'm gonna do. Is it how is have it be like this, right? Like so his bedroom will be here, his bathroom will be here, and then I will have uh the accent wall. My goodness. Um okay, we'll have that like this. Right? Um and then and then we can have like this. Right? So we could do it like that. So it looks nice. Nice open space. Um, let me see. We... Uh, okay, there. Yeah, yeah, that works. That works. Okay, so I'm going to have it like that. So that way he has a window. And yeah, we are totally going to put his bathroom here. You know, in his bedroom. And then we're going to do like the kitchen and the living room space. Uh, like we do. Um, yeah, I debated like putting the... The window like over here it's like actually maybe i should put it over to the side maybe i should do it that way would i do it that way instead hang on um maybe hang on if i do it this way yeah because i just thought about that like wait we'll be peeping on him <laughs> Like people will be peeping on him, so we could do it like that. But yeah, you know what? Nah, I like it better here. Um, yeah, we'll we'll do it that way. That way he gets to like look out his bedroom window. Um, all right. So I I did make it bigger, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's make him a bathroom, you know, and give the illusion of doors. 
like we do uh like we do so that we can do the thing um okay so we're gonna go down this way oh i forgot i had this the wedding pipe organ from uh the wedding event all right here is a bathroom okay we have a vanity we have okay there we go I need to figure out I need to figure out what kind of bathtub I want him to have. Actually, I feel like we can just give him a shower booth. We can either give him a shower booth or like a fancy tub. Uh I feel you know, I haven't used the shower booth in a while. Uh let's do oh we can do it in black. That's perfect. There we go. One one shower booth coming up. Uh one shower booth coming up. Okay, let me do the partition wall so I can get a feel for how much space I'm going to need. Order, yeah, it's probably going to be kind of a small bathroom. So, shower booth is like this, right? So, one, two, three, four, let's say five. Let's, let's give him five, five space. Uh, and then we can do... I know this, this is taking such a, I know my designs take so long to do. It, it's like, there's just so much like that. I, you know, like I have an idea and play around with all the different things to see what looks good, what looks okay. And sometimes it's very, very tricky. Uh, it's very tricky. Yeah. So I've been kind of putting the toilets, the new in odd spot because Sometimes it's just like very awkward for like where you want to put it. So I've been kind of like making like a little corner for for the toilet and then like putting yeah putting the little vanity there. Um, okay, so he's gonna need a little a little towel rack for you know for when he gets out of the shower. Uh, let's see here. Okay, we got the us. So let's do, you know what, let's, let's just go all out, full ham, black towels, you know, black wallpaper, just, just fancy, fancy, fancy. All right. Um, so we got this and we need to give him, um, a little bath mat. All right. So let's, let's do that. Okay. Blue dotted rug. I should have like a cute oh there we go i don't think i have it in black I have it in entrance we could do blue blue should be yeah that should be fine all right we'll do we'll do like a little blue bath mat here maybe we'll just put it here okay or not like this all right just kind of the center sort of yes and then let's make this one here all right so we got a little little bathroom for him now now we're gonna put the wall and again we are creating the illusion that there is another room because this is how we do it uh all right like this and then we are gonna need uh all right we're gonna need this dark wood Gonna need some pillars to make the illusion that there is a totally separate room. So that totally works. Okay, now we're gonna go over here and make him a bedroom. And then we have to make a whole kitchen. It's gonna be a whole it's gonna be a whole thing. Um so ta-da! Uh, let's see here. We need, um, right? We need. Yeah. So I think I might use the cool sofa, uh, cool bed. We need to get him a bed. What kind of bed though? Did we get him a big bed? Have a fancy bed? I don't know. I have like a ton of. I have a ton of different ones, so it could be anything. The cool, this is the cool bed? It doesn't look remotely comfortable. Like, what is this? 
It looks awful. I'm I'm sorry. I'm just gonna say it. It does not look like a comfortable bed. It looks kind of like a like a a divan. You know, like the the lounging couch, what they called the fainting couches. Um, yeah, it looks like a. This does not look comfortable. Oh my god, my back is screaming looking at that thing. Um, we could do an ironwood bed. That actually might be okay. Nice and simple. The colors are a lot of blues and browns. Um, or. Or we could, we could give him, huh, I don't know, could give him this frozen bed or a rattan bed. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know, it's really hard to choose. We could give him an imperial bed. Uh, comes in black uh okay you know what i'm kind of leaning towards kind of sort of leaning towards this bed because i think this is cute let's see the different type oh there's teak the birch has this teak has different color pills walnut old oh hmm uh honestly i kind of like the teak Okay, the, the navy cover is cool. Blue, gray, brown. Honestly, I like the blue, gray. Alright. So we can either put his bed like this, or we can put it like this. I think maybe like looking out the window like this would be, be okay, but then it means I'd have to do it like this. Um, I kind of like it that way. You know, because it gives like a little more, a little more room. Okay, and then let's use, let's use the cool table as like a little, yeah, a little light stand for him. Um, like this. Right, and then we could, or actually, let's do this. Let's put the table like this. Right? And then put the bed there. And then we can put on, and then we can give like a little lamp, like put a little lamp on for him, uh, for his, for his nightstand. So we could do rattan, we could do like a little lamp, we could do a little cube light, that actually might be cute. Um, a little cube, a little cube lamp, but maybe in like a soft, like a soft blue. Wow, that's a bright ass blue. We could do that. Um, or we could do a siren. <laughs> sure. Why not? Uh, okay, ring light. Um, what the heck? Why do I have all these like weird... And some banker's lamp. That's not quite right. You know what? I think we might go with... Um, we might go with just this regular table lamp, but in a, like, nicer color. <laughs> we could do yellow flowers. Actually, let's keep it simple. Let's keep it black. Uh, let's keep it nice and simple. Okay. And then, in the end, what else do we got? Uh, yeah, so this cool couch I'm probably going to use for his living room. Um, oh, right. Need a, need a throw rug for his room. Uh, let's see. Let's try. Where it is try. We could do a Starry Skies rug. Or, ooh, or we could do a Record rug. Record rug might be cool. Since, you know, CJ. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. That looks cute. That's really cute. Okay, so... Do, 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 do. I am gonna give... I think I'm going to put a jukebox in his room uh, because I think that would be like a fun thing for him. Uh, so let's just, oops, oh, there we go. Iron closet. I am going to give him that. Um, let's, let's put this in the corner. Wait. 
And then we're gonna give him a little jukebox for his bedroom. For, for fun. Just for fun. I don't know why he's surprised by that. He's just like, oh my god! It's a jukebox! It's like, yes, it is a jukebox. It is a lovely, lovely jukebox. Okay, uh, so we have that. And then... And then maybe we give him like a cute little bookshelf. Right? Like maybe... Maybe a wooden bookshelf or, or an ironwood cupboard. Wait, would the ironwood cupboard look okay in his room? Ooh, that might be nice just to like have that there. Wait, hang on. Let me move this over. Move this over. That actually, I actually really like that. Okay, let's, let's give him some plants. I always like to add plants to their living space. The plants are nice and they perk up a room. Um, so like I think he would have something like say like say a mini cactus. Yeah, he's nodding yes. He's just like, yep, that tracks. Uh and then we could do we could either give him a bonsai or ooh, we could give him a succulent. Okay, so he he approves. He approves the ray. That's actually really that's actually really cute. I really like it. Okay, and then I think we're gonna need to give him some pictures for his room. Because, you know, sometimes you need that. Let's see, a study poster? Oh, location tables. I kind of like the constellations poster. Let's do a constellations poster for him. Um, right, like, like this. Kind of like this, and then let's do let's do something like this like autograph cards but maybe maybe illustrations um uh, do, do 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 yeah and then like maybe a musician signature right so we'll do it like yeah actually maybe we'll do it like this have it like this yeah that totally works. Actually, let me center it a little more. Kinda like it like that. Right. Um, yeah, I think that could work. Or to put it, to put it like in the border, like this. Yeah, yeah, that's that's better. That's better. Oh, uh, let me see how it looks. Um, nope. Okay, nope. It does not work. All right. You know what? Maybe we don't need this poster. We'll just keep this. Like this. Okay. All right. So over here, I'm gonna do the kitchen. Uh, okay. So let's get him set up with the kitchen. We're gonna need a refrigerator. Oh, here we go. System kitchen. Let's it. Let's keep it black. It just nice. Nice, sleek, goes with the whole vibe of the apartment. Um, and then we're gonna need... Um, gonna need a refrigerator. Um, we're also gonna need metal counters. I like to do like L-shaped uh, counters with the kitchen. Makes for like a nice open space and nice nice things okay so double door refrigerator let's do yeah let's keep it like this right and keep it like this okay so this goes here like so right and then got this like this right and then we will turn it like this. Okay, now comes the tricky part. All right, let me let me move this under a little more. Okay, so now again we're creating illusion of a room with some with the tall island counters because it's the way to like, separate the room and give like an open space, but also have like some shelf space for him to decorate. Uh, this. We're gonna need one of these. 
And then I do this. I usually do two to like make it make it even. Yeah, that that's perfect. Okay. Uh, all right. So we're gonna need a little little kitchen mat. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I have anything that looks okay. What I want: blue design kitchen mat. Black design. Let's do that one. Let's do that one. Okay, so we'll put it here like this. Okay. And now we need an espresso machine. It says espresso. Uh, basically a coffee machine. Uh, Alright, so we're going to put this here. Okay, so yeah, let's keep it. Yeah, let's make it go black like this. All right, need to give him block for his kitchen. Uh, let's see, we have um, hmm. Let's just keep it simple. It doesn't need. We don't need to reinvent the wheel. Just nice, simple clock. I also need to give him. I just realized I need to give him some um some pots and pans for his stuff. Uh, let's do... You know what? Let's do stainless steel. That's a nice vibe. Yeah, make it look like he has like a whole little pot rack there. Okay, so that's... That looks good so far. So far, so good. Uh, Alright, now comes the tricky part. What are we gonna put? on there oh we totally have to give him a cute little thank you dad mug like that that cute little mug with the necktie that's adorable okay but we'll do that and then i guess we could do a dessert carrier we could make it look like takeout uh like that could be i feel like we could do like red green let's do red that could totally be takeout for him um all right, uh, let's turn it like this. Okay, so again with more planty things. Um, all right, let's do... Okay, so we're gonna put some things over on that shelf there. Maybe some books, maybe some, some other things, maybe a tablet device. Ooh, tablet device could work. Uh, let's see, or we could do this. <laughs> we could have a little little Nintendo Switch there. Um, let's see, well we gave him a jukebox. So, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give him some more headphones. So that definitely made him happy. Alright, uh, let's add some more... Let's add some more. You know what? I'm totally gonna give him a bonsai. I think a bonsai will be really cute for him. Right? And then let's give him... Give him some books. Let's just do... Some, you know, like a little area for books to... There we go. Hmm. Okay. Now, we're gonna go over here. <sighs> Almost done! Now we're gonna go over here and make a little living room section for him. Oh, I forgot! I forgot about- I made him a kitchen and I forgot to give him a table. Because I was like, where the hell am I supposed to eat, lady? Like, am I going to sit on my bed and eat, eat my cereal out of the bowl? Like, uh, I forgot about the table. I'm sorry, that's my bad. Uh, like, I, I completely forgot. You need a kitchen table to eat in your kitchen. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? Let's give him this. It's a little bigger, but it fits the whole- the whole thing. Jeez, that is a bigger table. Holy crap. Uh, one, two. It's like, okay, he's like, is this even gonna work? It's like, maybe we should turn it like this instead. <laughs> but, you know what? It's it's probably fine. Let's move it over a little more. Uh, okay. I think there's some chairs that match this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do a chair. Like, I don't know if it's cool because it's just a, a nifty 
if you design for a chair or if it's because the different colors you can pick. Let's see. That a little crooked. A little crooked. Okay, a little bit more. Oh, whoops. Nope, so crooked. Darn it. Trying to get things get things right. All right. Let's see here. We gave him some book fans. I feel like maybe, just maybe, he needs a fruit bat. Uh, like just maybe, 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 he needs a little teeny tiny fruit bat. Uh, let's see. Or, or snack bread. Actually, let's do snack bread. Snack bread's really cute. Savory bread or snack bread? I kind of like snack bread. Let's do snack bread. Like right in the center like that. Yeah, there we go. That looks better. Okay, much better. It's been finished. On to the living room. Uh, on to the living room. Okay, so let's see what kind of throw rug we have. We have monochromatic wavy rug. No reaction. Okay, how about a turkey day room? He just nodded yes. Okay. How about... How about a black box rug? Really? You, you like that? He's like, yeah, what's wrong with it? Like, oh, it's a little smaller than I thought it would be. Um... Uh, how about... Uh, this. No reaction. I want to give him like a nice rug with like a pop of color, but I don't know if I have anything that'll fit. Uh, yellow, yellow rug? He's like, nope, nothing. Okay, how about green? Just not, yes! And I'm just like, you don't, he's like, yeah, it's cool, I guess. I'm just like, seriously? Like, you gotta give us something, man! Yellow Persian rug? No, I don't think that's his vibe. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Red block. I seriously remember these rugs being bigger. Um, wait, wait, wait. Let's see. Yellow block. No, really, nothing. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn him around so I can actually see him reacting to the things that I am putting in the living room for him. Like, sir, you're giving me nothing. You're giving me nothing, sir. He's just like, well, I, I don't know what to tell you. How about... Okay, how about this? Yes, this one? Really? This one? This is the one. He's just like, yeah. Like, which one do you like? He's just like, yeah. You have a Halloween rug. Do you like the Halloween rug? He's just like, it's cool. Okay, so basically, I can just throw down anything and you're good with it. Yellow Argyle? Okay, nope. Uh, how about... How about this one? This one's kind of cool. The red wavy rug? That's actually kind of cool. Uh, okay. Or... You can do it in modern. Okay, you know what? I guess that's the one. Uh... Wait, there's also, like, these vinyl sheets. Would he like these? He's just smiling. Okay, fine. So I'm gonna pick one of the striped rugs. Uh, what about yellow stripe? Oh, he nodded yes to that. It looks like the wavy rugs and the modern rugs you like. Okay, so we can either do red or modern. I kind of like the modern because it has like a mix of everything. So let's let's do that. All right. Do that. Let's just, like put it in the center. Give him his his TV thing. Uh, okay, let's put that there, like this, just kind of like this. Yeah, like this. All right, and then gotta give him a couch. Uh, so he seems to like the cool couch, which is fine. That's not a big deal. Right, so we'll do we'll do that like this. Put we'll put that there, and then. I guess we'll give him like a, a little coffee table. Yeah, it's like the cool table that I use downstairs, but I don't think I want to use that. Since I already used it for downstairs, I kind of want to use something different. 
for upstairs. So maybe what we'll do is use a Zen table and use and do black to match the cow. Uh like this. Okay. And then and then I think we need like I think we need like a little shelf. Oh, we that's off. Okay. Then I think we need a little shelf over here or something. Like maybe maybe a bookshelf. Maybe a bookshelf. Or um doot 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 doot. Maybe a bookshelf or maybe something else. Not sure what though. Uh could do branches, stereo. I already gave him a jukebox in his bedroom. Uh, okay, so let's see here. We could do an open wooden shelf. What well, I am gonna give him a wooden block shelf. Uh, let's just do like a small, and let's do let's do mixed because that that works pretty well. We're gonna yeah, we're gonna give him a couple a couple a couple of those, and then I'm gonna add a few more, a few more like maybe like another plant or two to his uh his living space. Uh, so let's try. Let's do a monstera. Monsteras are nice. Uh, let's do. Let's do, um, like yellow, because that'll fit like perfectly in the corner there, right? Just like this, right? Like that actually looks really nice. Um, I don't think we really need to do anything else, uh, with it, but maybe what we can do, um, is give him... I don't know. Oh, you know what? I always like the bonsai shelf. Maybe what we'll do is we'll give him a little bonsai shelf like here. Like right next to the plant. Yeah, so if I give him a bonsai shelf, maybe what I'll do is I'll just like leave a little gap between there so we can see into the room. So we'll do that. So he has like a little bonsai shelf and then a little little plant area here. Um, okay, let's take a look over everything. Uh, yeah, I think, I think we're done. Like, I think this looks really nice. Uh, so let's sparkle everything and then we can tell him we're finished and he can like go on his way. Just, you know, living his best life, having all kinds of beach parties and concerts and, you know, dancing at the club with all his friends. Right, there we go. And let's sparkle this jukebox too. Uh. I think I did a pretty, pretty decent job. Pretty decent. Um, you know, with everything. So I think that'll be a-okay, right? Yeah. So yay! All, all set. Okay, let's go downstairs. Uh, and let's get him. Let Let's get him sorted. Um. Uh, oh boy. Uh. Oh goodness. So let's see what we can do. Uh let's see what we can do. Alright, um Alright, I think yes, yeah, so we got the bubble machines, we got everything. Okay. Let's tell him it's ready. Hello, Jean. Wait, is the vacation home done already? How is that possible? It is ready. What do you mean already? Do you know how much time this took? Like it took so much time to get this looking exactly the way I wanted it to look. The way he says already. I mean, oh my goodness. It's ready. It's ready. Go, go ham. Yes, I've been waiting for this moment. Well, have, have fun. You're really putting a lot of thought into this project, huh? I'm so lucky to have you on my design team. Uh, you're welcome. Oh yes, the stage used to be called the most exclusive club. We're still calling it that. Uh, should we keep that name? Oh, we've run Is that your catchphrase? 
Uh, yeah, it's fine. We're gonna keep it the way it is. A good call is better brand recognition to stick with the old name. Uh, okay, well. Enjoy! Here we go! Alright. Three, two, one. One, two, three. I know, I gave him a little balloon hat. Because he deserved one. He deserved a cute little balloon hat. He looks very happy. <laughs> He's just like, this is nice. Like, well, thank you. We worked very hard on this. He seems pleased. So that's good. Good job, buddy. He's like, all right. He's like, this works. This works. Okay, so we're going to take the, the rest of the design pictures. Uh... Ta -da. Thanks again, Mahergi. Hey, before you go, what would you say to taking a photo of the place? Nothing too elaborate. We don't need a set designer or anything. Although, we could get one. Uh, yes, we'll take photos. Yes, I knew I could count on you. Just make sure it looks as good as me, okay? I mean, almost as good. Well, 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 well. Somebody's feeling himself. Hmm. Somebody's feeling himself. All right, let me let me take the picture, but not with me in it. Uh, okay, we're gonna to see what he does. Okay, so let's get this. Sorry, let me zoom in a little tiny bit. Okay, one, two, three. I think he's gonna blink. One, two, three. Okay, I okay. I'm trying to like trying to get this right. Ah, uh, he turned his back. I knew I should have gotten him watering his plant. Oh wait, maybe he'll sit on the couch and it'll be cool. Um, right. Yeah, there you go. One, two, three. Blink again. There we go. Yeah, I didn't want to get a picture of him blinking. Because sometimes they blink. And then, like, the photo is done with their eyes closed and I have to retake it. Which is a little irritating, but, you know, what can you do? Uh, alright. Come, come in here. So we can, we can take the picture. Like, okay. He's like, alright. Okay, so we're gonna just... Doot, doot, doot. Little. There we go. Perfect. That is absolutely perfect. One, two, three. Blink again. Uh, one, two, three. Blink. All right, got it. I think we got it. All right. That's perfect. Yes, that is absolutely perfect. Perfect photo. Uh, all right, let's say goodbye to Jacques. Uh, hello, Jacques. You really knocked it out of the park. Got the same from Bossy. That means you did good. Uh, okay, we're, we're mixing up some of our sports references. But that's all right. Anyway, what's up now? Uh, I'm heading back. Sounds good. Thanks again for everything you've done. And don't be a stranger. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, I will try not to be a stranger. Just like, have, have fun, buddy. Uh, like, enjoy. Enjoy the vacation home. Woohoo! Alright, there we go. Uh, welcome back, Mother G. There's 15,000 Poki for your remodeling work. Yay, we did it. Uh, finish for today, or will you work a little longer? I'm finished. We're, yeah, we're finished for today. Yeah, we usually do, like, one. Uh, sometimes we do two. It really depends. Uh, alright. See you later, laddie. Alright, y'all. We made it. We, we did it. We, we checked out the Dreamlight Valley update. We had fun. Um, my internet crashed, and then it went fine again. <laughs> and then we made a, an awesome club for Jacques. In uh in Animal Crossing, so I think that's that's a pretty good day. Yeah? Uh yeah. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for all the raids, thank you for all the follows. Uh thank you. Yeah, I think we're gonna go raid T. Um Yeah, my friend T and Toasty, he's uh I think he's playing some Pokemon today. Um but yeah, Thursday night? Thursday night? Yeah, Thursday night. Thursday night, we're going to be playing more new game plus the Persona 5 Royal uh, since we didn't do it for Wednesday night. And then Friday, we're just going to chat with some story of season. Um, yeah, and if you want to follow on the socials, you can. 
Uh, those are all the socials there. We do have a Discord. And we do have a- I do have a YouTube channel. If you missed the stream, you can catch up on the past VODs there. Uh, yeah. And if you are not subbed, you can copy and paste uh, the first raid message. And if you are subbed, copy and paste the second raid message. Um, yeah, T, uh, our friend T, um, he, he took a couple of days off. One of, one of his, his pets sadly passed away. Um, so T just had a couple of rough days. So I think it would be nice to share the love with my friend, you know, show him, show him some love, show him some kindness and just, you know, bring, bring a little sunshine to his day. Uh, yeah, he's playing some, uh, Pokemon right now, but he also plays other games like Stardew Valley. Uh, also, like, sometimes he does, like, Fall Guys, and then we do, like, Mario Kart. Uh, but T is really lovely. T is really sweet. Uh, you know, talks about mental health on his channel as well. Uh, also a fellow LGBTQI plus streamer. Um, and all about, you know, kindness and, you know, doing our best to be, to be present and be supportive of each other. So we're gonna raid him. Come with me. Say hello. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out, everyone. I will see you later for, uh, Thursday night stream. Uh, please remember to do your best, be kind to yourselves, and be kind to each other. Until next time, bye everyone!